good morning, lovely jewelry makers. How are we all? It's Thursday. For us, it's the weekend, isn't it? It's the weekend. <laughs> um, and we've got a fantastic show. Look who's with us. <laughs> it's lovely. Good Debs. morning. It's a bit like yesterday all over. All over again. <laughs> yeah, but Hello. a double dose. We ne you will never hear us complaining. <laughs> we are very happy about it, aren't we, ads? Or from now on, you shall forever be known as Bebby. 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 That's what, what Tiggy was calling Debs last night. Bebby. 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 Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah. Well, to be exact, when we were picking, t uh, picking you up, Tiggy and I in the car, I said, oh, we're going to pick up Mummy's friend. OK, what's Mummy's friend's name? <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Bebby. No, D Debbie. Bebby. Say Debs. Bebs. Oh. <laughs> right, OK. I was like, OK, we'll just go with that. And then it was like, so is, is Bebby a girl or a boy? I was like... She's a girl, she's mummy's friend from work. So she has boobies. Yes, yes, she has boobies. So, so there you go. then I was, Bebby with the boobies. Bebby with the boobies. She said to her dad, Bebby with the boobies is downstairs. <laughs> Brilliant. Don't you love kids? Don't you just, don't you just. Oh, <laughs> Bebby with the boobies. And here I am, Bebby with the boobies today. <laughs> We've got a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, haven't we? Because, well, do you want to start by your amazing kits? Oh, my goodness me. On the back of yesterday as well. I mean, look at those. Do you know, we That's, only yeah. launched it yesterday. I know, I know. And, oh, my goodness, your jewellery's amazing. Galaxy Agate, that, they're the first strands ever to hit our screens. Oh, they're gorgeous. You know, I've never seen anything like it. Stunning, otherworldly. It's like when you when you cut it off the strand and then you're just trying to, oh, I want that one next. No, oh, no, no, that one. No, yeah. that one. It's one Get of those lost in the yeah. gemstones. Yeah. And it would look lovely alongside the pearls as well that you've got coming up. Yeah, those pearls, um, oh. they are just delicious. Beautiful, Deli top quality. See, look, that's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, oh, look at that recording. We literally launched this yesterday, jewellery makers. You know, So if you were able to tune in with Dave yesterday, where we had the, the Galaxy Agate bangle, yep. which is totally oh, natural, beautiful. then this is the first strands that we have on the jewellery maker screens. So those are coming up. Um, which one's a nine? Which one's a twelve? Um, that's both nine. nine. That's nine. And then we've got the universe. That's right. Oh yes, the universe bracelet. I'm very 12, excited. Um, which is just lovely. It's got so much sentiment behind it. I think it's really unisex. So I think like, and it's quite ageless as well. Yeah. And I think that um, we'll talk about the sentiment, you know, as we get nearer the time, but. It's something with a lot of meaning behind it. And you know me and my stories and my jewellery and, and you get, it comes in this really nice box. Yeah, gorgeous. So I think that it would be a lovely gift to gift a crafter. Oh, look. Look at Isn't those. it lovely? Do you know, um, Tom wears one of these. Yeah. A universe bracelet. Does oh, does he? Yeah, he wears one of these. Because you've got um, each planet. Yeah. And then you've even got the little rings and they're sterling silver, so you can choose. And then we were sitting there Googling all the all the planets to see which colours are which. I yeah. mean, you know, that's up to you. Um, and then you've got like um, the gold stone that is reminiscent of the sky and the stars. Oh, perfect. So beautiful. And then you get the cord um, and you get two little sterling silver stars as well. So you can have stars in your little in your little I love universe. It. Now we've got quantity of those as well. So um, about round about 200 of them. Oh, that's good. But And I know what we're in March, thinking ahead for Father's Day oh, that, yeah. for something like that. Yeah. Or, you know, um, I don't know, just because a birthday, an occasion, an anniversary. Definitely. And it's, you um, are my universe. And, you know, if someone's going off um, at a new job or, yeah. you know, they're leaving home or you, you don't see somebody, it's very nice to kind of gift these because like we were saying yesterday, great for stacking. Yeah, amazing. You know, And it's got a message and a meaning a behind message, it yeah. too. We've also got, lovely jewellery makers, your deal of the day today is all about your sterling silver. We've got an essentials collection of your sterling silver. In fact, the, the whole hour itself. So a mixture of things like collots, we've got jump rings, we've got findings, we've got threader earrings, we've got lever back earrings. Um, so it's an hour, a deal of the day hour, I'm going to say, Roscoe, would you agree? Um, because you know what, we've, we, we uh, look, there we go. Look, they're musts, Ooh, aren't they? Yeah. We always need our findings. Findings. We can bring you the amazing gemstones, of course we do, by the bucket loads, but we need to have the foundation. The found yeah, and you know, sometimes, 
I know I think it's because I work with metal and I love metal mm. so I'm always looking for those little flourishes for those yeah. slightly different findings yeah. maybe a finding I can use in a different way so it's all in the details yeah absolutely I think it does make a big difference doesn't it to mm. your jewelry um also can I show you these because they're also coming up in the 11 uh, these are in the what time did we say we're doing these roscoe 11 o'clock hour um so gem encrusted multi-row class they're coming your way yeah, they're, they're uber high-end class so if you're looking for that um extra special take a little look at the tea bar as way as as way as well um because we have san and scan in a cut i've never seen never ever ever seen um we've got your seraphonite just here as well um which is beautiful when do we ever see seraphonite very seldom mm -hmm. i'm loving this strand of clear quartz oh me too in four millimeter rounds my only wish i was hoping that this would be a similar quantity to the rose quartz unfortunately it's not capriccio yeah capriccio how beautiful would that be Amazing. Um, but we have got quantity of, of them haven't we roscoe there's quantity but not as many as the rose quartz um, they're coming up within the first hour and we've also got your uh, shades of black type a jadeite in strand now this is the seraphonite strand up close and personal <gasps> oh my goodness it's like little angel wings goodness i've never seen that before i don't think stunning isn't it it's stunning oh, I seraphonite love i love the shape of it i love everything that will come up at nine o'clock and genuinely i think i could count on one hand the amount of times i've actually brought seraphonite to air i don't think i've seen it ever. have you not i don't think so it's beautiful absolutely beautiful because it's a little bit jade-esque a bit nephrite-esque yes but with with like angel wings inside oh. sorry what was that roscoe the last time this gemstone was seen on jewelry maker 2021 really was it really three mil completely natural goodness me that's even that's further away than i thought um and we have serpentine oh i like serpentine serpentine mm. Seraph there's i used to get those two mixed up so serpentine is like a dark green gemstone mm. which is again a bit jade-esque a bit nephrite-esque mm. mm. uh seraphonite if you think angel wings yeah have you not seen that gem mm. it's been years since we've actually spoken about it a long long time so yeah it's basically got sh a bit charite yes because it's got chatoyancy in it, there yeah it's sparkly isn't yeah. it like another little magical gemstone. little feathers <laughs> this <laughs> is my interpretive dance for this one yes we know what you mean by that don't we yeah little little <laughs> feathery like mean. inclusions within mm. um and as always you know uh, if you're up and with us bright and early this morning you are going to have the most amazing oh let's show that michael because that's gorgeous um your early bird uh, go onto the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com and everything is locked and loaded on the website. Click, watch live, scroll down, you can shop ahead. Um, now number one and two, they are your early bird this morning and I know they're gonna go crazy. Um, these are, in fact, I'll show you now, shall I? Uh, it makes sense, doesn't it? Your little pouches. We were talking yesterday about this, weren't we? And again, what usable colours. They're lovely, aren't and they? And I think, especially if you're doing wedding fairs or, you know, I can see that putting little pearl earrings in there or... that. Wow, they're amazing. They're gorgeous, mm. aren't they? So you've got them in the two colours, shop ahead on those. But what I have draped across the back of my hand is a very rare opportunity in the totally and utterly natural San and Scarn. Look at that colour. Mm. It's a variety of jade jewellery makers um, that the likes of Cartier are working with. So, you know, that's an indication of how beautiful it is and the quality of it. Um, that's coming up at, a, um, oh, okay, uh, at 11 o'clock. Not, not four in the afternoon, no? No? We'll be having our tea round about then, won't we? We'll be having our dinner. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's coming up at 11 o'clock. It's going to be amazing, absolutely amazing today. Drop your messages into the studio, jewellery makers. Um, come and say hi to us. What's this called? Pardon? <laughs> I've never heard of this gemstone in my life. Uh, stitchite? Stitchite? As in Lilo? <laughs> never heard of this before in my life. Stitchite? Stitch? Stitch? Sti no, it's stitch tight. Stitch. I like the colour of it. It's lovely. It's a bit, it's a bit charite, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'll be honest, I've never heard of it before. Me neither. It's also sold out, well done. Pound, <laughs> pound, pound. I have got some lovely garnet. Did you mean the cut stone? The lovely Asher. Beautiful Asher cut stone. Here it is. 
It's an Asher cut, yeah. I mean, the Ooh. Asher cut is, generally speaking, quite an expensive cut because it's got more facets than an, in a round brilliant cut. You can um, sand cast with this. Ooh, can you imagine Asher cut sand casting? That, that would be, be beautiful, really wouldn't, nice, it? wouldn't it? Um, oh, <laughs> pounds. <laughs> pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pound. It's also gone. Well done. Well done. Well done. Pound. 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 You like that? I don't know why the hands. He didn't I, do no, that. No, I like it? the hands. <laughs> uh, let's do some. Is it called? Yeah, Mir Miriam. Miriam Jasper. That's it. That's it. Well, you get all these fantastic natural kind of calligraphy-like markings across the surface of Ooh, it. It's cool, where is isn't he it? Finding all these. I know. He, he has a right rummage, does our Roscoe, don't you, Ross? <laughs> has a right rummage around in, the, in, in our vault. Those, those are little tiny. Oh, they've also gone. Um, <laughs> like, those are like little fossilization markings within the gemstone. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Uh, shall we do clear quartz now? Oh, he's not dilly dallying on this one. I love this strand. If this doesn't sell out, just so you know, I shall buy the remaining quantity. The price on this, says yeah. Ross, is outrageous, frankly disrespectful to the gemstone. Okay, um, because yeah, we had over the birth over the birthday we had like that zircon that clear quartz yeah. that topaz yeah. and they've all been around a certain price tag haven't they mm -hmm. which is a great price tag by the way 19.99 yeah yeah and hundreds of them sold some of them are even smaller than these they were like three or two millimeter this is for it's eye clean clear quartz diamond like clarity it's still in a beautiful genuine gemstone we have 100 that's why i was saying i wish we had more we, i wish we had the quantity of the rose quartz to be honest Let's match. Oh my goodness me. If we were sat here on the birthday, mm. 14th birthday, and we would say, look, we've got 800 of these and we're at 1999. Look at the clarity, look at the scintillation, look at the yep. sparkle, look at the luster. They would absolutely fly out. Um, we ha don't have that quantity, we have 100. How about if we told you that these were 1699? Again, they would fly out. Everybody needs clear quartz as yeah. a jewellery maker. Do you agree? It's yeah, our diamond yeah. opportunity. It's, it's just adds that sparkle yeah. in between pearls, in between yeah. coloured oh. gemstones on their own, yes. coloured cord. It's just, there's so many opportunities. Beautiful. Tassels, capriccio. Yes. We're not stopping there. Oh. Um, heads up, if you are desperate to get hold of your colourless gemstones, let's be honest, which is quite limited for us as jewellery makers. Yes. You've got topaz, you've got zircon, you've got clear quartz. That's pretty and much that's it. Because it, if these were diamonds, there's no way on earth they'd be on our screens at anywhere near what what, you're, what we're looking at. How about fourteen ninety nine? Ooh, it's good. Good. Very good. These are bigger than the three and two, obviously. Obviously, these will actually go today. Debs has just heard it. <laughs> Could you tap on my face? <sighs> these go under ten pounds, jewelry makers. You've got to think of the sparkle that you're getting from these, whereas you might have to use a glass, <gasps> a glass bicone. Yeah. You can use an actual gemstone in those designs. An actual gemstone. And four mil is perfect. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's my favourite four millimetre. I love millimeter. four mil. And you can, you can put it in your netted designs. You can put it in your CB designs instead of glass bicones. Yeah, exactly. And I really like that. Beady beads? Beady beads. Oh, yeah, Spaces. Beady beads. Good. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Bubble style. Aren't they? You know, yeah. just look at that, how you've done that. That just looks stunning. Amazing. Absolutely love Tassels, spacers, use mm -hmm. them as an alternative to knots. Um, if you think about it, you know, if you watch our sister channel, you know, if they're bringing, I don't know, a tanzanite to air, mm. chances are it'll have a couple of either topaz, zircons or diamonds acting either side. Yes. You know, we can't always bring you those colourless gemstones. No. Um, and we definitely, definitely can't always bring them to you at 9 99 Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. That's very good, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you could literally just put two either side of a gem of choice. Your sun and scarn that's coming up. Oh, that would look lovely together, wouldn't it? Do you know what, though? Do you know what? It's Thursday. We're excited. We've got Debs. It's our weekend, basically. It's the start of our weekend. 9 99 is not your price. This is why we were saying if we had a quantity of 800,000, probably even more than that, they would still 
Not 800,000, 800 or 1,000, so on. Not 800,000. Well, we have a big audience, but well, I, I, yeah. yeah. Um, who knows? Um, anyway, they would still sell out, wouldn't they? They most definitely would. £9.99, not your price, jewellery makers. Is this, uh, yeah, you're right about the disrespectful to the gemstone Yes, part. frankly, I'm ever so sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry, Sorry, Kate, little gemstone. It's Ross. It's Ross. It's all his doing. Isn't it you, Ross? It's all you. Bring bringing in the disrespectful prices and all that. But we know it's no reflection of the true value or worth, don't we, jewellery makers? Um, it would be double that. I totally agree with you. They are pristine eye clean. Um, with quartz, quartz as a mineral is abundant in actual fact. It looks like compact snow. That's why I always refer to it as. Quartz as a gemstone looks like this. Pristine, dazzling clarity. 7 99 I know. It's good, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's amazing. It's quartz. And like quartz... Um, you know, it's like the master healer. It, it takes on and amplifies the energy and the properties of anything you put with it. Love it. So if you put a calming gemstone with it, like rose quartz, say the yeah. one from yesterday, yeah. um, it's going to amplify that. You're going to be properly chill. So if you're into that, yeah. then, you know, go Metaphysically, for it. you have to have clear quartz it, in yeah, your Yeah, if you're into those sorts of things, I know not everyone is, but if you are, it's great to yeah. have this gemstone. Well, there's loads of you with it in your baskets, jewellery makers. I've got Mary and Surrey and Barbara and Buckinghamshire. Um, I've got Brenda and Patricia and Wanda and Sylvia. But that is still not your price. One more price crash. He's right. I feel like I need to apologise. I feel like I need <laughs> to apologise to the gemstone, Roscoe. Sorry, Clickhorts. It's very chilled. It doesn't mind. It doesn't mind. No. Put it I mean, in moonlight. Talking about said the hippie. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it though. I love it. Like you said, with your with both of your projects that are coming up, it would be amazing alongside your galaxy agate. It would be amazing alongside your pearls. It would be amazing alongside the sand and scan. It would be absolutely amazing alongside I don't know neon appetite, emeralds, ruby, sapphires, whatever gem we mention. And if you're making chakra bracelets, you can put these in between each chakra colour oh, to like nice. amplify the power of the yeah. of the bracelet or the the properties of the gemstones, which I often do that with this. If you know I just I just pop them as spacers. Do you find it difficult to get hold of yeah. clear quartz sometimes? But when I get a clear quartz I always get a few Yeah. So you stock up when you get the chance. Because I know, I know that I'm going to use them yeah. and they'll be gone. And, and they're on air and they're gone. That's mm. the thing. We've got 100, but they will sell out today. There's so many of you doing exactly what Deb suggests, multi-buying. That's the thing. How, ask yourself, answer yourself this question. Do you see clear courts every day here at Jewelry Maker? We don't, do we? Don't bring it every single it's day. It's gone down again. It's gone down again, yeah. <laughs> Six ninety nine. Oh, that's good. I wonder how many beads roughly are on there. Ooh. Show me 10. Show you 10. Show you 10. Hang on. Hang on, I'm just hang thinking on. for capriccios and tassels, that's what I want to do. I know I keep yes. going on about it, but they, they do look lovely with gemstones like this. Let me put it on a white piece of paper. Hang on. One, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, and then stretch it out. Ten. You've got a lot. About a hundred, I would say. You reckon said. there's about a hundred on there? So for a capriccio, you'd need three. Okay. That's all right. When it's six ninety nine, that's not bad. That's like... For, yeah. Yeah, that's cheaper than probably a pair of earrings in a place that I walked out of the other day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, the plastic ones at that. Yes, oh, definitely. Oh, that's amazing. That's such <gasps> a good price. What about bridal mix? It'd be perfect for bridal tiaras. Tiaras. Oh, if you don't know what a Capriccio bracelet is, let us show you. Oh, yeah, good thinking. They're thinking, what are you going on about, Deb? Oh. Yeah, that. Look there at that. There you go. How amazing would that be in a clear quartz? You could recreate that with this gemstone almost exactly. Look yeah. at that. <sighs> oh, I love that. That would be amazing. And we've got some lovely sterling silver elements to bring you as well today. I was thinking that. Yeah, with those big... And the hummingbird from yesterday. Yes. Um, I'm going to do one with the hummingbird. I ordered that yesterday. That is almost exactly what we're looking at on the screen. Oh, Elle, I want to make that. How amazing would that be as a piece of jewellery? Oh, my goodness me. And we've got it in the silver, if that's your preference. Oh, that is so... When is that, Ross? 11. 11, 11 o'clock. So what, what size would you say is best for a Capriccio? As in, what size what? Oh, bead. Um, four mil or three mil? 
Oh, there you go. So if you're going for like three mil beads, you would possibly add one either side, four mil maybe on its own. And also it's about your tension. If you, if you want to know to how to make one, if you go onto our YouTube channel on the 14th of December for the calendar demo, I did a full hour worth of demo on how to make this bracelet in real detail. I use big beads so that you can see close up and um, people have made some crackers oh, and, they're gorgeous. and put them on the wall of fame and things. So, oh, I really do want to make uh, that though with that clasp and that strand. Yeah, you know, if there's any left. Well, here we go. I'm just literally holding a different version of the clasp up now. What do we think oh. to that? Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, they go amazing together, don't they? Oh, that is, and you know, it, you've got the multiple holes, so you can stitch through them. Yeah. And it's just perfect to actually have that wider bracelet be attached to something like yeah, that. Yeah, because it won't bunch, will it? No, it doesn't bunch, it won't bunch exactly together. That. Um, amazing six pack they're coming up a bit later on those class jewelry makers right 6.99 for pristine eye clean quartz oh it's so say that lovely. fast pristine eye clean quartz <laughs> the tip of the tongue the teeth and the lips <laughs> <laughs> very good i'm impressed with that um we had 100 how are we doing roscoe <laughs> We had 100. We will wait for this to be on screen sellout because there are so many of you with it in your basket. That is your prize. That's literally about a third of what I would expect here at Jewelry Maker, genuinely. This at 19, I would expect a strand like this to be 19.99. I just think 6.99, or if you have, you know, you think about that, but the bracelet that we just saw the picture of, how much you would sell or have to buy that for. So yeah. say it was a bridal, say you were thinking bridal or occasion jewelry, so you went into a boutique to buy, yeah, that one, you said to buy that. Yeah. That's gonna be in a bridal boutique over a hundred pound and so. Oh gosh, yeah. Um, and that will probably be, it looks like glass crystals, which is yeah. pretty, very pretty. But to be able to have it in a gemstone, you've got like the gemstone properties yes. as well. Um, and to be able to get, you know, sometimes I get put off because if the strand is like, 20 pounds and i need three of them that's yeah. like 60 pounds so that will put me off yeah but um that price was 6.99 no not at all not at all you know um, and you mentioned stacker style bracelets oh yeah perfect for that you know this is a photograph from ashley clark oh i love that um stuff. arm candy amazing isn't it it's just a selection of beautiful genuine gemstones um that's lapis lazuli obviously but uh, uh, and i think labyrite um, but you could absolutely recreate, I'm sure, fairly sure they do a clear quartz version of their biography yeah. bracelet. And those are three figures all day long. Even I could make a version of that. You could and that's saying something. Now we have 11 left. Oh no. Just 11. So if you are Denise, Anne-Marie, Brent, Amanda, Mirtha Tidville, Julie, Robert, Carol, Gloucestershire, Lynn, Janet, Diane, Andrea, Paula, and I can't see the rest of you. Um, and there's some of you with twos in your baskets and threes in your baskets. Make sure you're checking out because we are down to the final 11 of those. In fact, probably less than that now. Amazing. Now, speaking of beautiful gemstones. Oh. Um, let's bring you Totally Natural. I have 15 available. One location. You can get dioxide in different locations. However, the chrome dioxide is very different. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, oh, sh dear. I shall repeat what Ross has just <laughs> yeah, said in our ear. He's like, well, the last auction was a complete disgrace to the gemstone, <laughs> as in their price tag. And he says, if you think if you think that was bad, he should be positively locked up for this. Oh, okay. Locked up. These are totally natural. You lose oh, look ninety percent of the carrot weight cutting this gem. And I think you underestimate how loved this gemstone is. Oh, it's is. gorgeous. Anytime I made anything with chrome dioxide, it would just sell. Yeah. And, the, and I'd get asked for it a lot, which actually surprised me, because yeah. I would think that people didn't necessarily know what it was. People, yeah. are, you know, general public people. Yeah. And they did, and they'd ask me for chrome yeah. dioxide. And it's not something you can get hold of a lot. No, well, we're not buying any more now, oh, really? sadly, because yeah. obviously the location. The, yeah. So unfortunately, this, this is old mine. So yeah. we're not buying any more for the foreseeable oh, future yeah, course, anyway. Yeah. 
Um, let's hope, obviously, th situations yeah. change, but um, that's natural. They often refer to Creme d'Alpes as the million dollar um, emerald, and I, I've got to be Ooh. honest, I've never seen an emerald look like that. Me neither. Never. <laughs> to be honest, that's much more, if you said Zavrite, I guess, but even then a Zavrite doesn't have the same brilliance. 90% of the carrot weight lost during the cutting process. Wow. Um, producer Ross is saying, El, this is so shocking, I'm only holding it on air for one minute. <laughs> Are you, are you going to be... Are we going to have to lock you up, Roscoe? <sighs> okay. We just won't talk about that. Lovely earrings. Imagine oh, those gorgeous. in your... Yeah, are all rings. Oh. Oh, uh, anything actually, bracelet, you know, just setting those. It, oh, It's one of those, look at me, gemstones, isn't it? Because yeah. you cannot fail to admire that colour. It's and beautiful. it's natural. I think it's one of those colours that suits everyone. Yeah, well. I agree. It's my favourite colour, green. I love green oh, as green. a colour. So um, but it is a gemstone. It's very rare. It's, notice that it's quite shallow. Yeah. Notice how the pavilion is not as deep as what you would expect yeah. in other gemstones. And that's because um, it has to be expertly faceted. I mean, I know all lapidaries are experts, but um, chrome dioxide is particularly challenging because if you cut it, uh, um, it too deep, it can lose its brilliance because really? it's such a darkly saturated, ge richly saturated gemstone. So they have to be quite shallow. Look, I mean, that's perfection in its faceting. You've got the reflection of the green on the, on the little cushion behind. I agree, Ross. Yeah, go on, off you go, off you go. <laughs> we have to lock him up now. Go and lock you up now. Um, do you want another one? I love these. I love, love, love these. You'll love these as well. One locational gemstone, all the way to the Dominican. Did you notice yesterday Dave said he's off to the Dominican? I know, because I was going to offer, because I'm like that, yeah. to be his assistant. You take one for the team. He wouldn't have to pay me or anything. I would be, no. I would be happily just be, oh, look at the colour. I know, they're sorry. gorgeous. <laughs> look at the colour of those. They're stunning, aren't they? Oh. I love them. Alhambra inspired. But one thing I can tell you, Van Cleef and Arpels do not have Larimar in their portfolio. This is a one locational gemstone, and this is just my opinion. I can imagine Larimar mining out before Tanzanite. Really? It's a much smaller mining operation. Do you agree, Russ? It's only one square mile mining in Larimar. I did not know that. So very, very, very small mining location, and it's the only place in the world where you'll get this blue pectolite. So Van Cleef, absolutely could not include Larimar in their portfolio because they they would need ah. quantity of it. Now, if this were in Van Cleef, there's no way on earth that it would be 99 pounds and 99 pence. No. These are solid 92 sterling silver. Yeah, they'd be thousands. I think that's just a rule of thumb for Van Cleef and Arpels. Oh, it's got to be in the thousands. Um, they do use more affordable gemstones because they need lots. Onyx, agates. It, I don't know. It pops in this color. I've it's not lovely, seen isn't it? this motif in this color before or anywhere, and I just think it pops. Oh, it's lovely. I'd wear these definitely. Me too. The kind of earrings that I would, I put on and never and never take off. Mm. Um, sorry, I've just got the funniest conversation going on in my ear right there. <laughs> no, but do you, know, do you know, it's what I've had at home. This is so funny because my husband actually says, you haven't got an earlobe, Belle. It just connects to your face. <laughs> and I was like, all right. It is quite small, my earlobe. Whereas he's got, I call it a fried egg. You know, like the Haribo fried eggs. <laughs> so in the guys in the gallery are going, have you got a lobe or not? <laughs> oh, love it. Love it, love it. Right, one price crash. No, Adam, that's hilarious. So I want to know the answer to the question too. Have you got a lobe or not? <laughs> 19.99. I mean, again, you could go into those costume jewellery shops and, and... Walk out again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and you'd spend that on, on fake gems. Yeah, you would. You this is a one would. locational genuine gemstone. Oh, it's lovely. That's a that's one for. Well, if you where are we? Well, you'd get that for Mother's Day if you did quick post, wouldn't you? I think so. Uh, no, it's Sunday. So where are we today? Thursday. I'm losing Thursday. track of the day for. Um, maybe, maybe you can always do it as a little present afterwards. You can. Can't. A nice little present afterwards. I'd rather have those than 
I don't know, chocolates or something. Chocolates or flowers. Yeah, but which let's be honest, honest, a day like robbery on Mother's Day. And yeah, and they die. They die. Yeah. Can't beat a bunch of dafts. That's what I oh, like on I love Mother's the Day. spring flowers. Yeah. Oh. I've always, in the spring, I've always got dafts. Yeah, me too. Because they're cheerful. And those little ones. Yeah, tea Yeah, I love those. Um, make sure you check it out your baskets. That is your price for genuine natural Larimar and the most amazing four leaf clover design. Well done. Do I have to take these off? No. So I really like them. Yeah. I want to buy those. Now, uh, whilst we're here, let's show you a gemstone that we haven't seen in three years three years oh, yeah i don't think i've ever seen it i know it was definitely ivy house oh was it yeah so we are talking a long long time yeah. ago seraphonite not serpentine they are two different gemstones but seraphonite if you can imagine the same color as serpentine with a little bit of translucency but literally angel wing chatoyancy across oh, them look at it it's magical i know it's amazing absolutely amazing can you imagine this in you know some of our viewers do those incredible tree of lives oh. and they don't only do the pendants but i saw one the other day a lady actually made a tree beautiful. can you imagine using this or maybe this in conjunction with the rose quartz from yesterday oh, beautiful blossom tree that would be amazing nine o'clock on the dot we're all excited to bring this to you mm -hmm. and i will say it's been three years so you know it will be a sellout. That's an absolute given. An absolute given. It's stunningly beautiful, Seraph and I. I love it. And it, for me, I always think of it as like the guardian angel stone because it does look like guardian angel wings within Aww. there. That's coming your way, jewelry makers. Don't forget your early bird as well. Your little pouches. Um, I think these are great. So you actually get a pack of three. You can choose the colour. So you can either get the um, grey or the pink. Which I think is lovely, isn't it? Well, if you're making basically. earrings or rings mm. or brooches, shop ahead on these because we're going to do a crazy, crazy price. Shall we bring you a gemstone that has, well, rocked the gem world um, significantly? Oh, they're amazing quality um, over the past couple of months, in all honesty. So we kind of foresee, uh, foresaw it. We knew that there was going to be. Um, a, a situation on supply of pearls <clears throat> um, when obviously the pandemic hit because you know you can walk away from certain mines you can't walk away from a harvest of pearls because um, they literally sadly got lost to the sea and um, that means then you've got to develop mature your mollusks to start the process again and that doesn't happen just overnight it usually takes about two three years then you've got to obviously start the process of culturing pearls which again does not happen overnight so there's your supply issue what we didn't foresee was the global in particular china um obsession with pearls um in, in, in relaying the message from our pearl buyer upstairs who came and joined me on show uh, last week and she was amazing i have to i was telling you that last night you wasn't were, I? She, yes. she did she did she did amazing it was lovely to hear exactly the situation mm. from her who's yep. trying to buy this them this is georgia and she was saying i cannot buy freshwater pearls moving forward i'm having to buy edison yeah, which are obviously more expensive yeah much much more expensive again all the five virtues are being ticked you've got lovely uh, um, pure white near round pearls classic pearls you know this is if you think say imagine a classic pearl necklace it would be this it's these are so beautiful they are just i don't know they're, they're like the dream it's yeah like when, you, when you think of the size yeah you know just the shape, the colour. Yeah. It, they're just very Audrey Hepburn, very breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, uh, totally. And at 149, Debs. I know. That's an amazing deal, Roscoe. He asked the question, who's, who's comfortable at this price? We know that they are quite literally irreplaceable. They're irreplaceable in a sense we cannot get freshwater pearls. We can buy Edison. Yeah. So you will see, just giving you a heads up on this jewelry makers, more Edison pearls on our show. Yeah. Which come at a higher price tag. So to be bringing you the, uh, one of our last remaining strands of freshwater pearls and saying, who's comfortable at 149? Yeah, I am. I think already that's a great deal. They've got double figure uh, measurements. Yeah. Pills are that expensive these days that they're actually being sold by the carrot for the first time ever. Okay, Ross says, I'm gonna bring the price to air and then we're gonna give you another minute. 
a little bit of a hint, it is going to double figures. Ooh. Okay. But you're only going to get a minute at this next price tag. How many have we got, Roscoe? 16, one six. Have a look on Blue Nile, reputable pearl suppliers, much like ourselves. Go on there, or the, uh, yeah, Blue Nile are fantastic there, or Asile, or any mm. of those places. Go on Blue Nile, research nine to 10 millimeter pearls, and I bet they're not 149. I bet they're not, especially at the moment. Maybe one solitaire, as in one individual pendant especially right now and places like blue nile they will listen to what's going in the market you know uh, acile pearls for example that's what they specialize in mm. pearls they've got to replace the pearls when they sell those strands so um it's not okay i bought it for this i'll sell it for this it's how much will it cost me to replace, replace yep. that piece of jewelry yeah. and right now they're practically irreplaceable for the first time in almost 20 years our visit to hong kong um the gemporio buying team was they didn't go buying buying pearls because they knew they wouldn't be able to that it was believed that all the transactions had been agreed prior to the event here we go blue nile right now freshwater cultured pearls stud earrings in 14 karat gold but it is a post yeah but that's not a lot of 14 karat no. gold so it's that wouldn't be the worth no it. how much are they <gasps> are 225 they? pound for two two pearls for Blue Nile, I have to say, that's not that bad. Because that's not bad. Now, this is why you're only going to get a minute at a full strand of natural, genuine, freshwater cultured pearls, near round, nine to 10 mil. Oh. <laughs> okay. You are a rotter. He's a little tinker today. What a tinker. That, oh, look at them though, up at the neck, yeah, up at the neck like. Oh. We love pearls, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> I love, 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 love. Oh, oh no. my goodness me. Rochdale, get in six. I don't blame <gasps> you. I do not blame you. But you know what you could do? Just sell them on, or if you could bear yeah. to pop, straight like that, couldn't you? Absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't, but you could. I, I, I buy pearls, and, and, I, and I say to my husband, I say, oh, you know what, well, I can sell them for this. And he's like, yeah, but are you going to? And it never happens. Because I get so attached to them. It just somehow ends up around my neck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at how perfect. These are heirloom. They're the reality perfect. is, you know, the days of us bringing you pearls every single show, gone. The days of us bringing you affordable pearls, gone. We, these pearls have also gone. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Oh, where did those pearls where go? Did they yeah, go? Where did they go? I do have, when you say nuggets. <laughs> I've been looking at those all morning. What are they? Are they appetite? Neon appetite. I thought they were. No, hang on, Adam. What's the average carrot weight of neon appetite? 0.15. Granular. I ask him because he knows, he knows. When you know, you know. When you know, you know. 0.15 this is a gemstone that forms in minuscule sizes and yet i have boulders i love that strand that is a what bit would of me, you do with something like this just all out i'm not i'm not about getting one and putting in the pen no all of them around my neck oh lovely like if you think red carpet you think um not kate winslet kate blanchett yeah like what she had this um, she, she often does it statement and yeah. she'll wear a plain dress and her jewelry just does all the talking yeah and i have tried in the past to source this natural huge chunky gemstone and they're quite hard to, to get so when yeah. i see them i buy them yeah uh, well we don't get them very often it's a bit of me for obvious is. reasons really look at the size of those they're gorgeous we're at 149 pounds which is amazing considering this is a gemstone that was written about by the jewelry editor uh, many big designers are working with i'm going to hold up to the neckline i think um you know and, and usually they are much 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 smaller sizes now this is brand new look at that you're Do you see right. what i mean yeah 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 i mean imagine you go out 
anywhere with with that on and look you know you're in black today look how that elevates you could walk yeah. straight out of here and go to a, a function you could go out of here and you know have your jeans on it just yeah that so looks, cool. you could wear that on the red carpet it, totally it's just stunning that is cool isn't it just knot it like a chunky knot <laughs> chunky <laughs> apparently ad says we can go and wear it well and get a burger well why can not can it be a veggie burger oh yes. okay any any burger of can choice. you see what i mean though when i yeah. say like some people would be like that's way too big for me but it's not though it's when you not. actually put it up to the neckline yeah. and it's not uncomfortable i mean because... of course you can use one if you want I, you know i'm joking it's it's my design style to, to go all out i yeah. tend to go all big or to all tiny there's not yeah. much in between yeah but, you know so these would be wonderful for a single pendants or charms but look at look at it as a strand oh tops of tassels gurus and your malas but i'm with you deb so i would literally just wear that as is i mean it just look how it just lifts you now premiere never been on screens the most beautiful tropical blue it's totally natural. I want this. I want this, please. <laughs> How many have you got, Ross? Oh, oh no. it's only 24, though. Have you not brought your phone in? Might have done. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Might have done. We are not stopping at 149. If you love it and you've added it to your order, don't forget your early birds as well. Those little pouches, which I think are fantastic for gifting. How about one on your threader earrings? Ooh yes, because you can have kind of like opera length. It's almost like you know what it's giving me Vogue vibes. Vogue you know, vibes. You, you know when you see like London Fashion Week, yeah, or yeah. You see the models and they have something really, you know, you look at it and you think, wow, that's yeah. what I'm. That's what that strand says to me. Absolutely. What's her name? Anna. Winter. Winter. That's I can imagine. I can her imagine her, like it. she wears things around and she'll have a statement thing and a small thing together. Yeah. And it really works. Yeah, it does. It really does. Again, the price that we're bringing this to you, they are huge. I mean, look at the measure. They're not 12 by 16. They're far bigger than that, in my opinion. Oh my goodness me. There's only 23. That tells you the rarity of the gems. That's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. Hang on. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 solitaires approximately obviously we guarantee the carat weight rather than the quantity of the stones i mean bless you 750 carats of natural neon appetite Love that with those. the pearls would be amazing too wouldn't oh, it off with the um clear quartz in oh between. beautiful um need want those nuggets says joanne in shropshire absolutely joanne, i'm with you it gives you that feeling doesn't it that yeah. you know when you see something and you think yes yeah, they 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 should be called boulders, but then I suppose that's not romantic, is it? Mind you, it's nuggets. Oh, I hate the word nugget. I don't think uh, nugget does anything any ju justice. No, nugget. Um, I'd put crackle quartz <gasps> spaces for sparkle. Lovely. Yes, amazing, Christine. Christine. That yes. would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The thing is, neon appetite complements everything, doesn't it? So you it, can color contrast it as well. It was the one gemstone that I couldn't believe had that color naturally. Yeah. And I, uh, for ages, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's dyed. That doesn't come naturally from Mother Nature. But it does. And I mean, that's mind blowing. <clears throat> There's no enhancement. Sometimes heat treated, but this is totally and utterly natural. <sighs> It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it. Um, appetite has got a high phosphorus content. So have we, by the way. We have phos <laughs> phosphorus within our bones. Well, that must be why I love it so That's much. That's why probably why you love it. And by the way, phosphorus in Greek translate to bringer of life. So they believe that this gemstone oh. actually formed in around the dinosaur bones. Maybe that's why it's got such energy. I don't know. I don't know. Amazing. It is flying out. We've had just 20 odd. Was it? 22. 24. Um, Heather, Patricia getting two. Regine, Judith, Joanne, you've got yours. Well done. The need, want, love. Um, London, Christine, you've got yours. Rochdale, you've got yours. Have they gone? Oh, they're in the process. I've only got five left. So well done, everybody. I, oh. Oh. Now, who texted in saying need, want those nuggets? I need, want these. They're stunning. Oh. Eight millimeter natural rounds, glowing, no enhancement whatsoever. Ross and I have had this conversation a few times, Debs, and we're saying that we believe 
2024 stroke 2025 is going to be the year of like your Amazonites nights and your appetites yeah. we think for sure because you're seeing those colors yeah. everywhere aren't you it's just like you say it is it's amazing to consider this came from the ground i think people won't believe you no <laughs> there's 12 available one crash one minute definitely worthwhile getting your certificate on these because the, because it's not even heat treated this is totally natural look at the quality again 19.99 neon appetite is not an inexpensive gemstone and again it forms in tiny 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 sizes so anything anywhere near these scales is ex astonishingly rare remember was it Caterina Perez who actually spoke about um or was it your friend what's her name Cat Florence, thank you. So that's it. She said size matters when we're talking about neon appetite yeah. since forming it, seeing anything over one carat is a real rarity. And the saturation is what drives the high prices. You've got the perfect saturation. You've got big sizes with your eight mils. And here we are at 19.99. We've only had 12 though. So make sure you are checking them out. I would use these. Eh, oh dear. Um, I would use these. We're just throwing gemstones everywhere, sorry. With those pearls <gasps> that we had a few moments ago. Look at that. That's happiness right there. Joy. <laughs> happiness and joy I just it gives me a lovely feeling that you know I, I don't question it when I'm drawn to a gemstone I think I must need it and yeah. I, I'm very drawn to that it's gorgeous oh oh so you can have the two I sizes. don't know if yeah I was gonna say oh you confused me then Roscoe look one price and one minute there's how many 12 it is joyful it I'm is with you on that Debs yeah <laughs> Look at the, oh, the four mils are stunning. Those are the clear quartz. Oh, 14.99. They would be amazing with the clear quartz, wouldn't they? Right, Imagine hang on a second. that as a kit with the clear quartz. Oh, yes, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Sorry, I'm making a right hash of this. <laughs> They're singing Christmas carols in our ear. Um, I like very, it. Uh, singing them very badly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but there we are. It's nice to he hear them happy, eh, Debs? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Look, <laughs> jolly. Oh, look, at, look at those. I mean, imagine that as a kit. And you can create your own kits. Just get the strands and think, this is a kit. I challenge yeah. myself to come up with something epic. Yes, I love that. Yeah. I used to love making kits. Me used too, because to I did it for a while. Yeah. But I think I took too long to put much too much thought into it. Because, yeah. you know, as a designer, I'm designing. And, you know, you've got to be a bit more single-minded than that. But I was like oh you know yeah. what, what can i put this together this and this but there's a lady on our facebook page i'm sorry i can't remember your name but if she's watching and she often puts together her own kits and then shows what she's made with love it love it absolutely love it um okay let's do oh this is what i literally just threw everywhere by <laughs> mistake yeah. um the other day Friday. Oh, I like those. Uh, our MD Scott stepped into the studio because it was the masked manager and they were all trying to outdo each other basically <laughs> with the best deals um i would have loved to have been a fly in the wall on their in, in their trade meeting the following day well you did this and you did that <laughs> you just imagine it yeah, with that yeah, conversation yeah. anyway roscoe uh not roscoe sorry uh scott brought this as a as a manager special bundle now how many strands am i looking at here ross 10 Ten of them. I've got from your paparazzi like colours. I've got your. Sorry, am I taking too long? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, look, it's the There's rainbow. a lot of strands, Adam. Give me a break. There you go. Um, you've got ten strands of beautiful mermaid court. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's joy, isn't it? What size are they? These are. I'm going to say eight mil. Six. Six. They're six, six mil. Six mil. Six mil. Oh, I love it. My daughter would go crazy for this bundle. Yeah, love. Oh, she likes colour, doesn't she? And, you know, can you imagine all of the stretchies and the arm pot? You could have all different oh. colour stretchies. Amazing. Oh, Kiss crosses. Joyful. Yeah, oh. Has Mark had these? I think he has. Oh, I'd love to see what Mark could yeah, do with these. Yeah, I feel like he has. Marlers, stretchies, as you said. You could use them in a multitude. And they are all 38 centimetre strands. Ten... 38 centimetre strands. That's £3.50 per strand of genuine quartz. I love them. Amazing. Yeah, this was our MD's manager special deal. So you know it's a cracker. 
Because genuinely, it wasn't really about logic. <laughs> and it wasn't clearly... They didn't have their business hats on, let's just put it that way, um, when they stepped into the studio. It was quite literally about outdoing each other. <laughs> and I can I I like say that. they were all as bad as each other. <laughs> <laughs> with the deals they were so good weren't they um so we were repeating that everyone maybe it was meant to be a one-time deal but hey ho um well done how many have you got roscoe 20 left but there's loads of you in the basket remember you've only got 10 minutes left on this hour as well so um if you haven't yet checked out then i would definitely consider doing that don't forget your early bird too now should we do some butterflies mm. I hope this summer we see lots of butterflies because I didn't see many last year. No. I didn't see that many. Now, hand carved, genuine gemstones. Ooh, double sided carved as well. So that's front and reverse. In Amazonite and natural, both natural, natural Amazonite, natural lapis lazuli. They are drilled through the centre as well. So you can just literally put these on a head pin. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> How sweet are they? Look. Little Kids. charms, little oh. pendants. They are gorgeous. Oh, like on your bracelet yesterday, Debs. Yeah. They'd be lovely, wouldn't they? Aren't they lovely? Aren't they gorgeous? Are you, do you get them both together? Or? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Get both, and they are carved front and reverse as well. Oh, that's perfect. So on a bracelet, if it turned round, it wouldn't matter. Lovely. With your, uh, again, your thread of earrings, you could just mm. have them kind of dancing around. A positive kaleidoscope of butterflies. <gasps> Brand new low. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. They are hand carved. Works of art in a sense. Yeah. Yep. You know, to actually not facet a gemstone or polish a gemstone, carve a gemstone into a living form amazing we're at a brand new low price tag jewelry makers but just to show you as well front and reverse look carved front oh, and yeah. reverse amazing we're gonna go again how many have you got 50 available opportunities never been to 9.99 but we are going to go lower that's not just for one of them you haven't got to pick which gemstone you get both of them you get one minute at this price tag though jewelry makers Ooh. so make sure you are quick wait wait Four pounds. So if you get two, you can have two matching earrings. Yes. Yeah. Or if you want to be a trendsetter, you can have do that thing where they, I quite like it, where you have different earrings. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I like your idea of having them like floating around your head as like earrings. I like that. If you can, if you can multi-buy, yeah. Yeah. it would be nice if you had like a little kaleidoscope in each ear, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Because a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. I know. I, I love oh. that. I love that. Um, hopefully you've got enough of those, uh, enough available for you to do that. Jewelry makers, Julie, Lisa, Shirley, Maker, Joanna, June, Doreen, Jennifer, £7.99. Um, do text in, come and say hello to Debs and I would love to hear from you. Um, as would all the crew, actually. You're right, gorgeous, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You doing anything? <laughs> Are you, do, are you doing anything this weekend? It's in June tonight. June? Yes. Oh, in the cinema? Yeah. It's meant to be good. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be very good. It's meant to be really good. Yeah. Is that with Timothy... Timothy Chevrolet? There you go. <laughs> June. Dune. June. Dune, not June. Yeah, it is meant to be good. I've seen the first one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Are you doing anything this weekend? Is it Mother's Day this week? It is. Yay! Yes, we're going out for dinner on Mother's Day with, with all of us and ah, my granddaughter as well. That's nice. My pickle face. Your little, oh, I'll give her a little smush later. Oh, give her a little smushy. smush. Lovely. Text in what are you up to this weekend? Now, last week, I love these, Roscoe. Now, I've got the Malachite. Yeah, mm, I remember them being silly because they were sterling silver. So let me show you. You've got two. <gasps> Ooh. Nine of the malachite. These are silver. Are they? And I've got ten of your Nan Hong after the groundbreaking news that we heard yesterday on Nan Hong. They look lovely together. They are superb. Just feed them onto a chain or onto look a bit of that. leather. Look at that. How so upmarket cool. that is. Yeah. That's natural uh, malachite. Solid 925 sterling silver, 
We've got nine left. Nine pounds ninety nine. Do you know what? I might get one of these. Do you know? I, I think that they would look amazing on anyone's neck. Yeah. Men, women, yeah, any I was thinking age. That too. I think they're really universal, aren't they? I was thinking that too. This is the kind of component that I would use in something, you know, to gift Tom. I can see him wearing something like yeah, this. Yeah, he would. I think he'd look cool. Yeah, he'd probably he'd, he'd like that. Yeah, it's cool. He'd wear that either beaded or on a bit of leather yeah, yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah, cool. Nine ninety nine. It's genuine malachite. We are talking about two of the hottest gemstones at the moment. Nanhong miners closed. We learned that just yesterday. Um, malachite, absolutely everywhere, isn't it? Every oh, designer. Can you think? You know, if you put this malachite on a, that strand of pearls just now, or Ooh. any strand of pearls, yeah. How much that finished piece of jewellery would cost you to buy? <gasps> Look at that. Ah, uh, sorry, I got too excited. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That would be that's gorgeous. Two hundred pounds plus to buy. Absolutely. Plus. Oh, that's true. The earrings were two hundred twenty-five. I mean, I'm thinking like our prices. But yeah, like crazy. I mean, look at that as a piece of jewellery. Oh, I love it. Hang on, hold that thought. Okay. Hold that thought because here's a gemstone that is now mined out. <gasps> Remember, we found out that yesterday. I want that. <laughs> I that's want everything gorgeous, to... isn't it's not... it? How much is it? Nine ninety nine. No, it isn't. Yeah, <laughs> Ross, that's an amazing deal. It's totally natural Nan Hong Agate oh, that we that. learned yesterday. Only yesterday is now closed. That is stunning. Oh, look at that piece of jewelry. Unbelievable. Yeah, if you make that piece of jewelry, you've got yeah two cust potential customers right yeah, here. Yeah, just yeah. Give just it give it us a call. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to each and every single one of you. Up next, everyone, is your early bird. I love early birds like this because we can make the wonderful jewellery. We can give you the guidance, the inspiration, and the knowledge from our fabulous designers. And we can bring you the most competitive price tags. And But I, it's there's just one, one, one part that we must never overlook. And that is how you present it. And it's early birds like this that make it perfection. You could emboss these. Oh, you could. Now, what are they made of? They're like a, um, a, a suede. Oh, a, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> suede. And you get a pack of three. So yeah. if you go to somewhere like Monica Veneda and you buy a piece of Monica Veneda jewellery, <laughs> they're presented in these. Yes, little like little envelope, posh yeah. envelope of, of um, material. Yeah, they're presented in these and they're usually embossed with their logo or something like that on the front. Um, and they look after your jewellery, so it's wonderful. Mm. It's wonderful. But just by adding a little pochette, in a sense, is adding to the value of that piece of jewellery 100%. They literally just tuck inside like a little envelope, basically. You get a pack of three. I've got them in the pink as well, but we're starting with the grey. This is a very universal colour, mm. I think. Um, we have how many? 260 available opportunities. You know, if I was to put, I don't know, if I was to make this, that piece of jewellery, then I could put pendants in here, earrings in here, mm. rings in there, absolutely everything. We're at two pounds per suede pouch, effectively. That's good. And we're still not done. We will cause an absolute frenzy on the phone <laughs> lines, the web and the app right now. So I'd strongly encourage shopping ahead. Who would like all three pochettes for under five pounds today? Oh, that's good. I am. I am happy, Pappy. Are you happy, Pappy? <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm happy. Are you happy, Pappy? Pappy? Yeah. Are you happy, Pappy? Is everybody else at home happy, Pappy? How about a pound? A pound? What? Pound fifty per pouch. That's amazing. One pound fifty. Per pochette. And if you think that you're, if you're adding that on to the co what you've worked out as the cost price of your jewellery, that's not going to make a difference, you know. So it's not like you're, you're thinking, no, I've got it's to not add five pounds on to, you know. It's just that one pound. Oh, it's not your price. <laughs> no, it's look, look. Those those earrings, those beautiful Larimar earrings. There you go. You know they're nice and safe now. And then let me pop it down. You're literally just. It could be cufflinks as well for gents. Yeah. Absolutely. 
good to keep your rings in to keep yeah. them away from each other and it's not going to take up a lot of space so you could put those inside your jewelry box couldn't you there you go nice and secure how amazing are these let me show you the reverse as well and then you put them in your box as well. Two pounds, where have they gone now? Two pounds and 99 pence, that's a pound per pochette. I need that's, some of these. So do I. And do you know what I need these for as well? You know the loose stones, like yeah. the stone setting, and um, I tend to put them in envelopes, it's not yeah. ideal. Um, but I could put them in these and they don't take up a lot of space and then they'll go in your drawer like it like filed does uh, that yes, make sense that's a good idea mm. almost like a little like, like like you get the little plastic files like yeah but, but like so you can they're not going to take up a large space but they're all protected and easy to open just pop in and yeah. see what not going to scratch the gemstones yeah. certain gems don't like plastic so. and they won't touch each other yeah that's a good idea um 2.99 that's ridiculous that's a little add it to your order deal isn't <laughs> yes. it and it does make such a difference if you're gifting or if you're selling. And like I say, I'm not just ex uh, really talking to the businesses here. I'm talking about those of us who make for our nearest and dearest. And I think know? most of us do as jewelry makers make yeah. for somebody at some point, don't we? Yeah, 100%. And how you present them, that's where sometimes our hands are tied because maybe we can't find the uh, find a box or, yeah. um, or packaging. So they have to kind of go in like a little chiffon bag. Now, I haven't got a problem with chiffon bag, but I think this looks far more luxurious agree um in a velvet pouch let's bring the pink i love the pink ones i think this is so pretty here we go so again just tuck it in folds in nice and simple straighten it out so it looks nice there you go there you are job done now there's the three in the pink. Shop ahead on these. We've got hundreds of them, but they are also flying out the door. Bang on nine o'clock. We are going to be bringing you the beautiful strand of Seraphonite. Um, it has been three years since we've been able to bring you Seraphonite. If you imagine sort of ga guardian angels, if you think about, um, if you think about beautiful chatoyancy, um, in a natural rich green gemstone um, then Seraphonite oh you're gonna love it you're gonna absolutely love it it's coming up in a few moments time just after the break jewelry makers and also I'm gonna make my way over to Deb's for her stunning absolutely stunning projects we have the first ever galaxy agate strands natural only launched yesterday in the bangle we've got the strands today so um make sure you're with deb's um for the next hour and ready for your seraphonite do not go anywhere jewelry makers check out your baskets and we'll see you in two Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I just wanted to let you know that I'm back in the studio on Friday the 8th. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful little bee charms. They're bound to get you buzzing with excitement. Um, they come in three colorways and they have little tiny teardrops that you set yourself. They're very cute. You don't want to miss those, very on trend. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, so they're really exciting projects actually. So when you start making with them, the more ideas you get. So it's a pack of five, I think it's five, five decorative strips and they come with end caps as well because we know that cuffs are gonna be big this year. Um, I really hope you can join us. I'm so excited to be back. We will be with Carol and Tom and the rest of the team. So really hope you can join me and I will see you there. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? 
Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I've been with Jewelry Maker since almost the beginning actually. Um, I've been making jewelry now for over 15 years. I get most of my inspiration from nature, if I'm honest. Um, I'm a bit of a hippie, so I like a floral design. I get a lot of inspiration from the colours of nature, from the textures of nature, and that's where I find most of my inspiration for my designs. My favourite medium is like China asked me how to pick my favourite child. <laughs> um, Depends. I absolutely love metal work, but equally I love seed beading. So it depends on what day you catch me, what my favourite technique is. It changes all the time. I think Jewelry Maker has evolved in an incredible way. I mean, just through the sheer volume of products and our diversity of products that we get to bring to the audience now, it's amazing. I mean, we're doing metal work. We never used to do that. Just incredible gemstones and incredible techniques. It's almost like every technique out there has been shown on Jewelry Maker because, you know, it's dedicated channel to making jewelry, which is amazing. Okay, now Jewelry Maker's really exciting hour for you. Um, firstly, only yesterday, yeah. we launched Totally Natural. And Dave was so right. Dave stepped into the studio. It was the first time we'd seen him on the back of Hong Kong. Hong Kong, yeah. And he was right. One of the things he, he was very quite passionate about was the fact that not all agates are equal. So, and in the same way that not all gemstones are, you know, like you can buy a diamond for a pound mm. or you can buy a diamond for a million pound. There is a vast difference between the two. The same applies with your agate. You can get agate that is beautiful, inexpensive, dyed uh, uh, and ornamental, most certainly. And you can also get the finest the rarest quality and that's what he said this is the rarest variety of agate that we've brought to air yeah. that had been auctioned at bonhams oh what's good for bonhams is good for us you exactly know. <laughs> and only at what last week he was chatting with bonhams themselves and you know they knew you know they knew that and he was talking about bullseye agates as well wasn't he um and they knew about all these gemstones so, like for me we think about Bonhams and Sotheby's and Christie's and we think about your diamonds, your rubies, your sapphires, your emeralds yeah. and your jades, don't you? Yeah. I don't necessarily immediately think about your agates, but actually they absolutely do auction agates. Nan Hong, for example, yeah, yeah. has been in those auction houses. Now, these are the first galaxy agate strands that you've ever seen. They are on pre-order. And basically the difference between the projects that Deb's bringing you is one has the three strands, eight, six, and four. In fact, they both have those. Eight, six, and four, same strands, just different findings. Yeah. So one's with silver, one's with yellow gold-plated yes. sterling silver. Um, I mean, the potential of jewellery that you can create from these. You know what got me was how wow. it glows from inside. Yeah. So, you know, like often I'll, I'll talk about um, a gemstone, it's like it's got a little cloud in it or a feather. 
it's kind of trans it's got this translucency but then this magic inside and you know i'm all about well, see look at that it's amazing you, you isn't sit it? there and you get it off the strand and you, you're hand picking oh that'll go next that'll go you'll go next you'll and go everyone's next. different <laughs> yeah everyone's different every single one's different do you remember window opal I think we've, we've brought it to wear once, so. where it's the bulk of it is in host rock, so you've mm. got like this dark stone, mm. and then you have it looked like little rock pools almost. <gasps> oh. You have these like this area of opalescence, like a pool of it, yeah, but it was completely translucent, so you could see into it. Oh, amazing! So, and you saw like the play of color, and it literally looked like a miniature magical world yeah. in an opal. Yeah. That's it's very similar in its appearance to your Galaxy yeah. um, uh, Galaxy Agate. Now, these are coming your way, jewelry makers. They're on pre-order right now, and you can choose between the silver and also um, also the yellow gold. Now, silly silly me, sorry, I've moved over and I've left the strands over there. Sorry, Dan. Sorry. Um, but we're about to talk about a gemstone um, that we haven't seen in three years. I, I don't know, Dan, I guess. When did you start here? Uh, 22. So you've so never seen, seen you've never seen Seraphonite. Mm -hmm. It's cool, it's so cool. If you can visualize like guardian angel wings. Oh. Feathers. Yes. But silvery feathers, magical, wispy, beautiful, chatoyant, if, a natural color. If you can visualize that. I think a little bit charite, but in a natural forest green. Then you're in your head, hopefully, you'll have something that looks like this. Oh, it's gorgeous, Elle. Now, let's, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Let's talk about this gemstone that we've not seen in three years. Oh, look at it. But every time we do, do it's so weird. I actually was going to ask Wayne, who just so happens to have stepped into the gallery as well. You can just see the outline of it. There he is! You've stepped into the light now, I can see you. Wayne, can you get Seraphonite? I was going to ask you for a showcase. Probably that was a definite no. Really? It's so beautiful though. Can we try? He says he'll have a go, but everything if you see it you'll buy it straight away yeah how many do we have of these ross 60 available opportunities um so what is seraphonite as a gemstone i think uh, i need to point out as well this is old mine this is not a new purchase oh of course yep yeah, that means we're not going to be buying it currently are we of course so this is old mine um just uh, uh, just so uh, you all know this is a gemstone that is mined within Russia. Obviously, we're not buying from that location currently. Hopefully, that will change when situations change, hopefully. Um, so this was purchased and it's been under lock and key. Now, Seraphonite stone's name derives from the Greek word seraphim, meaning winged heavenly being. Oh. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, straight on. away, you see Debs and I go, ah. Oh. Um, because of its iridescent feather-like fibers. Oh, I need it now. The fibers have a likeness to silver, feathery wings flying within a gem of deep forest green. It's so beautiful, isn't it? That's why seraphonite stone meaning is so deeply tied to celestials. Uh, but mo more on that later, they say. Um, we can continue. Is seraphonite a crystal? Yes, it's one of the best crystals for meditation, making it highly sought after in spiritual circles. Is seraphonite rare? Gem quality seraphonite is found exclusively alongside your jadeites then um, in Lake Bacal, region of Siberia, Russia, so it's extremely rare. If you just jump to the end, it's actually referred to as chlorite jade because of its green hues. Oh yeah, okay. Um, um, Russian mineralogist Nikolay Iv Ivanovich 
Kosharov um, is credited for discovering seraphonite near Lake Baikal in Siberia, estimated to be approximately 20 to 25 million years old. Lake Baikal is the oldest existing freshwater lake in the world. Many of the lake's life forms only exist there. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? In 1851, seraphonite specimens were found in uh, West Chester, Pennsylvania. Since then, other places across the US have uncovered seraphonite as well. Uh, while other countries include Europe, countries include Europe, okay, um, <laughs> including Europe, okay, have also identified seraphonite. The primary uh, deposits remain near Lake Baikal. So you never know. So there we go. We, we, we shan't give up all hope because there's other locations that we can source this from. Look, read that last sentence look, look, there, look. Oh, seraphonite is also nicknamed the Stone of Angels for its powerful spiritual oh, energy. Oh, I love the story behind this but gemstone. But you know when you hear those words and you go, yes. Yeah. Look at it, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is so perfect, I need isn't this, it? I need this gemstone, the story behind it, the rarity, the yeah. meaning. And it's a beautiful location captured in a gemstone, Lake oh. Bacal, where you will have heard, you know, we've brought you Lake Bacal Jade, haven't we? Um, again, there's that nickname. The beauty of the location often uh, offered in the gemstone itself. Yeah, we've got nephrite from Lake Bacal. Now we are bringing you the only strand of seraphonite from that same location. So think silver, think feather-like inclusions, think chatoyancy, all totally and utterly natural. It has been three years, jewelry makers, since we've been able to bring you this gemstone. So let's not give up all hope because there are other locations that we can acquire it from, but it is very rare. In fact, they said the words extremely rare. Yeah, they did. Um, and yes, it is a very rare uh, gemstone. Again, visually stunning, absolutely stunning. So can you see the movement, the short buoyancy? Can you see those? A angel wings. I'm going to show you some specimen photographs of it, um, like this. So think frozen lake. It's like the temperatures have been it's patterned like, in the gem. Yeah, like Mother Nature has painted the atmosphere and made a gem gemstone. I oh, I love it so it's much. Amazing. Can you see the feathers as well yeah, within that one? Yeah. The stone of angels. We've got another image we can flick forward um, up Ooh, close again. There that. it is. The layers, feather like patterns. And I love this. I know technically it's not the gemstone, but it's what you can imagine forming in your seraphonite. And you can see why they called it that, yeah, can't you? Exactly. You know, they are sort of guardian angel wings, but it's like those patterns within this gemstone totally naturally. Or even, yeah, snowflakes. Oh, it's giving me goosebumps now. I, I knew you'd love this. I absolutely love this. It's very <laughs> you, isn't it? It's very, very you. Now, how many do we have? Oh, there's 60. And I don't think you're going to see this. It may well be another three years, mm. five years, ten years, who knows, until we see Seraphonite again. Oh, it's so exciting, it's gorgeous. It's a minute to launch. The <gasps> graphics will appear on this countdown. If you love Seraphonite, if you love the story, the sentiment, the feelings, the emotions that they conjure up, then be quick, darling, because it... Well, look at that amazing you're looking at chatoyancy but you're also looking at surface luster as well and it's all totally and utterly natural no enhancement whatsoever you know don't wait i have got 60 that's not a massive quantity i was kind of hoping ross was going to say something like 200 mm. sadly not the case 30 seconds until your graphics appear 12 carats of natural seraphonite just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful again it's got very uh, similarities to your uh charite only not the purple this deep forest yeah. green i love it i just i have no idea what you would charge for something i'm, I'm literally i've got no idea in my head where we would even start I again i guess you do need to be mindful of the fact how much how much how rare can you replace it yeah exactly yeah. can you actually replace it because we we, we currently can't at the moment, it's really difficult to get hold of. You know, three years it's been since we've brought this gemstone to air. Three years. Now, the graphics will appear, bear with us. Chatoyant, the stone of angels. Have you got a guardian angel? Are you looking at this thinking, yeah, that I can wear that and I'll always have my guardian angel with me, those kind of emotions. This is everything that I love about gemstones in a gemstone. Yeah. The story, the color, 
that the, just everything about it is why I love gemstones. It's kind of in this strand. Um, it's just absolutely breathtaking. And the, you know, the whole, it's a crystal, you can meditate with it. It's, it's so positive. Yeah, It's absolutely. green, so it's heart chakra, it's gentle. I love it, absolutely love it. And it's just, it is the perfect, I agree, it's the perfect, perfect. Um, combination, isn't it? Where you have that forest green and then the silvers yeah, and the feathers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's an emotional gemstone, I think. I, agree. I absolutely agree with that. Now, immediately, people not waiting, I don't blame you. You will get the most amazing price tag, I assure you of that. It has been... You know, we used to do Seraphonite showcases on our sister channel. I remember they always used to sell really? out as well. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, beautiful in jewellery too. Um, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one of those on our sister channel. It, well, we're not buying it currently, so um, you probably won't for the foreseeable future. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, it's the only strand that we have of Seraphonite in the whole entire strand. The last one in the history of Jewelry Maker at the moment. Um, unless, of course, things change. Never say never. The graphics are live. We've got Sheila Pauline, Susan Lorna, Brenda, um, Christine, Multi Buying, Sean, Alison, Erica, Lorna, Patricia, Karen. So many of you getting involved. Pauline in Leeds says, I love two on the phone lines. I don't blame you. It, it is an emotional, a, a beautifully emotional, poetic gemstone, I'm going to say. And I think if you get this and you're making to sell or you're gifting, you know, watch this back later and just just jot down what was on that slide. Yeah. Because I think that's a lovely thing to pass on. And may maybe if you're making to sell, make a little card to put in there, just Absolutely. saying some of those. Absolutely. Because that's that's what you're 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 spreading the knowledge about mm. the gemstone but also the sentiment and i think sometimes that can make all the difference and pe yes absolutely and people recognizing what they're actually uh, you know people want to know about gemstones they really you know, do my cousin came to my house um um just after Christmas and she was wearing an Amazonite pendant and she was like, oh, it's a, it's a gem, isn't it? And she was like, can you tell me about it? They, people like to know. Half the stock is gone. Oh, oh. Should we do this in one price okay. crash? I think we should. Okay, 60 seconds to your price. Ross, while we're waiting for these 60 seconds, let's read that first article oh, once yeah. again. So we can fully digest whilst you're making those, uh, uh, adding them to, yeah, the, to your um, basket. So seraphonite stones is, is derived sorry, from the Greek word seraphim, meaning winged heavenly being because of its iridescent feather-like fibers. The fibers have a likeness to silver feathery wings flying within a deep, a gem of deep forest green. That's why seraphonite stone meanings are so deeply tied to the celestials, but more on that later. Um, is seraphonite a crystal? Yes, it's one of the best uh, crystals for meditation, making it highly sought after in spiritual circles. Um, is seraphonite rare? Gem quality seraphonite is found exclusively in Lake Bakal region of Siberia, Russia. So it's extremely rare. That's where you're getting yours from. Um, yeah, seraphonite is also nicknamed the stone of angels for its powerful spiritual energy. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We have one strand in the entire business. You will, oh really? Mm. After, I think we're all completely head over heels in love with Seraphonite. 29 pounds, what this, I, I was expecting this to be kind of like a, a jade price. Yeah, so was I. I, I, was, I was thinking maybe 79.99 yeah, maybe. at us. Yeah. At our price. And you know, even if you just write that, Seraphonite is also nicknamed the Stone of Angels because of its powerful spiritual energy. Even if you put it on a card and you stamp that on there yeah. with some angel wings, you watch it fly off your stall. It, you, oh. you can literally say bye bye before you've put it down. I promise. Absolutely, because like I said, jewelry is an emotional thing, isn't it? And it's comfort, and yeah. pe people want a meaning. Um, and what this, you know, I can't say that will definitely happen to you guys, but it used to happen to me on my stall all the time. Yeah. And especially with the gemstones, I used to have little cards that said what the gemstones were that people could buy for like 20p that I'd laminated yeah and people always got them and if they didn't while they were looking at the jewelry their partner was asking me about the gemstone yeah so and this is exactly the sort of gemstone that, that will open those conversations it will almost it, yeah it is I mean look I love diamonds I love I love your sapphires etc yeah, however it's not such a conversation is it 
It's not no, as big no. a conversation as what you would be having about seraphonite. Because someone will go to you, why is it called the Stone of Angels? Oh, well, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and, and then you've opened that dialogue and they're fascinated you and mm. then you've got them. You, you know, you're bringing them to the dark side of gemstones, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and, 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 you know, I don't know, it's just, we've all, we can all relate to it in some way, shape or form, oh, can't yeah. we? Oh, yeah. 29.99. <gasps> Make sure you check it out, everybody. Do you know this would also look amazing with your Galaxy Eye Gate that's coming up in the project? Wouldn't it? I'd love that as a combination. Um, what? That, that's not your point. You're such a tinker, Roscoe. <laughs> you were saying we'll crash to that price. <laughs> oh, it's really, a tinker, That's not your price tag. Lots of people multi-buying. The last, the only strand we have in the jewellery maker vault. Okay. There is precisely 25 left. Okay. We're going to put another minute clock on your screens because there is another price crash. Now don't worry, if you were the first person or you're the last person, everybody will pay with that final low price tag. It is certified totally and utterly natural. Personally, I would get my certificate of authenticity. Oh, definitely. Because again, it will say that it's totally natural, gem quality, late Bacal, Seraphonite, and you are essentially buying the only strand we have of late Bacal. The last for the, uh, well, who knows, till who knows. It, never say no. never. I like to be positive. However, Ross, oh, I can see Wayne's glance. He's like that. Mm. Not getting any. Really? In 20 seconds, it is going even lower. Nobody is paying 29.99, which is an unbelievable deal, though, isn't it? You can see those feathery inclusions inside. You can, and you know, there's a lot of our viewers will say, I'm making for a friend who's ill or who's lost someone. and you know what gemstone would you recommend well wow the comfort of, of, of something like this and the explanation behind the meaning yeah. of it i think you know i believe in the power of, of jewelry and what that can how that can make you feel 100 percent. i can't believe it's going lower i can't either but also not just sort of love lost loved ones 19.99 my goodness oh, me oh that's an amazing price Oh, this is gem quality late Bacal Seraphonite. Wow. But also from a protective stance, you know. Yeah. Debs, you know, my little girl's reading and she's ter she's really yeah. nervous yeah. about her reading today in front of the class. Mm. Um, and, you know, if I could just do a little bracelet and just say, look, yeah, I'm with you. Protecting you, and you know, it'll be all right. That, that it's means comfort, something, isn't it? yeah. And it just, you know, stones like this. Especially, obviously, I've been doing this a long time, so I, I know about most gemstones. But when something comes that I've not seen before, and it's like a, a new story to be told that I don't know, that's mm. exciting to me as a designer. Yeah. So I would think and that inspiring. Well, I, I can see imagine. that it is, it is to our yeah. designers as well because it's going crazy. But I didn't expect that price tag. I, I thought maybe seventy nine ninety nine because I'm thinking like jade. I 100% was thinking closer to £100. If you're seeing your name now, you need to check out because we only have how many? Oh, no, I'm uh, not going to yeah. get one. But, you know, I can't... Look at how many people are absolutely oh, loving I this, I can't Jen. wait to see what you make with this, guys. I'm it's just... emotional for me. This is an emotional stone. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. That, look, look, I love diamonds. I love all your gemstones. Of course I do. But this one really conjures up emotions about it. And I think that's why it's so special to us It gave all. me goosebumps. I mean, yeah. I knew I liked it when I looked at it. But then when you read that and I was reading it, I thought, oh, yeah, here's something with with meaning that I didn't know existed. Yeah, from the frozen lake of Lake Bacal. Beautiful gem quality, that deep forest green, the visuals, the striking beauty of that location captured within a gemstone. Now there is a bit of a cue. Um, that's the quantity that we have left. We have literally nothing else. Nothing else is seraphonite. It's so weird that only, I think, I, I literally I think it was within the week, I was like, oh, I wonder if Wayne can actually get some seraphonite. Um, that answers that question, doesn't it? That's the only strand that we have in the entire oh, business. Wish list it if you miss yeah, out, if you're definitely. watching this back, because I've definitely wish listed stuff before and got it. I, that yeah. has happened to me. So, you know, you can you can get it if you're watching this back. You know, just wish list it. And, you, you know, sometimes just things happen and a couple pop back in. So... You might you might be able to get it. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's definitely worth it, isn't it? And and this is literally all we can offer of Seraphonite. It's so beautiful, and we've got the final five. Shall I shout out the names that haven't yet confirmed? I've got five: uh, Maker, Tracy, Kaz, Yorkshire, Daniel, Janet, Paula, uh, Trace. Uh, sorry, somebody else jumped in then. 
Another Paula, Gloucestershire, Rochdale, uh, Maria, Mary, Lorna, Karen, Olivia, new customer. If you haven't yet checked out, I've got five left in the business. Massive congratulations to Brenda and Surrey, Christine and Devon getting two, Patricia, Sean, Pauline, Erica, multi buying, uh, Alison, multi buying. Um, I've got four left. Isle of Wight getting three, Lorna getting two, Olivia, Janet, Yorkshire. I've got two left. This is going to be an on screen sellout. Lisa, Peter, Neil, and Linda. Um, I've got what two left, and you've got how many in baskets? 47 oh, of you with it in your basket. So good luck. It's beautiful. What a treat that was. Goodness me. Oh, I like being amazing. here two days in a row. I'm not going to have any money left when I get paid, but never mind. Uh, about it's all right. That. I work for free. Quite never regularly. mind about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, we have got your Galaxy Agate coming up. It's on pre order. Oh, it's gorgeous. But if you love that, we've got another very, very special auction coming up at the end of this hour. And it's two gems. I don't know why I used to get. It was their name I used to mix up. Yeah. So, Seraphonite and Serpentine. That's easy to mix up though. Yeah. Yeah, that so, really is. Seraphonite is the one we've just been talking about with the angel wings. Yeah. Serpentine, thanks Dan, is this absolutely beautiful, lush, semi-translucent, very Jadeite-esque, Imperial Jadeite-esque, natural gemstone. Now, this is old mine. Uh, serpentine, if you think the finest quality nephrite or the finest quality translucent jadeite with the perfect, most iconic colour, then you're in the realms of this strand. It's a totally natural gemstone um, called, Ser uh, this is serpentine. See, there we go, I did it again. <laughs> did it again. Um, but it's all about that green light colour, beautiful translucency. Oh. I've never seen it in this cup before. Look how juicy that is. It's juicy. It's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. I'd use this with your pearls, you know. I think this would be beautiful with pearls. You know new leaves? You know when leaves are just coming out in spring and they're new and they're that what I call Lush. that new leaf colour? Yeah. It's like that. It, they're almost plump, Yeah, aren't they? that juicy. Yeah. That's what they I look like. I get where you're coming from. Yeah, it is. Now, this is coming up at the top of the hour. Um, so after your projects, after your demonstration. Am I demoing? Now. I thought I was shopping. Oh, <laughs> well, you, we can do both. Just, okay. I'll just go Sorry. give me a nudge and I'll, uh, I'll add it to my basket. <laughs> now, only yesterday we were joined by the fantastic Dave. We yeah. were saying last night as well how, how we could literally listen to him. He's so passionate. You know, he's so passionate about what he does. Like people say I'm passionate about what I do. And, you know, do you get bored making jewelry and all the rest of it? No. Or yeah. I wouldn't be here because I love what I do. Yeah. I love gemstones. I consider it an honour. And I always feel that vibe from Dave. Yes. Like he's, and he's so excited that, you know, he's discovered and he knows all the information, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. And so that then we get to know. Yeah. Before, well, yeah, pretty much before most people. I mean, we're in our bubble, so we think everyone in our bubble knows, but you know we, it's, we're, unique. We're, it's unique um well here is a gemstone that and he was sharing the the powerpoints with us wasn't he, he was he shares the information he's a font of knowledge and it was yes. like okay so this is galaxy agate galaxy agate is one of the rarest of all agates out there mm. rarest of all you know we're talking about nan hong rarity effectively yep. Um, they're completely unique and this is a gemstone that I, he had a conversation with Bonhams about you know he could have very easily and Bonhams wanted to this is what he was saying oh okay well bring them not to London don't don't bring them to the London Bonhams office bring them to um, to Hong Kong because the East get it get the rarity of your agates oh, yeah. he also spoke to us about your um, your bullseye agate that I think pretty much sold out yeah but yeah, when you see this next opportunity, realise it's as collectible as items that we've seen exhibited in museums, items that we've seen sold at Bonhams, Sotheby's, um, Christie's for, th no, no exaggeration, thousands of pounds. Just to say Bonhams, oh, we were talking to Bonhams and they said, let's have a look at the Bonhams. Like, you know, Bonhams? Debbie Cash or you like we can make with this absolutely I love that yeah it's what and that's what 
makes it all happen doesn't it that ethos we could we could say okay this is what it's trading for in the market however we don't do that we get a great deal you get a great deal but it is our job and 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 certainly that's why dave is so passionate it's our job to make sure that you know the level of rarity of the gemstones that you are sourcing not all agates are equal no. uh, you know they're all beautiful don't get me wrong and they're fun and they're cheerful and you can dye agate and it's fantastic however this is one of the rarest of all varieties it is totally and utterly natural and you have these almost like three-dimensional uh, um, growths I suppose that naturally occur within this gemstone okay now I'm just going to put those there because they're basically the same strands and I'm going to show you your the first strands of galaxy agate in the entire business We've never had these strands before. I know, and I was so lucky to get them in my kit, so I couldn't believe it. Did you realise when it landed just... I knew it was new, and I knew we'd not seen it before. And I, when I heard the story yesterday from Dave... Yeah. Um, am I right in saying that agates aren't usually translucent like that, no. are they? And that's what blew me away. I was like, are you sure this is an agate? Because it had that kind of ethereal quality to it that I don't usually associate with an agate and I do love an agate. Well they form in layers don't they agates over millions of years it's a very old gemstone mm. um, you're right yeah if I, well I'll show you this image here this okay. is actually an oh, iris wow. agate from Madagascar show you a photograph um, and you can see there it says uh, this is exciting because this material has been mined since 2000 collectors pay huge premiums for a small slice of this stone because of its prized rainbow colors it's translucent like silica but with more colors than uh, any other agate naturally like I said you can dye an agate very easily but these are totally and utterly natural but you can see in that picture there the translucency at the heart can't you yeah I just yeah that's exactly what I was trying to ask was and then it basically told me is how you get translucency and those beautiful colors yeah like and without magic. that translucency you wouldn't see those patterns no. those formations they are the only strands of galaxy agate that we have in the entire business um it they are brand new and you, you're not just getting one or two you're getting four Sorry, four, six, and eight millimeter. That is a dream in any yeah. bundle. I mean, any bundle. You, that's why I did um, flat spiral designs because you need your larger and smaller gemstones for that. And quite often you use different ones because you won't necessarily have, you know, I'm always saying, if you've seen any of my shows, that I'm a big advocate for having the same gemstone in different sizes. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, because you mix it up, you can create texture and things like that, can't you? Drops, you can graduation. Yeah as you have done. Now we'll talk about Deb's amazing piece of jewellery. Let's bring get the price on the move. How many do we have available? Ooh, okay. 50. That's not a lot. These come same strands, but this one comes with the yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver and of course your beading thread. Um, same strands, just different coloured findings. So it's down, to, you can choose which precious metal um, you want to work with effectively. Absolutely amazing quality. Again, it's those beautiful blooms. I think Sakura Agate mm. with a difference. Yeah. You know, it's actually a bit similar to your Sakura Agate, but actually rarer. And it's a purer white colour. You've got much more of um, sort of your more of a patination within your galaxy ag agate too Debs, these are absolutely beautiful well it just um i wanted to emphasize the color inside the gemstones so i got some seed i went through my seed beads and i just kind of got, got three colors that i felt kind of brought out the beautiful colors in the gemstone um, mm. to, just to do a flat spiral because with a flat spiral you would usually have say an eight mil and a four mil yeah um and quite often i i use glass beads because you know little bicones or whatever because i don't have the same but of course you have got these beautiful findings as well so just simply stringing oh, them you know like that yeah stringing them on can you see what i mean about that ethereal quality like there that is lit from within beauty. kind of beauty absolutely um, I mean you, you even get beading wire so if you want to crimp just an, a beautiful agate bracelet with some spacer beads with a heart on it's gonna work I've just I've, yeah and I've just looked up Deb's thinking right okay we launched these yesterday and we're yeah. at 99.99 you've got three okay. strands yeah no way oh, okay. near done I don't know what we're going to neither do I can't remember 
Next price crash. And if you're thinking agate is an, an inexpensive gemstone, certain varieties of agate are, this not being one of them. And maybe like go back and rewatch Dave yesterday because he has yeah. some really great information about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, he's so passionate about these launches and it's those acquisitions that make your project today, Debs, actually available. All three strands. Uh, hello to you, is that Diane in Yorkshire? Good morning, Ellen, Debbie. Wow, these gemstones are gorgeous. I love the translucency. Yes, exactly. Love to all. They are, and it's that translucency that allows us to see the natural markings. Think caramel tones, that's who he's talking about. Think caramel tones, sweet, delicious, um, and again- Warm. Warm. Yeah. Comforting. Comforting, absolutely. Agate, we can bring you certain varieties of agates inexpensively. This is a rare, probably one of the, well, he did say that actually, the rarest of all. At 49.99, you get all three strands that literally were launched yesterday. It's not your price. We've never brought it to you in strands. <clears throat> We've never brought it to you in a project before. And don't forget, you also get Deb's amazing okay. instructions. <laughs> that, that pales in comparison. <laughs> No, it's, it's a flat spiral. Um, it's a flat spiral project. So and that's this one, yeah. Yeah. So you can With make the, bracelet. the necklace and the bracelet. I'm, I'm so. Oh, are you kidding? That is incredible. Like any gemstone to have three strands. You know what I thought this was? A type of opal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does look a little bit opal because of that yeah. kind of quality that that um, other world yeah other worldliness it's, is that it, such a yeah, word <laughs> abs no absolutely that's why i was saying about you remember the window opals where you used to have that you used to have the host rock and then you'd have like little rock pools like load the little planet inside exactly that. how on earth ross are we at 29.99 we only launched galaxy agate literally yesterday these are the first ever strands in the business and here we are bringing it to you for basically a tenner a tenner we can bring dyed agate certainly that's not a problem dyed agate for agate varieties are at 10 pounds yeah all day long we've done it loads of times before but not something that literally in our 14 years almost that we have been broadcasting we've never seen we have never brought this to air before you know if, if you just yeah. think it think of it this way I was thinking that. if dave was on air with us right now he does would he do them at tenner? Well, he wouldn't. He'd, he'd take each one out, wouldn't he? And he'd have it in a box, and then he'd say all about it. And then, you know, they'd sell out. But I've never once seen Dave bring something and go, oh, it's 9 99 No. No, but then we always say, you're, if you get your kits and you get your bundles, you get a further saving on top of that, don't you? True. Amazing. Now, we are very aware that... <laughs> There is a preference in precious metal. I love yellow gold personally, but I know that many of you will prefer the silver. Now, can I just, only because I haven't really mentioned this and I think it is important because they're lovely findings you too. You get like, um, you get the hearts and then you get the, the little puffy heart, like a bit like, um, a, a Pandora-y type charm. Do you know what I mean? That with it like a nice large drill hole. Like, look, look at, at that. that. Little that space beautiful? Up. Little detail. So you get that. Go on, down you go. You get your shepherd hooks. So you get your pair of your shepherd hooks. You get your bolt ring clasp. You get your crimps. You get your crimp covers. You get this lovely, very Tiffany's inspired heart. And they're sterling silver. Yeah. And then you get your spacers. You also get, don't forget, your beading thread. Now, you do get two head pins, by the way. Now, we actually have double the quantity of this project. Um, straight away 10 pounds per gallon i'd pay happily pay 29.99 for the eight millimeter strand yeah me too happily <laughs> never mind the fact that you're getting six mil and you're also getting the four mil and you're getting a full findings pack wait a minute actually i mean i know the clock's ticking right now how much would you expect that findings pack to be 10 pounds what do you think here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, yeah, here at Jewelry Maker. That, yeah, that, 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 um, I would have expected fourteen ninety nine, but I, okay. I'm not sure on the prices of everything. Okay, well, look, let's say ease of math, £10. Okay. That's £20 for the three strands, but we're going <laughs> even lower. Oh, are we? We're going even lower. Okay, oh, wow, that's good, okay. We have 100 available opportunities. 
And I, I know Dave is in the building today. I'm not sure he, how he's going to feel about this opportunity. <laughs> I assume he knows, I guess. It's his um, unbelievable for natural galaxy agate. We've got 100 available, and that's why the price is going even low. We get a great deal, you get a great deal. That's always what's been the ethos and the heartbeat of, the gem uh, uh, of, of, of our business model. Yeah, I agree. If you see Galaxy Agate moving forward, it's not going to be... Oh. What is it? Oh, <laughs> he didn't just take a little bit off, did he? That's... We've had some great deals. Yeah, we, we have. Mean, come on. <laughs> For any kit, I think £20 is that kind of amazing figure, that, that figure that you think. But to get three strands in a £20 kit... And natural, not dyed agate. And, but this, this material that we were all, like, drooling over yesterday... Only yesterday. Um, we've just brought the first ever strands. That is The e first epic. ever strands in the business, in Deb's project. You get the instructions, you get three... Yeah, in total... In, well, really, Ross, there's six components, isn't there? Because you've got the three strands of your Galaxy Agate, natural, 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 rare, rare, rare. Mm. You've got your beading thread, you've got your findings, and you've got the instructions. Six components, isn't it? I'm a bit flabbergasted by my, that. My, me too. I didn't think it would be that. I, that I'm, that's blooming good. Unbelievable, <laughs> it is. Blooming good, that is. Blooming good. Amazing. Now, well done, everybody. Don't forget your serpentine is coming up as well. Not seraphonite, serpentine. That would go beautifully, actually, actually with your galaxy agate as well. Um, so do keep shopping. Keep making sure you're checking out your baskets. I'll keep you up to date on the quantities. Debs, my darling, what are we going to demo? Well, I'm going to demo a flat spiral. Can you pass me the bracelet, sure. please? Um, if you want to do the necklace, and I have done a version of that necklace before, and I saw it on the Wall of Fame, is that people had done lovely versions of them. Um, I've put the instructions on how to make the bracelet because the necklace is just, if I put that so you can see it on the overhead, the necklace is just yeah. two of these, and I've just sewn them together at the bottom. That's oh, okay. all that is. And then sort of added tassels. So can you see what I mean? So there's like two short ones, and then I've just gone through the thread paths of the nearest beads a few times to hold it together, and then excess thread I've taken down, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, made tassels. So, and then I've rosary linked the top, or you can uh, bead the top. So that's all that is. Um, it's just a flat spiral. Now this looks far more difficult than it is. So if you've never used seed beads before, I think I started with this, this design. This is how oh. I got into seed beads. Um, I used to say bad words when I used seed beads because I used to get frustrated and now I'm absolutely obsessed. So <laughs> what I did, I've written out all the instructions for you and uh, the only thing that I've added into this is your um, 11 seed beads. I've added in some fire line thread um, and just, uh, no, you've got the clasps, so, oh, an extender chain. I just put an extender chain on the end because I was desperate to pop that lovely puffy heart somewhere in the design. Um, and on the necklace, I added it to the chain. I'm just going to get a sip of tea. <coughs> Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's better, right. So, what you do, you're going to need to take um, a manageable length of wildfire or fire line, um, eight pounds sort of a thicker a thicker length uh, width would be better now you need to put a stopper bead on so i'm going to pop on a stopper bead and i'm going to take it and you've I've, I've written this all out for you take it down now isn't it good that you can reference your the written instructions and you can even have you play in Debs on YouTube? I, you see, I'm a visual learner. So yeah. if I've got instructions and I can see someone doing it, I understand it much better than trying to read. Yeah, it, you know. Same. So I think it's great to have those in conjunction because, and also like I was saying yesterday, to remember what the kit was for. I can't remember what I was going to make with that. And uh -huh. then, you know, you go, oh yes, I remember. Yeah. Um, so I'm leaving a tail long enough so that I can use this tail to sew in my clasp later. So I think I said about 15 centimetres, um, but for demo purposes, so it doesn't get in my way, I'm just going to do leave a little tail. So a stopper bead is just any bead. It's usually a bead not from your project um, that you are going to take off after. It just stops everything from falling apart. So I'm going to go back up that stopper bead and pull. I probably could have done with um, a shorter length actually for demo but we'll see how we get and if we catch on anything so that's my stopper bead and I'm just uh, it, it pulls up and down and it will just hold your beads on now the best way to work this I found is to work it on your mat if you can because if you start flipping it 
so when you're working it, with it like this, if you sort of start sewing it and then you take it up and you put it down the other way, you'll start to get these going in different directions. And you'll notice that. You'll think, oh, that one's gone a different direction because you flipped it. So it's not the end of the world, but if you want to keep it all uniform, then if you work it, keeping it on the mat, you're less likely to sort of flip it as you go. So you start off, and what's great about these kits is that you've got the size gemstones that you need immediately so that you can be complementing. So I've got an eight mil here and the four mil. I mean, look at that little one. Look at them. Just look at the beauty of them. <laughs> and it, I, it took me ages because I was like, oh, I'm going to put that one on next. I'm going to put that one on next. So you start with two of your um, larger beads. So two of your eight toes in this case. And I took far longer than I should have done to make this bracelet because I was looking at them as I was, yeah. as I was doing it. I'm not one to rush. I enjoy the process. So Yeah, that's part of the enjoyment, isn't it? So look there. You've got two. You know, if you look at these really carefully, it almost like it's got, looks like it's got skeletal leaves in there it's just absolutely mesmerizing so I've got two of those and then I'm going to pick up six of my seed beads and the way that I did this I didn't think right I'm going to go gold brown gold gold brown gold I just did it randomly but if you want to do it in a uniform way you can so I'm going to pick up six one two three four five six so six of those, and then I'm going to pick up a four millimeter. I'm going to get that one that I really liked. It looks a bit like satin. Um, a four millimeter, and then six again of my seed beads. One, two, three, four, five. Come here, and six. And I'll show you what I've got on my needle here. Got slippery hands. Hold on, one of these doesn't want to come on. Let's do that again. Sometimes you'll find, even with your Miyuki's, that some of them are machines so that they've got a little uh, bit of material in between so that you can't get them on your thread. So you just want to take those ones out. So I'll show you. I've got six 11 O's, four millimeter, six 11 O's. And you can see how random I've been with that. And I find that if you work like that, away from you and then you can you can bead until you get into the rhythm of it it actually makes it a lot easier so what i'm going to do i'm coming out of this top bead and i'm going to come back up the bottom two beads so you only put two on at the very beginning of the project the rest of the time you just add one and i say this in the instructions so once you pull that you'll see that that halos those two beads are really nicely and we need to do the same on the other side so I'm going to do let's hope I don't pick up that plugged one again I should have taken it out six of these three four five oh, there he is go away you five six so I've got six 11 O's I've got one of my lovely four millimeters look at that one it's got like a little cloud in it and then six of my 11 O's one two three four five six and if you're going to use a different size gemstone like maybe you want to use the size down because you have got the size down you would just alter the amount of 11 o's that you put on the side mm. um, so you don't want it to be too baggy or too tight um, so you can just alter that you might need to come down to five or four and that's how we work it so you can see now that i'm going to come here we're going to halo the other side so this is the bottom and i'm going to come back up both of the gemstones again just as i did just now so there's my needle, I'll get my hands out of the way. So you can see I've come back up both gemstones just as I did in the last step. Put my finger on, give it a little pull, like that. Now, when I look at that, it makes me happy. How sad am I? <laughs> no, I, I love seed beading. I just, look, I mean, it's just like, oh, look it's at a that. a little cuddle. Look, so then from now on, it's exactly the same, but you just add one bead at a time. So we're going to add one, look at this one. Look at they're so different, aren't they? They're gorgeous. So one down. This is why I took so long, because I was like, oh, look at that one. So I'm putting one down, but I'm still going to come back up two. So you always come back up two, but from now on, this is just going to be your pattern. So I'm going to add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to... My hands are slippery. Let me grab my, uh, my pliers. There we are, that's better. So six of those, a four mil. What one should we have this time? Let's have one with some bright colours on it. Look at that one. 
fall down. <laughs> the whole time I'm stepping again. Look at that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's exactly what we did before. Drop it down. And even though I've only added one on this pass, I'm still going to come up two, the last two. So I'm going to come up this one. I might need to just pick it up. But if you are picking it up, just be mindful of keeping it the right way up. So I'm going to come back through this bottom one and the next one. So that's what I have there. Can you see? And then give it a pull. And what will happen is this little halo of beads will sit on top of the other one, which gives you that um, this effect. Where are we? Can you see? So you've actually got them sort it's of like layered sitting on top of e each other. And then we just need to halo the other side as well. So we'll do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop them down. Pick up a four millimeter and another six. One, two, three. Am I putting you to sleep? Me? No, because definitely not. people say my voice goes all calm and meditative you are, when you I... Know, that's weird. I was, yeah, you get those... Uh, um, it's like ASMR. Recording, Debbie don't beading, you? going, look at this little bead. <laughs> no, you're not putting me to sleep. You're absolutely <laughs> not. I'm, I'm glued to what you're watching, but you have got a lovely voice. Oh, I used to teach meditation and people used to go to sleep, which is not the point of meditation. <laughs> oh, isn't it? <laughs> well, I, they used to say, your voice just sends me to sleep. So... I've, I've done exactly the same again and now you can see that you've got these little make sure that you're not doing too much tension so they're sort of sitting on top like sea beading is quite about the tension you can you can just loosen that a little bit and then just give it a little pull so we're not going for super tension we're just going for them to behave and sit where you want them to and you might have to just huh? co coax them to do that and you literally you continue so it's repetitive it's one that you can once you've started you can sit and um, with it on your lap or maybe you're watching your favorite tally program or you're you know so it, it doesn't take a lot of thought the pattern's yeah. not constantly changing you're doing exactly the same process and process and as you go you will continue to add those six beads four mil six beads keep going keep going now you might want to go so that the bracelet goes all the way around and sort of does up here and you've literally only got enough room for the lobster clasp or you might want to do sort of like i did with the necklace a little bit and then sort of have some um you could do the stones on their own you mm. could rosary link you know you can do so many different things with this design this is it in its basic form but you're the designer you can do so much with it and so then what i did was i just sewed on the end a clasp and you have got some lovely um, little of these bolt ring clasps which actually are, are really good because they're not intrusive into the design and they're not large so if you did want that full bracelet of your flat spiral these would be perfect so you can just sew those in with your thread or add a wire guardian on one side and then you can always if you're not sure of the person's wrist size add this uh, uh, an extender chain yeah and then on that I just added these little hearts um, and then as I say for the necklace I just did shorter lengths and then when we came down to the bottom of the shorter lengths so imagine that's not attached I just sewed through um, just some of the beads a few times just to keep that together out the bottom and then you've got all that bottom space for fringing or whatever but I go into um, all of the details in, in great detail in the instructions which you'll get after your kit is dispatched so there's there's the necklace thanks Adam beautiful um, and it's just, again, it's a take on the basic stitch. So learn the basic stitch and then do whatever you want with it. Do you know what I, I really love? I was just looking at this. Mm -hmm. The side part as well, the side profile. Because you've got those four mils on there, those lovely agates um, and that you can really see. Can you see? So you're really getting a, a gemstone like this with this kind of translucency. It lends itself to a design like this because you can see it from all different angles, can't you? That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Debs. As Did that always, make sense? Inspired. Good. Absolutely inspired. Loving that. Beautiful. I love making those. I find them very meditative. Yeah, it's well, repetitive. Very, and it's it's like a fabric of gemstones. So yeah, beautiful. It is. Now, still got much to bring you. Don't forget your dealer day is all about your essentials. You've got an essentials hour. So if you are uh, desperate to stock up on uh, um, your beautiful precious metal, then make sure you're with me in the 10 o'clock hour. But first, um, we have an opportunity again, a gemstone opportunity that we really ever, ever, ever see. We've discussed seraphonite. Ooh. Now we're about to bring you 
serpentine as a star pipe. Juicy strand. It's the juicy strand. It is the juicy <laughs> one. It's uh, like visually they are very different. But I don't know why I find seraphonite and serpentine. I always confuse the two. Mm. Or I don't know why I do. Anyway, so seraphonite, well, we've spoke is the angelic wing chatoyant mm. silvery fibres. Dreamy. Dreamy, dreamy. Whereas serpentine. If you think about uh, gems like your spinach green nephrite or your imperial jadeites, it is that glassy luster, very similar actually, um, glassy luster, natural gemstone that consequently actually is often carved in, uh, in the East. In a, by the jade carvers too. Oh really? Yeah, it's often treated in the same way. But rather than me witter on, I've got a, a, an article um, that we can reference. These aren't my words, but um, and it's quite an unusual. <coughs> I find it quite an unusual read. You'll see where I'm coming from. Um, serpentine is a deep green crystal made of uh, hydrated magnesium silicate, seldom blotched or splattered. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, as in. Not necessarily uh, with patterns in, I guess. Mm. Similar to a snake or serpent skin. The crystal of the serpentine group have comparable bodily attributes and comparable forms. See what I mean? Frequently, they appear as fine grain compounds and are hard to discern as a stone. The typical physical uh, characteristics of this gemstone are its greenish color, enhanced appearance and light texture. It recalls the viewer of a snake from which its name was rooted from. Serpentine's translucent subtlety, slippery brightness, Ooh. ease of shaping, and ability to achieve a polish are highly renowned. Um, it is a familiar gem construction element and ornamental material with these characteristics. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 okay. Slippery brightness. That's Slip what I was trying to right. say. That's what we were you thinking. Know, when I said juicy, I mean, yes. obviously, that's better a description. Slippery brightness. It like is. A it's quite a glossy. You know, often we talk about how jade should look wet. Yes. Like serpentine, yeah, effectively. <laughs> um, and again, this has got that beautiful imperial green light -like colour. Um, but serpentine, the meaning, the name of this gem is rooted in the snake world. While its green hue definitely um, has given its name, it, re it represents various beliefs about the characteristics of serpentine gem dating to the olden times. Um, it is funny, isn't it, this read? Um, it's a magnificent, uh, a magnificent cleansing gem and it purifies the blood and the entire body. Ooh. Serpentine eradicates bacteria and parasites, promotes calcium and magnesium intake, cures hypoglycemia and diabetes. I need to say these are beliefs, obviously, yeah. um, and assists with endurance and durability. It aids with anxiety um, and alleviation, uh, with anxiety alleviation, sorry, is uh, incredibly powerful and is reliable. This gem can help in cellular restoration and replenishment of your strength levels. I love that. Uh, another one with a really amazing story, huh? Yeah, I love it. I love the descriptions and it, like sometimes you, it's a feeling you get with a gemstone and you don't know quite how to describe that feeling. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, but the, and that was a great description, I thought. The best quality I have seen has, uh, you know, genuinely over my 25 years working with gemstones, has been over the past, I'm going to say six months here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. We had that one meter long length strand, do you remember, Ross, um, that sold out, sold out, gone. And the reason why I'm saying the best quality is it because it is that glassy translucency, yeah. that Slippy, slippery luster, <laughs> that juicy, rich imperial green colour, which usually comes at a price tag. I'm bringing you the, the only cut I've ever seen in Seraphonite. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. The first time I've ever seen this cut in Seraphonite. Sorry, serpentine. See, told you I always say the wrong ones. Because you've got it in your head now, because yeah. you did that one first. Do you know what? Actually, they'd be amazing together, wouldn't oh, they? Oh, yes. 
But also, can I just say, Debs has got the most amazing pearls coming up later on. Can you imagine those together? That is natural. Oh. High luster pearls alongside serpentine. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. Again, glassy luster, juicy saturation, complete translucency, not opaque. I've seen serpentine in the past, which is completely opaque. Mm. And that's that, that's not what I would refer to as gem quality. Still expensive though, I have to say. Mm. Still comes with a high price tag. Okay, now jewelry makers, how many do we have of these, Ross? 60 Ooh, again. Okay. So the same quantity that we had actually of the Seraph and I. The graphics are about to appear. Um, again, if you love, if you love the, the idea of owning like a, um, an imperial green jadeite or a spinach green nephrite, um, serpentine is an alternative to that. It's often carved uh, by the same lapidus or master carvers. We have 60 available and that's it. It's totally and utterly natural. It, again, ahead of your deal of the day, that is moments away. Um, I've never seen that cut before. The auction is live. 78 carats. You could gem set these, couldn't you? Or Ooh, gallery wire yes, these. Yes, you could. I mean, that in a ring. Oh, beautiful. I'd like it in a ring because then I could look at it, you know, and as I move my hand, it would catch the light. I'd see all of that lovely juiciness. And the, there's a lovely warm feeling I get when I look at this. It's a very comforting, but almost like new beginnings gemstone. I've no idea if, it, if that is, it's got that um, quality, but that's what it makes me feel. Very spring-like. Yeah, absolutely. And you think about all of your green gemstones like this saturations, your imperial, your nephrites, your um, emeralds, I guess we could say, you know, your zavrite garnets, they all come at significant prices. So I know that Jewelry Maker makes though, green is one of the more expensive colors in the gem world. Mm. It is. And yeah, I know that we're about to bring you an affordable price tag. San and Scarn, again, highly expensive gemstone, rare as well. You saw how popular the Seraphonite was. This is old mine again. This location, by the way, Seraphonite, Serpentine, Chrome Dioxide, brings you an abundance of green gems, all of which are natural. What? That's our first price crash. <laughs> okay. The only other strand of serpentine that I remember recently, and the best strands, the best quality that I've seen, was this and that, that meter long length strand that we had six months ago. Sold out. I've got 60 available. Just one of those on a shepherd hook. How beautiful would that be? Oh, yeah. Or um, wire wrap, briolette. Oh, wrapped. amazing. Um, as earrings would just be absolutely stunning, or even in a waterfall sort of design Beautiful. you know cascading down it's totally natural oh i love it me too I, i'd put it with pearls i think your high luster pearls that are coming up deb's later i'm glad on you said amazing. that because you know i'm always saying it but yeah oh, no no wow. i think it'd be amazing alongside your pearls these are flying already jewelry makers absolutely flying so make sure you're checking out just one pearl one seraphonite Oof. seraphonite did it again serpentine <laughs> serpentine <laughs> just that's it that's simple but it's all about the colors and the quality of the gemstones that are making that piece of jewelry absolutely beautiful 24.99 is your start price it's not your closing price in a cut that i've not seen in this gem under 20 wait a minute how much was the seraphonite so i can get both strands for 40 pounds both of those I was expecting to be closer to the three figures than I was the uh, single figure. We don't see them. No, I think we've had some treats on this morning. We really have. Rarity and things that I, you don't see all the time. And as, as jewellery makers, you know, we see something if we're not seen for a while. We've forgotten about it, really, if we've yeah. not been able to get hold of it. Um, and it just gives you new design ideas when you work with something different. Absolutely. And and you're right, if you don't if we don't see them, you do almost forget about them. Yeah, and then and then you haven't got any. Obviously that when things haven't been on for a couple of years, you probably haven't got any, you've used it. Twenty twenty one was the last time this was on air. So yeah. I've not got any of this. No, nor me. And I've got a lot of gemstones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nor me. And I've uh, yeah, like I said, I think we both describe ourselves as collectors. Yeah. Um absolutely. We would. I'd want some, don't get me wrong. Yeah, me don't too. you know, mix up that message. I want some, but we don't get the opportunity to uh, to get hold of That's it. it. This was purchased uh, um old mine, I need to say. So this was bought back in twenty twenty. Hasn't been on air since twenty twenty one. Um we are not, and this is a very definite 
definite message at the moment. We are not buying any gems from this location given the current situation in that location at the moment. So um, this is what we would describe as old mine. A minute clock, not to close. <laughs> we are gonna go that little bit lower. Yay. It's crazy that we can bring you what, how, let's count them for a second because they're individual solitaires, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're, do you imagine a flower. You've got petals there, haven't you? I mean, that would be a gorgeous flower. You know, if you were making um, like a brooch or a, a, a hair fascinator or mm. a, a floral design, you know, having this as petals, yes, beautiful. please. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. 17 solitaires there. They're not small, are they? No. They're not small at all. We are going even lower. We had 60. I've got Alison, Linda, Virginia getting two, Ronald, Kim, Sheila, Georgina, Caroline, well done, lovely, Holland, Renfusia, Gerda, Patricia, uh, Atia, uh, Dawn, I, some of you disappear off the bottom of the screens, Joyce, well done, Jan, well done, Christine, well done, new customers, Wiltshire, you've just got yours on the web. I can't see everyone's names because you are off the bottom of the screens. We are going even lower. I've only seen recently two strands from the same location. Obviously, that's crazy low, isn't it? Uh, that metre strand that all but sold out, it, which was absolutely incredible quality. Arguably, this is actually a more imperial light colour. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because the metre long one was um, a very, very deep forest green. Beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I would have bought it too. If you love this shade of green, it's my favourite. It is my absolute favourite. Um, then we do have another natural green beauty coming up a little bit later on in the show, and that is your Salmon Scarn in Four Mills. Ooh, wow. Love it. We're talking the likes of Cartier. Um, make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. Congratulations Bye -bye. to you all. <laughs> I know. Those pearls are coming up with Debs later on with your Masterclass. You've also got the Solar System bracelet coming up later on. Um, but in the next hour, it is all about your essential sterling silvers. An hour of deep of the day precious metal yes. components um big quantities don't forget the sand and scan as well and also we've got the shades of gray we've got loads still to bring you between now and the top of the show uh, big quantities low price join us after this Purchase one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order, and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I just wanted to let you know that I'm back in the studio on Friday the 8th. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful little bee charms. They're bound to get you buzzing with excitement. Um, they come in three colorways and they have little tiny teardrops that you set yourself. They're very cute. You don't want to miss those. Very on trend. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, so they're really exciting projects actually. So when you start making with them, the more ideas you get, so it's a pack of five, I think it's five, five decorative strips and they come with end caps as well because we know that cuffs are gonna be big this year. Um, I really hope you can join us. I'm so excited to be back. We will be with Carol and Tom and the rest of the team. So really hope you can join me and I will see you there. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hi, guys. So 
I'm just back in the country from Hong Kong. A lot of exciting news, which is worrying for those of us trying to source new jadeite as we move through 2024. But for us who have a, a small stock holding that we acquired a year ago, it is very exciting. Um, we are talking, of course, about the Guatemalan material, in particular the, the Olmec Blue variety. Uh, top crystal, top transparency. And this time I get to bring you a bangle that has been carved. Um, we know a standard bangle, I hate to call them standard, takes about 10 hours worth of work by the most skilled artisans in the world. But this material, as I said, takes about 24 hours. Huge risk, uh, very small risks to reward, um, a lot of wastage in this, but when you get it right, when you get something that, that goes through that whole journey of 24 hours, you get something that is some of the most valuable jadeite on the planet. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Thank you. Um, okay, coming up now, an hour of essentials. And I kind of always lead into dealer days like this um, or opportunities like this in the same way because I don't know about you, but I'm so romanced by gemstones. You know, this is a thing when, when I hear, you know, seraphonite, for example, serpentine, yeah, exactly. for example, you know. We, I, I really enjoy not only knowing and finding out how it forms, where it forms, all of those things, but the stories, the beliefs, the histories behind each gem. I'm romanced by that. Um, so it's a given that I'm absolutely going to love the gems. But in order to actually make the pieces of jewellery, I need the essentials, don't I? We need the shepherd hooks, we need the bolt ring clasps, we need the head pins, we need the jump rings or the crimps and the crimp covers, spacer beads. So I consciously tell myself, and I'm saying this kind of obviously so we can talk collectively, I'm always reminding myself, make sure you get your findings, because there is nothing worse, is there? Than when you go to make a piece of jewelry and you're looking for a particular finding, you've got that inspiration in your mind, and you can't make it happen because it hasn't got, you haven't got the, the, the finding that you need. Well, this hour will hopefully help you with that. Debbie, is that something that you encounter a lot? All the time, mm. especially if I've got a favorite finding yeah. um, that I use all the time. They're the ones that I'm scratching around in the bottom of the drawer going, I just need one, please. Please, just um, one. please jury findings angel, find me just one featherweight head pin or one, yeah. the clasp that I always use. Yeah. Um, yeah so that yeah that does always it does happen, happen doesn't it it yeah. does so i'm always kind of trying to remind myself to get the findings when you see them because we believe it or not we don't bring them every single show no we don't do an hour dedicated to your essential precious metal findings they're all on pre-order have a look on the website all the W's at Jewelry Maker, if you click coming up on today's show, you'll see the items that are available. Bolt rings, um, you've got their lobster class, you've got some essential findings there like your, your, your jump rings and chains, your threader earrings, 
but like proverbial hen's teeth yeah. is a clot. Oh yeah. But not just any clot, you also get the crimps as well. Um, we have 500 of each auction and I'm, you might think, gosh, okay, that, that, you know, that'll last them. No, it won't. I think it will last today because I can, I don't make as much jewelry as so many of you do, but I'm desperate for the clots and I, I'm here on a regular basis. Also, producer Ross is saying in our ear, the price that we are taking them to today is close out prices. Ooh. Now again, just quickly, um, the bullion market is the bullion market. We don't have a lot of say on how much it actually is. We have to buy it at whatever price per gram it is at that time, at that given day. And it can fluctuate. Um, and it does so on an hourly basis in actual fact. Um, how we bring you this rare, beautiful, precious metal at affordable prices is by quantity. And you've got to remember we're a big partnership, not just jewelry maker. Um, we'll buy our findings alongside, say, the findings that you find on your Gemporia finished pieces of jewelry. So that's how we negotiate the best prices for you all, jewelry makers. So these are solid 925 precious metal. We're not talking base metals. I just wanted to clarify that because actually it's, they're going to be almost base metal. Um, we've got big quantities. We're going to start with your calottes. Um, whenever we get these, they are on and gone. And we normally only have a limited quantity um, of them as well. Very rare that we have 500 anyway. The last time that we... Oh, really, Ross is just saying we had an auction of 200, um, and which is great before Christmas this was um, and they sold out in less than two minutes less than two minutes um, okay I'm not the expert so I will perhaps have to lean on our lovely Debs mm -hmm. but I'm going to show you what a clot is all about it looks like a little um, almost cross between a ladle and a little clamshell it does doesn't it so if you can see if I turn it that way there's a little hole just there that's where your thread goes or your silk or your knot or whatever it is yep. and you basically close i'll just give this one a little squeeze hang on you won't be doing it in tweezers so it'll be far easier obviously you just gently squeeze it close and you can imagine that obviously close it fully and then obviously loop your hook around and that's what you attach to yeah. it's really professional isn't it now again we have 500 of these even though that is a big quantity there will still be people that miss out on this opportunity because they are so in demand. I think it was uh, um, Susie the other day that says she only uses clots now. It's Yeah, because, you know, there is a French wire method with pearls um, and you can certainly use that or you can use uh, wire guardians. Mm. But I really like this method because the knot is completely hidden. Yeah. I feel that you've got extra security because what I do is I put a dab of glue to actually keep the knot secure, oh, but I idea. then close the crimp over it. So yeah. it's kind of essentially gluing the knot in there as well. Yeah. And so you've got that great level of security. Um, and you know, and it just gives you that really professional finish and just that flourish of, of silver or whatever metal at the end of say a string of pearls or a jadeite or whatever you're yeah. knotting. And it's so neat, isn't it? It's yeah. perfectly neat. I wish I'd invented these. Well, they're non-intrusive to the design. Like sometimes if you use a wire guardian, you've got the fluidity of this design and then you've got this kind of wire guardian, if you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this, it just looks like a little flows. bead. Flows, it does yeah. flow. Almost 100 have gone on pre-order. I am not surprised in the slightest. The fact you've got the different sizes as well. So you've got uh, the three millimeter and you've also got the eight millimeter. So yeah, I totally wholeheartedly agree with what Debs has just said there. You know, for me, it is the most professional and neatest finish that you can have. Am I saying this right, Deb? So the knot, I love your idea, top tip, put a little bit of glue, then close the clamshell yeah. like this around the knot. So you're not only, like I always add glue to my knots anyway, whether they're out in the world or they're hidden in a clam or wherever the knots are. <laughs> um, but what I've started doing since they came back into stock, because I ran out before, um, was you open, open it, obviously the knot sits inside, and then I was, 
before I was putting glue on the knot, waiting for it to dry, then closing it. And then I thought, what am I doing that for? So I actually put the glue on, put a bit of extra, not enough to run out, and then closed it. So you're not only knotting sort of that side. knotting, but you're also kind of keeping that closed as mm. well. And then you've got this loop on the top, which keeps it closed anyway. Yeah. So what do we do with this little hook? Is that what you... I'm seeing that, that that's what you attach your class to. Yes. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And then you loop it round to yes. close it. So you just get your round nose pliers and close it. Curl that bit round. Um, so that it turns into kind of a, a, it looks like a little bead with a little hook on it rather yeah. than altering the shape. Yeah, perfect. Does that make sense? Well, a bead with a jump ring. Yeah, exactly. Effectively, that. when it's fully closed. So you would close that part and you would have the knot inside because the your thread goes through here. Uh, just so neat and tidy. I totally agree. Also, it's one finding yeah. as opposed to having to source a crimp a crimp cover, um, your I've wire got a guardians. I've love-hate relationship with crimps. Yeah, well, this is the thing. If you struggle with crimps or, I don't know or, or crimp covers... I just, I'm like, oh, no, a crimp. I can never get hold of it. I can do crimps, <laughs> but I can't do crimp covers. Yeah, I, well, I can't get hold of it. I tend to... I don't know if my, my hands are stiffer as I've got older, yeah. but I tend to find that these are much easier. Yeah. They're gentler on my hands. I agree. I think they're going to overtake crimps, you know. Mm. The phone lines have gone crazy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we have countless designers shopping with us right now as well, guest designers too. Are you ready? Your first price crash. Oh, okay. For sterling silver, remember? <laughs> remember? He wasn't kidding when he said, look, sterling silver at base metal prices. Well, that's very good, isn't it? That's very, very good. You've got two different sizes, 500 available, and there will still be people missing out on this opportunity. So do shop ahead. Make sure you check out. Shop ahead on your other sterling silver components as well, jewellery makers, um, to guarantee your sex. The trusty Calot. It's my new favourite finding. My new favourite finding, um, 9 99 but it, it's, oh my goodness, as if it's going even lower. So again, if you've never, I'm sure we've done demonstrations on collots actually in the past. Um, yes, and I've, I've written instructions about it. it Have was, you? It might be in the pearls that are coming up mm. in the 12 o'clock I wrote. So, but there's definitely uh, instructions on clots. I'm sure there's some on the website. It's yeah. a very, to me, that's much easier than fiddling about with French wire or... F French wire, wire guardians, a crimp and a crimp cover. It's all of that in one finding, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. I, it's my preference because, you know, if you can save some time, why not? Yeah. All of those findings in one. £7.99. pounds and 99 pence. Good, isn't it? That's crazy. Oh. That's so good. Oh my goodness me. I would be stocking up on these as well. What? We're going even lower. Roscoe, do you know, dare I say, is there a, li a maximum quantity on these, Ross? Because I would be buying about 10 of these. Huh? As in customers? No, he says, no, not set a maximum. Only because I would be well and truly stocking up on these. I am actually thinking about, okay, I, I don't think I've got any clots in my stash at the moment. I've got about... 10 because I had them in a kit. Right. And that's the only reason because I've used them all. Um, and then I've got the base metal ones. But then, you know, if I want to do pearls or just lovely strands, I'd rather they were sterling. Yeah. You know, or, or sterling with plating. That's, this is the thing. Imagine that knot is closed in there. Not the gem, the knot on the strand. It goes through here and the knot itself is closed inside yeah. there. Yeah nice and neat nice and secure and then you loop your hook completely round and attach it to your clasp it's it is multiple findings in one isn't it oh yeah you're actually getting multiple findings in one and it's diddy sorry the phone's ringing <laughs> i always uh -oh. find it surprising when the gallery uh, the gallery phone starts ringing not done 6.99 Hello? Have they hung up? Oh, that's okay then. That's okay. I was wondering if it was any of our <laughs> buyers getting about to say, don't go too long. Don't do it. The 500 were meant to last us. They never do. They never, ever, ever do. You are getting, um, just to clarify, your three millimeters, um, two of your of your uh, clamshells, um, and then you're getting the eight millimeters as well. Is that right? Crimp covers, yeah. Um, four pieces of those also. Eight millimetres. That's confusing. This is the one I'm actually holding right now. That's clearly not an eight mil. It's just, the, I think, the length. 
You know what the crimp cover's for? Um, so when you do your knot, like, um, uh, this is one of the techniques, you do your knot and then usually we do another knot, like the first knot of your knotting strand and the crimp cover is to cover that knot. Yes. So again, I add a dab of glue and then put the crimp cover on. So you are completely professional and all zipped up and secure Finish, on yeah, it. Yeah, love it, love it. 649. <laughs> Just, they yeah. are, they are genius. I, like I said, I wish I invented, I wish I invented these. So how many of these do you get? Sorry, I was, I was. So you get four of the size that I'm holding. Yes. Yeah. Um, four of the clots, two of the little crimp covers. Oh, that's amazing. Amazing, isn't it? Mm. Four of your clots, two of the crimp covers. So All good. of those, I would 100% be stocking up on these. 100%. Well, the core screens has gone crazy. The apps, the, the web, I've got eights, tens I've seen on there as well. We had 500, but that's why we said, look, they will still sell out. We're sure of that for certain. They will still sell out. They're 925 sterling silver. It's You haven't got to get your crimp, your crimp cover, your wire guardian or your fr uh, French wire. It's all of those things in one, isn't it? It is, and it's, you know, it's a... What's good for Susie is good for me because Susie makes gorgeous jewellery and Susie sells a lot of her jewellery. Yeah. And, you know, her finish, to me, when I look at Susie's jewellery, I think, you know, that's why she's gone to our sister channel as well is because she makes really wearable, beautiful jewellery. Yeah. So, you know, if Susie finishes off her jewellery with that, then that shows you. Yeah, it, absolutely. Absolutely. And can I just say your jewellery is amazing too. Oh, thank you. But, you know, when finished. you think about finishing, and I always think about Susie's jewellery is so... She's a perfectionist, isn't she's she? She's very sophisticated. Like, yeah. I'm quite boho, but Susie's very sophisticated, isn't she? And, and I, f I look at her jewellery as quite sophisticated. And yeah. for that sophisticated finish... You want it to be polished. Polished, that's the word. Polished, absolutely. Yeah. Still not your price. Oh, really? Sorry, that was so high pitched. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised by that. Goodness Still not me. your price. Really? We've got 500. Okay, go. <laughs> I don't think we will have a single one of these come yet left at uh, the rest of this auction opportunity. How many have gone, Roscoe? Ex 251. <gasps> There's 231 of you with it in your baskets. Nobody is paying 9.99. Nobody is paying seven ninety nine. Nobody is paying okay. six ninety nine or six forty nine. <laughs> what are they paying? This is crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Um, I, I agree. Ross was saying sterling silver at base metal prices. This has to be. If there was an awards for the best finding, huh? I've got to say these have got to be up there, haven't they? They've got yeah. definitely worth a nomination. Yeah, they, they definitely are the ones that you run out of and you're scratting around. I, I, I never have them. Never have mm. them in my stash. I try and buy them and they always sell out. Yeah, that's the thing. But, the, but I get it, though. It's your crimp, your crimp cover and your jump ring and your wire guardian all in one piece. All in one finding. How about... Pants. Pants. I sound ill. <laughs> I'm better at George. It's a pound, Zippy. <laughs> <laughs> Just buy it. Just ignore us. We've Ross lost is, the plot. Ross is, too much was for that me. George or Zippy? <laughs> that was Zippy. It's actually uncanny. <laughs> eh? It's yeah. Liam Dickens. Yeah. Liam Dickens sounds a little bit like Zippy. He does, rather. He does. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's a bit of Frank Spencer. Yes! Oh. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's a pound per uh, <laughs> bread. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. I'm sorry, everyone. It, it's All these prices have got to me now. I can't, I mean. Can I, the only impression I can do, and I think I do that badly as well. Hey, Bert. <laughs> I love that one. My friend Bert. <laughs> My friend Bert. It's a pound per finding. <laughs> hey, Bert. And sterling I silver as well. Really. Sorry. Sorry, I don't even know how we got there. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we are <laughs> have to be bringing you one of the best findings. That Do we agree? Text in. Do you agree? They're too busy buying 10. No, well, that's true. That's true. Actually, don't text in yeah, now. Make like, sure you I'll don't miss 10, out. I'll have 10, quick. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be joining if there's any left? Um, but we are... 
actually over allocated but there's pointless being in your basket if they're not checked out um fyi we have seen quantities of tens eights sixes so many multi buyers and and really you're going to use what two in a necklace two in a bracelet yeah. so you do need to multi buy on these oh yeah um they're just and also um, if you've been buying a lot of our lovely strands the ones that deserve mm. not ross's prices but sterling silver nah. yeah um, it's true well those pearls that we've got coming up the high luster pearls i would use these out of preference oh yes out of preference i would always go to a clock yeah because they give you that polished finish don't they they're just yeah i, I just really like them I, I you know i don't want to take away from the gemstone no um, and i don't want to really see the knots either so this is a, a, a great way of doing it now i'm going to show you the quantity and then we're going to put a 60 second clock on your screen that's from 500 folks Oof. yeah they've gone in a heartbeat and there are that's one pound per clot um that's amazing amazing but yeah you've got your cream beads as well I, I i totally agree with you debs and when i'm buying jewelry when i'm buying jewelry obviously the overall design you go oh wow that's amazing mm. but then when i start inspecting it i suppose say I'm, so I'm, I'm looking to buy i look at the clasp i look at how they're actually finished and if it's not done neatly that's that's not I'm, 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 people in glass houses mine's never finished completely neatly however but you, do you know what i mean this you are guaranteed that fi finish uh, yeah and it doesn't take a long time like, obviously i make a lot of jewelry mm. and so w my samples on here are, n are not what my samples would be if i was giving gifting or selling yeah and if i was that i would pay attention to that detail because it's your reputation yeah, absolutely. You know, I've told you about the bride in the suit necklace of the lady that was a jewelry maker. And one of the first things she sold was to this bridal jewelry. It was beautiful, but the bride was at the reception and it slipped off into her soup. You know, now your reputation is now it was beautiful, but it didn't last. It was in my soup. That's that's about you. Yeah. You know, so I feel like when I'm rushing and I'm I'm doing jewelry just to inspire, I, I probably don't use these because I wouldn't waste one. Yeah. You know, because they were so hard to get. Yeah. But at these prices, yeah. I just think that finishes everything because finishes your security. It makes sure that you're you've got longevity in your jewelry, and Absolutely. that is a reflection on you as a maker, whether you sell gift or whatever you do. Absolutely, totally agree totally totally agree um wow i th th they probably have almost sold out those okay next no the what sorry the clasps the boltering clasps wow. absolute essentials i love these now you can make certain findings but you'd struggle to make a boltering clasp wouldn't you i couldn't make one i'm not me, I don't mind saying, you know, it, I wouldn't bother <laughs> no. um, just because of the mechanism. What I love about the bolt ring clasp is this, uh, quite similar to the last finding is I don't always want a lobster clasp. Sometimes I do like those are delicate. You might have seen me make them a uh, micro faceted three mil bracelets and they've got a one statement pearl. And sometimes if you put a lobster clasp on those three mil micro faceted, it looks huge. It's like, it just doesn't go. Yeah. It's like kind of massive. Yeah. It's like putting a huge dog harness on a little dog. That's yeah, my analogy. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah. This is perfect for those sorts of things because it's in keeping with the design. It's about that, that, that fluidity of the piece of jewelry. Yeah, exactly. Now you get three 925 sterling silver bolt ring clasps. Again, you don't want to run out of them, do you really? No. Um, it is, and these are that perfect size. I totally agree with you. Sometimes you want the big clasp. Sometimes you want it to be in keeping in balance with your design, your piece of jewelry. If you love your three, four millimeters, um, um, gemstones or you love your well the demonstration you've just done actually Debs, yeah. I think they'd be perfect where with you that. don't want and I mean I tend to I don't know why but I tend to have a quite a lot of larger class yeah it's the smaller ones I don't have same. a lot of same Are I always same? run out of the smaller ones so it's just not small because I do use a lot of large ones I'm not saying I don't but it's when I want a smaller one is when I can never find yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They seem to sprout legs and run off. Yeah, in 20 seconds, we are going to be introducing your graphics. We'll have a big quantity. They're brand new. Remember, sterling silver at a base metal price. Um, so you're getting a pack of three. Is that right? What? You also get these. Here's 
me saying three Baldwin class, but you get your lobsters too. So you've got the best. But they're not huge lobsters though, are they? No, they're, they're really elegant lobsters. Yeah, I like those. That's a strange sentence, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hang on. On you go. Here we go. So you get three of your sterling silver lobster claws and then you get three of your bouldering class, 11 Ah, uh, what? Two pound per finding. I'm happy, Pappy. Are you happy, Pappy, Debs? I'm happy. I'm looking at that's not on, that's not your regular lobster class, is it? I quite no. like that shape. I, I know. I want to show you these because you can't quite see them there. There we are. There we go. We're not done oh, there. We're not done. Okay. There's an elegance to a lobster claw, I think. I like the curves of the lobster again, claw. Again, lobster claw. Look at the size of that. That one though. Yeah. I mean, it's you beautiful. know, you get so many different sizes of those. Um, I really like that. So you've got the best of both worlds then if you get both of those, haven't you? Yeah. There's a 60 second clock ticking away. How many have we got, Roscoe? 500 of everything. That's right, you did say. You did say. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, it's security. It's peace of mind. Get them when you have the chance because, for example, yesterday's show, did we have any bolt ring class or lobster claws? Nope. Do we have any clocks? Nope. Do we have any sterling silver earring findings? Nope. Do we have any extended chains? No. Nope. We didn't, did we, yesterday? It's not in every single show. No, and I, you know, I've pretty much used all of my, you know, when we used to get findings in every kit. Yeah. You know, and I've exhausted those years ago. I yeah. mean, and I got a lot of them. Um, so something like this is just, it's my bread and butter, it's my everyday use. You need them. Not so you can't make jewellery without them, but you are limiting yourselves, limiting the sort of the, 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 the capabilities. Under ten pounds, but there's oh. another sixty second Yay. clock on the screen. We've got five hundred. Even if you're thinking, you know what, L Debs, I've got loads in my stash. Yes, but are you going to is there potential that you could use them all up before the next time that we bring these to air? Yes. Is there is potential, isn't there it? Is, you are always is. going to need them. It's like when you do your food shop and you kinda <laughs> go, Have we got bread? Have we got it? Oh, and you guarantee if you walk away from that shop and you don't buy the bread you need, you it. won't have it. Yeah, you won't have no. it. Have I got butter in the fridge? Hmm. I won't get it because I think I have, and I and you haven't. You know you're going to need. How many of us have done that? It's the same with your essential findings. You just I won't buy some eggs because actually I'm fear I'm fairly sure. No, no. I've done that so many so times. So many times, and you end up going up to the shop once again to, to get them. Get them when you have the chance, because these aren't always on our show. Your essential 925 sterling silver lobster claws and bolt rings, six. £7.99 pence. So wait a minute, that's what? £1.20, is it, Ross? One thirty-three. That's not bad maths, is it? One pound thirty-three per finding. That's very good, isn't it? And we're not done. And we're not done. I've got finding. I've got lobster claws. I know that. I know I've got lobster claws. I don't think I've got enough bolt rings, so I do need to get those. Definitely. I would one hundred percent be adding these to my order today. If I've shopped today, or even if I haven't actually. It's an absolute given whenever I see a finding, I'm trying to get that, you know, get into that habit, mm. make sure you've got them. Mm. Always secure them. Because let's be honest, you know, they're not they're not a huge expense, are they? We're at 7.99 and we are going even lower. So it's one of those, okay, I'll get them now. Because you know you will use them at some point. Especially if you've already ordered something. Yeah. When you're adding these on, you're not adding any postage to that. So it li no. that literally is what you're paying. True. I yeah, think that's of it true. That way. Yeah, absolutely. The price is the price of the actual mm. of the actual precious metal itself. You know, think about your beautiful seraphonite that we had earlier mm. on, your serpentine. We've got your uh, uh, amazing um, sand and scarn that's coming your way. Pearls. All of those. I want the sterling silver findings to create with. How about today? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Burns. 
The pens. Why have you put a clock on your screens, Adam? A miscommunication? Ro who's, whose fault was that? Wayne? Just blame Wayne. <laughs> he's not even in the he's not even in the gallery, he's just blaming Wayne. Oh, I see. Oh, I went a bit Gavin and Stacey then, didn't I? <laughs> oh! We're going under a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness me, it's an absolute no-brainer now, isn't it? Drop. It wasn't meant to, by the way. There wasn't meant to be another clock. There definitely wasn't meant to be. <laughs> oh, pet, 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 pet. We do Frank Butcher. <laughs> I don't actually know why. If we say the word pound, we automatically <laughs> go into Frank Butcher. As far as I remember, he never had a market stall, did he? No, but he might have sold something in the pub for a pound. Or maybe. I... <laughs> was it? Was he a car? No, wasn't, he, going, wasn't he working in the pub as well? At and the, the pub. I remember the pub. Yeah, you can get a, an orange juice for a pound. Oh, I was just prepared. <laughs> Did he say it like that? I don't know why we do it, but every time. One pound. No, it's not even one pound, is it? It's but gone Ross, below that yeah, now. Yeah, Ross, it's not a pound. What are you talking about? It's not a pound. It's what... Uh, how, how much is it now each? You get six findings. <laughs> 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 It's, can you do this, Dan? Go on, you do the do what he just did. Uh, uh, as he just said it, though. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was very good. Very good. And you're you're across the room, where we could hear you. Ne next step, Shakespeare. Throaty. That was very throaty. Um, <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Okay. Sorry. Right then. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's do some extenders, shall we? Because we always need extenders too. Yes, there they are. There we are. Got them. Okay. So, how many times uh, um, have you put on a piece of jewellery and it's just not quite the right length? I not constantly use these. So I just too. used them in the demo. One in the demo, didn't I? And it, yeah. You know why I do it sometimes as well? It's to save beads. Yeah. So if I'm doing, uh, and I just, I know that I need an extra one for earrings or something, and it, I will put an extender chain on instead of using my whole strand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also like, I like having that hanging down as well with a little something oh, it's on lovely. it. lovely. Mm. Uh, and it's also a safety chain in my eyes. Yes. You could use these as safety chains if you uh, if you would like. Now, jewelry makers, you get three. You've got your bolt ring clasps. You're effectively buying the length of chain, the jump rings, the bolt ring clasps, all in sterling silver. Because you could make something like this with the findings, but mm -hmm. we're giving them to you at an uber uber affordable opportunity. Now, don't see them very often. I've I've often heard them actually used as kind of um, separate it and use this length for earrings. That is that is asking to be made into an earring. Yeah. I mean, I, it's my favorite kind of earrings are the chain with something yeah, on nice. the bottom. I love those. And yeah, that, well, you know, you can do anything with that. It's a bit of precious metal. Yeah, chain, exactly. Essentially. So yeah, oh, you get the jump rings and the... You get everything. Oh, that's very cool. So it's like a two inch extender chain, yeah. but I also want to refer to these as safety chains, because mm -hmm. that's what I would equally use them for. Um, we're under 10 pounds and we are going even lower, jewelry makers. We've got all of your amazing sterling silver essentials, essentials to bring <coughs> you. Don't forget the sand and scarns coming your way. You know, with the caliber of the gemstones that we bring you on a regular daily basis, having the right elements not just from a practical stance to be able to make the jewellery, but also, you know, to complement the quality of the gemstones. Yeah, exactly. I've got, I haven't got any beef with base metals. I think base metal has definitely, definitely got their place. However, when we see, for example, Michael has just handed in this amazing tea bar to me. I am not going to want to put base metal on any of these. I know. Ooh. When I saw that arrive, I thought, oh, yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from? You don't want to put base metal on any of those strands, do you? No, well, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't personally either. Because of the quality. Because of <laughs> the quality. 
Um, we're at seven pounds and ninety-nine pence, but we are not even stopping there, jewelry makers. Forty-one seconds. How many have we got, Roscoe? Have we got five hundred again? Yes. That's a really good quantity. Like sometimes we get these, and we got like fifty, but that's good because then everyone can get them and need exactly. Them. And you're not restricted to how many either. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm. You can get as many as you want. Mm. Um, I can't remember the last time we brought an extender chain to wear. Me neither. It's it's normally it's a case of if I want to add an extender chain, you've got to make that you've got to make that finding, haven't you? You've but got to buy the separate pieces. Exactly. That would be great on a necklace, but to me, if I was making a bracelet, I'd kind of have half of that. Okay. So to me, that's two you've got in your hand there. Yeah because remember you don't have to stick with the length you can make them shorter mm, that's true and use that precious metal elsewhere mm. not all of us we're not all the same size shape no, etc so if you gift or you you make jewelry uh, to sell you know it's uh, like for example myself and my best friend i mean Gemma and i have known each other since she was four years old Aww. she's five foot one she wears very different jewelry to what i would do yeah very very different and it's pieces like this that give you that versatility five pounds and 99 pence only to get three extender chains um in your precious metal they are absolutely flying out the door again twos threes fours i got loads of multi buys um the phone lines have gone crazy so um our call center are awesome though they will get to you and they're uk based literally a stone throw away from us here in the studio um they will get to you i assure you as quickly as they possibly possibly can we've got 500 so don't stress you'll be all right however the first auction that we brought you looked is very, was pretty close to a sellout. I don't think this is going to be any different. With the jump rings, we're looking at what? How much? Two pounds each. Yeah, because you get the jump ring to go on the end as well. You get everything. Everything. Very good. That's one component. Mm, really good. It's yeah, a nice chain as well, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. Mm absolutely beautiful and a big amount of sterling silver to actually bring you an extender yeah. chain too um extender stroke safety chain as well the phone lines it's super busy i'll keep we'll we'll keep running these alongside one another simultaneously basically then so you can shop ahead on all your precious metal needs now ooh, a special auction opportunity deb's you ready yeah hang on let me just get those jump rings away without losing them there we go now six pairs of earrings these have been uber popular on pre-order so I'm going to show you firstly you've got the lovely scrolly shepherd hooks times two two pairs yeah and then Ross which one it's not six pairs it's eight. No, because I've got four pairs of my shepherd hooks, the scrolly ones. Sorry, two pairs. I've got, this shouldn't be hard, should it? I've got <laughs> <laughs> two pairs of my lever backs and two pairs of your thread of style earrings. I'll put them all on. S six pairs, yeah? Sorry. Okay. Straight away, there is a. I will say there's a huge amount of sterling silver. I, I, I think there's many. Yeah, three and a half grams of precious metal. Many jewelry makers will favour certain shepherd, uh, certain findings, if you like, for certain creations and designs and inspirations. Yes. You know. Yeah. Thread earrings are massive at the moment. Anyway, they're hugely popular. My niece of um, 18 wears thread earrings all the time. I was like, oh, we do those. They are very, very popular and very comfortable as they well. They are, aren't they? You, you, you barely you know you're wearing them. them. Yeah. So there we go. She's got there. She's got there. So you get, effectively, what I have on the tweezers times two. Yeah? Two of your, uh, of your threaders, two of your lever backs, two pairs this is and two pairs of your uh, curly shepherd hooks basically mm -hmm. now this is a crazy 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 deal i'm loving these can i just say the threader earrings alone i think that's a great price for the threader earrings yeah and can i say that out of if you are thinking oh i can only really stretch to to one thing um people the main question everyone always asked me when i was making to sell was were the earring wires 
pressure silver. Silver. Yeah, because people have reactions yeah, sometimes to uh, base metal. So I think it's worth, especially if you've got a, you've, you've spent ages making a lovely earring or you've got some, a, a lovely gemstone on there, to actually use the sterling silver, especially in your ears. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Because I, you can, I can wear base metal, but it irritates me after a while. Me too. I can only wear it for a short period of time. And then I have to take them out. Yeah, same. Which is a shame, isn't it? Because really, we've got our jewellery and we want to wear our jewellery, don't we? Mm -hmm. um, I will show you these in the ear in a second. I just need multiple hands um, to do so. Okay. Yeah, the threader earrings literally use, you've got like an aglet. You've got like an aglet um, that you feed through the ear itself. Um, you get two pairs of them and you've got the, uh, the jump ring at the bottom. Six pairs of absolutely beautiful earrings. Um, ambidextrous me, or trying to be anyway. I can't put my earrings in without looking. Can't you? No. I can usually when I'm not doing it with my left hand. I just 14 99 <laughs> 14 pounds and 99 pence only. They are super comfortable. You get two pairs of your threader earrings. You get two pairs of your lever backs, which are, I would use with your heavier gemstones, yes. yeah. um, for sure. And then you have got your classic traditional shepherd hooks as well. There we go. We got there in the end. They're There's so the threader elegant. They are elegant, mm, aren't they? I love those. We've got another price crash on these. A minute clock on your screens. There's the jump ring at the bottom. So just literally attach. You know, take one of those. I'm literally going to reach over one of these. Oh, just one pearl beautiful. at the bottom. Look beautiful. How beautiful! What a high-end pair of earrings. Fourteen ninety-nine. It's good for six pairs of earrings, but we're going even lower. Remember, this is your deal of the day hour. All about your amazing sterling silver essentials. Um, two pairs of each, two pairs of the threaders, two pairs of the lever backs, two pairs of your swirly. Um, do you know what I mean by the swirly? Yes, the the ones that have like the um, ball on the front. Yeah. Yeah. And just nicely fluid, etc. Okay. We've got another price crash. <gasps> 500 were available. How about for 925 sterling silver? I agree, most people, especially in earrings, want 925. Yeah. Especially. Two pounds per pair. That's just, that's really, really good. Like, almost like trade deal, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do, and I do think that's what Jewelry Maker does here. We are beyond wholesale in many cases. Yeah. Um, Especially, I, I love that Deb said that, especially in earrings. Mm. I'm not saying, look, I wear base metal costume yeah, me jewellery earrings, but I can only wear it for a short period Agreed. of time. Um, out of choice, I would definitely go towards the precious metal because you can wear them all day and all night then, can't you? Personally, mm. anyway. And if you think about the price per pair of earrings to add on, especially if you, you know, again, it comes down to reputation. If you've got a pair of jade eye earrings, and they are on sterling silver, you will be taken more seriously. Yeah. Because if they go, oh, is that sterling silver? And you go, no. Then they'll start thinking, well, that's not jade, is it? Or Why that, would that's you? not exactly. amethyst, that's not whatever. Yeah. Um, so I just think, just to add that in, it just will add, especially at this price, it will just add that little bit onto your cost. Yeah. Uh, but not too much for you not to a huge make a amount, difference. No. But it, I totally agree. People would maybe question the authenticity of the gemstone if you're not putting them on, 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 on sterling silver. Um, that's only my opinion. Now we have one more, but I've only got 100. These haven't been on air since November last year. <gasps> yes. If you were thinking earlier on, I love my clocks, but I use my wiring tips as well. They are like little pair of earphones effectively. A oh, wire guardians. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. Wire guardians. Wire end tips. So you feed. They're effectively again. It's a double whammy, a crimp, and protective of the, your threading material, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So fabulous for seed bead designs. Um, yeah. Whereas you might 
uh, put, say, a row of six seed beads on the end and the lobster clasp in the middle, it can still rub over time on that finding. Whereas if you put it through a wire guardian, then the wire guardian through the finding, you've actually got that um, metal on metal. Yeah. I love them because I feel like, you know, wire guardian, it's like the superhero of finding. And it is though a little bit <laughs> yeah. of a superhero, isn't it? Because if you go, um, for example, if you're working, if you're threading onto an open jump ring, that thread can potentially work its way out of an open jump ring, it can't really it? It really can, yeah. But if you've got a wire guardian there, dun, it dun, won't. Dun, 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 dun. It protects your jewellery. Absolutely. It adds longevity to your designs. Let me show you. So it comes within, thank you, Dan, comes within um, a little box, a little container that you get as well. Um, it has three different sizes. Now, the sizes that you have, there it is. So we have a 1.1 millimeter hole where you get a pack of 10. Then you get 20 0.5 millimeter holes and 20 0.8, that's more relevant. We're talking about this bit here, you know? Um, that's relevant to the thread. But I don't know how closely you can see. Let me take it off the bust actually. That would be easier, wouldn't it? Sorry, Adam. Um, but if you see, look just here. Can you see how it has a U-bend? That's protecting the silk. Yeah. And if this jump ring, which I don't think it does, um, but if this jump ring had was an open jump ring and you didn't have the wire garden, guardian, it could find its way out, couldn't it? Or even it? a slight tug. Yeah. Basically, yeah. You know, like my granddaughter's always grabbing on my bracelets yeah, and necklaces. Same. Um, a kid do, don't they? Or or anything, you know, you catch it on the door handle or whatever. Um, this gives you that extra security, especially on an expensive strand of pearls. Definitely. Definitely. It, stre it prevents stretching, it prevents friction, it prevents... Um, it making its way out of the jump ring. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's it's just everyday wear and tear, and and it's responsible. I think if you because you need your silk or threading material to stay intact. Now, we are basically a pound per component. Is that right? Yes, it is a pack of fifty. It's a pound per wire end tip. I've not seen a choice on sizes either. No, me neither. Right, let's half that price. These are more limited, by the way. There's only 100 available. Hasn't been on air since November. I'm guessing you're going to be needing to stock up on your wire end tips. We've got three different sizes, 24.99, 50p. 50p per wire guarded. And you're only going to use two in a bracelet or in a necklace, aren't you? How about, jewellery makers? Under 20 pounds. That's amazing. For 50, but we are not done. Just easing our way towards that unbelievable uh, um, Wire Guardian deal. They And we never used to have these here at Jewelry Maker. Again, this is no, one of those didn't. finders you think, I wish I, I wish I invented those. And you know, I need about four of those in different rooms because my Wire Guardians hide from me. Yeah. And I see them, I'm like, oh, there they are. And then two hours later, I need them. And I go, where did I see them? Yeah. Like, because I'm always using them, especially with seed bead designs um, and things like this, like more high end. And my sterling silver ones just go first. Just forget it. They've just gone. Yeah. I look at them and they're gone. Yeah. Because it, it is like a little addition, a small expense. And we're talking, what, pennies at yeah. the moment, yeah. aren't we? A small expense to your jewellery but makes such a difference, mm -hmm. such a difference. It looks professional. Yeah. And, and I've mentioned this before, I find wire guardians far easier than French wire, personally. So do I. I find them far easier, because they're rigid, I suppose. But also, they, there's no, personally, I wouldn't leave a beading thread or a, a, some silk exposed. I think it looks tidy, doesn't it? Yeah. It look, keeps it in place. And you know, a silk will eventually 
be worn yeah. away with wear. Yeah, it will. So, you know, have this, then you don't have to re knot things. You know, it's going to be a lot longer before you have to re knot, if ever. Absolutely, totally. Um, these were brought to air in November last year. They sold out, over 200 of them sold out. This time we have a smaller quantity, sadly. Um, and they're going to sell out again, jewelry makers again. There's loads of you getting involved. I would be multi buying. You get a pack of 50. I mean, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. That's 25 pieces of jewellery, effectively. Yeah. Um, and it's lovely that you are getting the selection of the sizes. Again, it's about that continuity, that balance uh, um, of your designs. You don't want your wire guardian to be bigger than the clasp or bigger than the gemstones, effectively. Um, yeah, and using it with the right, uh, the right silks. We had 100, just over. Um, there's still time to get involved, but there's a whole heap of you there. Well done. Lorna, Julia, Joe, Thomas, Sheila, uh, another Sheila, Angela, Pauline, Stella, West Midlands, amazing. Keep on dialing through. And if you love your wire guardians, um, I have that tea bar of pearls coming your way. <gasps> oh, don't forget your salon scan too. That's coming up just after the break. But first tea bar of beautiful pearls now of this tea bar the largest quantity of any of these is nine now I'm fairly sure everybody is up to speed I want to show you the selection that you've got our regular viewers will know I've never seen a gem world change metamorphosize as much as pearls has done over the past couple of months mm -hmm. never and i guess that's probably because thank goodness we've only ever seen one pandemic haven't we here yeah um thank goodness but the pandemic was really the catalyst of it all so and we predicted it we spoke about it i know i certainly did but during lockdown i was like well hang on a minute who's looking after the pearls who's looking after the mollusks because basically each of those farmers was, they were restricted in their ability to go out and look for them. Mm -hmm. And then literally it's estimated two seasons of harvest, not just two harvests, two seasons of harvest actually were lost to the sea. So we knew that the supply was gonna be down. And we also don't think, oh, it's okay, we'll stick some more in. That doesn't, it takes at least two to three years, depending on the location, but two to three years to mature the mollusk to a size that can house these pearls. And most of these on this strand will be one pearl per mollusk, because I know there's Edison's on here too. Um, Anyway, so you have to invest that time. Then you have to have the investment of time to, for that mollusk to hopefully produce a pearl. Mm. So they believe it's going to be between 10 and 15 years until the, per, uh, the pearl supply is actually restored. However, what we couldn't foresee is that the world, every generation, gents, ladies, younger generation or older generation would go crazy for pearls in particular china and it took one influencer the power of social media these days frightening isn't it one celebrity chinese celebrity called nini to photograph herself wearing a strand of pearls that's all it took Next news we heard, and it came direct from Charlie Barron. You know Charlie. Charlie's been on air. He's a sixth generational pearl farmer. Um, he, his family, know, that's what they've always done. Six generations. Charlie can no longer deal in pearls. That's quite sad, isn't it? That is sad, yeah. Um, but he, it was he who actually said, look, Gemporia, jewelry maker, I can't bring you any more Tahitian pearls. The future harvests have been bought for the future 10 years. I can't buy them. Then it happened with South Sea Pearl. Then it's happened with freshwater pearls. We can't ex, the Chinese will not export freshwater pearls. The biggest quantity that we have is nine. 
And we had Georgia, our pearl buyer, who's probably got one of the toughest jobs in the business now, come on air last week and say, I can only buy Edison's. Freshwater pearls are not being exported. And even then, there's a, there's a, a, a quote, Roscoe, from Bernard, who was one of our jade suppliers, but also a pearl suppliers. And he actually said, look, I'm not gonna be able to export any of these colors to you particularly the natural colours like your orchids, your papayas, your purples, your multicolours, because there is such a demand for them here in China. You can have the dyed variety, he said. They're like, no thanks. We want the natural variety as well, the heirloom, mm. the legacy quality. Um, so the challenge is very, very, very real. And moving forward, I don't want to be all sort of doom and gloom if you're a pearl lover. I'm a massive pearl lover. I know Debs is too. Mm. But... Don't want to be on doom and gloom. Get them when you can. It is becoming harder and harder and harder to source pearls. Um, what we, I'm not saying we won't be successful moving forward. Of course, we will strive to do so. But it is most likely going to be Edison's, which do command a higher price tag. So, yeah, just on the back of, of, of the pandemic, this is when I went to Tucson. That was familiar with pearls. And they'd have paid thousands for that booth. Isn't that awful? It is. It's so sad. See this strand, 2021, wholesale. 1,250, which actually isn't a bad price. That will be five figures now. Oof. Five figures. Yoko of London, pre-Pearl Mania, as we're referring to it. 2,000, uh, sorry, 22,500. I have no idea how much that would be now. Because Yoko of London will go, hang on a minute, well, how much is it going to cost me to replace those pearls yeah. eight thousand for these earrings how much is it going to cost yoko of london to replace those pearls the, the reality is they can source the diamonds and the sapphire significantly more easy than they will do pearls um lavender pearls were already very expensive due to the problems with covid but since Hong Kong, the prices have gone crazy. It's the same thing with Tahitian pills. Well, like I said, we can't buy them now. Tahitians have disappeared. Now we know, this is like, the, you can see the mystery unfolding, can't you, in these words. Tahitians have disappeared. Well, that, we know why. One buyer bought them all now. Um, and the only pearls that come close to the aubergine colours is the fancy purple harvest that um, have come from the pearl farms here in China. These are being traded like freshwater pearls, freshwater Tahitians. I honestly don't think we could produce another collection for you. We know now this, we've been told by our suppliers, no, we can't, sorry, I'm not set. I, we are not sending you colours like this in their natural form because here in China, they will sell for massive astronomical figures. We had to pull the production of a planned strand. The, the price went too crazy and the factory had to uh, had quadrupled the price even after we agreed this collection, um, which has never happened yet. I mean, I don't blame them, to be honest. I do not blame them. So that pearl necklace, which was 3,150, quadrupled in price. Oof. Yeah, I don't blame them for pulling it, to be honest. They're running a business in the same way that so many of us are. Now, the first auction, mixed natural colors. It's not here, okay. We'll use the sample. Look at those, that's all natural. I've got four available in the world. Now is the time to buy pearls as a pearl lover because, like I said, we are one of the biggest pearl buyers in the world. However, we're not exempt to no. a global demand for it and just the sheer price surge that has affected pearls over the past few months. We went for the first time in almost 20 years to Hong Kong not to buy pearls. That's where we always used to buy. We used to spend millions of pounds on pearls in Hong Kong. They have a show that's just gone. Millions of pounds. We went this year for the first time with the intention of not buying pearls. And that was because we knew that most of the vendors that we kind of uh, chatted with prior to that show had said they're already sold. I'm going just for the exchange, basically. But you can come and come and have a chat with us. 
at £2,249. That's already an irreplaceable price. Already. But that's not what we close. I've got four available. These are natural colours. Look at the intensities of your beautiful purples. Aubergines, yes, most definitely. Pistachio silvers gold. You've got the rare orchid colour and pinks. A big, big, big opportunity for all pearl lovers. But sadly, there's only four. There is only four. I had the conversation with my husband the other day. And normally, I'll be honest, he... He's, he's supported in everything. But, you know, I was like, I need to be buying more pearls, Tom. I need to be buying more pearls. And I tried to, I, I, and Nomi's like, yeah, 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 you've got loads. <laughs> that he'll kind of dismiss me. However, he, when I told him the story, he was like, do it then. Do it. Buy as many. Why aren't we buying these pearls now, he's saying? If they're irreplaceable at the prices that you bring them to wear, they're irreplaceable at 999 that's very good isn't it i mean it really is i remember debs before this situation i remember when we used to do natural freshwater pearl strands that were much shorter yeah for round about that price yes and everything is so different now so different pearls it used to be a case of, I know I've heard Dave say this, oh, you can culture pearls. Yeah, but we can, and that's still going on. We're still culturing pearls, but they will not be exported. Freshwater pearls are not being exported. I know I have brought you strands of that length for one for, uh, 199 yeah. in the past. I've got one left, and that was a great price. Mm unbelievable deal one left in the business Lancashire, uh, Lancaster you can get that um, Manchester's got three congratulations there's one there's literally one left these ones that I've just picked up they're stunning Ooh. I love it I love the the shapes the differences 10 to 13 millimeter again these will be one pearl per mollusk because of their size Remember what, sorry? The biggest quantity of, of anything that I have is nine. Oh, there's six available. These are gorgeous, so metallic. Remember your five virtues, size, shape, color, nacre and luster. Now we had 80, we had what, sorry? 80, we're down to the final six beautiful graduation they were launched launched only a month ago you've got every color that you could wish for for the golds to the bronze to the purples to the pistachios to the peaches to the papayas they're totally natural just not this and can i just say it is always personal opinion and choice but pearls now strive to put them on something like gold because they deserve, they are that expensive now that they are, you know, gold and platinum worthy. Oh, definitely. And by the way, I know that we don't sell gold class. We should. Go on Cooks and Gold, I was looking last night. Cooks and Gold, their, their gold class aren't a bad price. So oh, go really? On, yeah. Go on there, I've got some lovely clasps on there that you can grab that would absolutely 100% need to be with strands like this. That's my, only my opinion. £1,299, sorry. We showed you a strand earlier on. Wholesale, wholesale at $1,250. Okay, so we're not far off that price tag, are we? That's, through, that's what, three years ago? Mm. The, a lot has changed in three years. I thought that was a fantastic price. I know they're different. I know they're purple and then these are the Baroque, but actually the Baroque's the most popular at the moment. We are not stopping there. We have six available opportunities. Oh, I'm shopping for pearls now. <laughs> 299. <coughs> for Excuse the me. final six that we have left in the vault. In, they're in the such vault. a good um, size and shape. Yeah, they're huge. Probably the biggest that I have here on the T-bar actually. Yeah. Huge. I have six left. Look at the split payment. Not it was silk. We've brought you the high-end findings. 
299 is still not your price point. Again, there has never been a better time to get pearls or a never more urgent time to buy no. pearls as a pearl lover than right now. We have, what, sorry? Three left and there's 12 of you, 14 of you with it in your basket. Virginia, Manchester, Multibuyers, Linda, Lillian, Swansea, 18 in baskets. Oh my goodness me, you need to be checking out. Not stopping there. This is, this is the thing, we knew that it was going to, supply was gonna be down. What we didn't know was that the, a third of the world's population in China yeah. would go full head over heels, crazy in love with pearls. Um, and that would basically mean that they wouldn't export certain varieties of pearls. The ones that they do export are very, very, very expensive. So prices like this, that's what I mean, are quite literally irreplaceable. Moving forward, we will probably most likely only be bringing you your Edison pearls. So the days of us doing, you know, your casual strands, willy-nilly in the show, are gone. They are gone. A hundred pounds off that price tag for the final two. Well done to those of you that have made your confirmation. Out of the 80 that we launched, I've got just two left. Look at that, less than 50 pounds. Less than 50 pounds on your split payment. Sonica, you can do it. Hertfordshire, you can do it. Linda, well done. Um, sorry, Hertfordshire, Linda, Virginia, and Manchester multi buying. Sonica, Swansea, Cambridgeshire, you're all there. I can't keep up with you all. The final one. There might be a phone bid who secures it, okay. So there's a telephone bidder. Has it gone? Amazing, well done, Cambridgeshire. You've got it. Oh. They are amazing now. Um, Gorgeous Stan, yep. can you pass me the cream bust, please? The cream bust. So, yeah, I should be showing these on a bust. I've got, I've got, thank you. We did launch these recently alongside you, Debs. There's seven left. Oh, really? Out of the, how many was there? A hundred. 105 to be exact. So this is the, only the second time to wear. If you missed out on Sunday, if you had places to be, then, um, yeah, now is the time because we've only got seven of them left. They are brand new. They won't, this is the thing. The pearl market, the pearl world, look at those. They are perfection, oh, aren't they? Um, we went crazy for them on Sunday. For whatever reason, seven, they sold out because I, I, yeah, they did sell out for whatever reason. We leave it a couple of days for the uh, system to have a stock update. Now, really, I can't remember. I've slept since then. So Ross is saying the price that we took these to, do you remember? No. I don't remember either. Is the kind of deal that's where somebody, and we do have jewelers that shop yeah, with us we as do. well, who co could come in and literally buy all seven of them. Because what's not to love about this, they are beautifully high luster. Yeah, these are all natural colours. Remember what Bernard said, and I, we haven't found the slide yet, but it doesn't matter, I can relay the message. Bernard was saying, look, I can, I can literally sell these into the Chinese market without exporting them at a high price tag. So you are not getting the natural colours. You can have the dyed. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And we've got a fantastic relationship with Bernard. He's been amazing. He's yeah. made a lot of the jade opportunities possible. We're like, no, Bernard, we don't want the dyed variety. We want the rare, the precious, the yes. valuable. So auctions like this are literally irreplaceable. Natural. Seven chances remain. They're so pretty, aren't they? Oh, they really are. These are very elegant. Yeah. Not everybody wants the big. See, I love all pearls. Um, I used to favour the Baroque or larger, more um, sort of maybe more quirky designs. But then I fell in love with all of them. And yeah. now it depends on what mood I'm in as to whether I'll wear my sort of near rounds or my Baroques. And, and then when I heard that I couldn't get them anymore, and I, I know I used to joke, I panicked by pearls but I kind of did no I don't I get it you quite often if you see me out and about I'll have something with my pearls on yeah there'll be a pearl somewhere you were wearing ear, you were wearing them last night yeah I was <laughs> yeah your pearls um uh, Adam director Adam who has worked here for how many years Adam many 
So they're the, generally some of the best pills I've ever seen. Yeah. I totally agree, and I think I said those words on Sunday, didn't I? On Sunday I said that. I was like, these are, if you value my opinion and my recommendation, these are some of the best pills that I could possibly offer you. Yeah, you did say that. I did, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, did. If you value my recommendation, these are some of the best pills. And even here at £2,999, you pop into Blue Nile. See if you can find naturally high luster, genuine culture pills at 3,000. Not like this. You'll find strands for about that price, but I don't think they'll look like this. Prices like strands like this would be more. Are you ready? The final seven. I can't remember what we took this to, Ross, and it's making me nervous. <laughs> One nine nine. If you added a zero to the end of that price tag, that's unbelievable. But we've had valuations from our own customers. We it's have. not even come from us. I did a whole show with Carol that where she had gone in and found all these valuations from our customers. Yeah. About you know from right back in the day as well of what, like one lady had bought them in a kit and the kit the whole kit was something like twenty quid, and it, they were valued at something ridiculous like you know. 250 and that was for a small strand and that was before all of this before the madness before the world yeah. went crazy for pearls we're down to the last five what did, did we, we close not? out ross did we i've got five left now manchester snapped up two tracy Anne, and linda they are beautiful i agree i love baroques i love the keshis your beewers i love your Orchids, your purples, your classic. Well, I love them all. This is the thing, but this is classic, isn't it? They're, they're ageless. Yes, they're very, they're very classic. I've got a strand like this, and they're just like this, and they just sit quite high. Which I'll usually have kind of longer pearl necklaces, but the, and sometimes I just put those over my head and just wear them because they make me feel nice. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. I think pearls literally immediately add that femininity whichever yeah. way you want to look at it I, I don't know but oh there's only three chances look how perfect they are they're gorgeous they are absolute perfection high luster mirror like beautifully spherical i know it says near round they look very round to me that i wouldn't say near i'd say round as well i wouldn't necessarily i wouldn't err on the side of caution i've got Three of these available opportunities from the uh, 80 that we launched. Was it 80? 105, sorry, that we launched on Sunday. 37 pounds and 25 pence on your split pay. That's madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. When prices of pearls are higher than probably they've ever, ever, ever been. Ever been. I've never experienced pearls in such high demand as they are right now i mean they've always had that they've always been loved haven't they from mm. you know century over century over century but all down to one influencer who was photographed wearing some pearls and immediately overnight that's it tahitian pearls no longer available for the future decade then of course your south sea and then of course freshwater pearls one remaining who's going to get that last one 16 of you have it in your basket um, we'll leave it with you because it's super over allocated. Amazing. Now, this next opportunity is the biggest quantity. Again, we launched these on the 18th of February. These are your Ripple Pearls. Ripple Pearls, um, if you're thinking what's one of those, is where the mollusk, the oyster, whatever it is that's producing your pearls, secretes a huge amount of nacre now nacre is the rare valuable precious material that makes up a pill now if that if that mollusk is producing maximum nacre what happens yes of course it coats the pill but it gives you high luster so if you get lust you get luster from your nacre but when it's secreting optimum amounts you sometimes get these beautiful folds and ripples across oh. the surface and amazing imagine throwing up a sheet of of silk oh yes and then it gets into the air and it gently falls down you've got these lovely beautiful lustrous folds of the silk now imagine that on pearls oh 
Sorry, you said multicolour. I beg your pardon. These are the white ones, though, aren't they? Ah, oh, beg your pardon. Okay, all of the above, same conversation, but instead, multicoloured. So actually, actually, you know what? Let's say that sentence again. Imagine throwing up a sheet of beautiful, soft silk and the ripples that occur across the surface of rare, precious, valuable nacre. You get high luster and it looks like this. They are gorgeous, are they? You just looked at those with little hearts coming out of your eyes with such love, the affection. They are beautiful, are they? <laughs> Elle just looked at those like... Like I do my children. Yeah. They are amazing. They're so beautiful. <laughs> we have nine of these available. Oh, they are lovely. Aren't All they? natural. I adore Ripple Pearls and they are hugely popular. Um, yeah, we did a whole presentation of it. Basically, it's an abundance of nacre that forms these wonderful folds across the surface of your cultured pearl. Um, it means more luster. You will absolutely get more luster. Even here, the price of ripple pearls, uh, particularly in Hong Kong, was huge. Not 3,499. Uh, 3, definitely not 299. <laughs> Definitely, definitely not. This is the one that we have the biggest quantity of. They're also the biggest, I think, I'm right in saying, um, or some of, yeah, the biggest uh, um, pearls that we have. They're Edison. So you know we said earlier on, Edison is cultured in the same way that they do South Sea pearls. Um, and Edison, uh, um, when they were first invented, which is quite recently, actually within the last decade, they described them as pearl radicals that wanted on to take on to the, you know, uh, um, wanted to take on your South Sea pearls um, in a freshwater location. So that's exactly what they did. It was one mollusk per, um, per pearl, nurtured, cared for, lovingly uh, turned, you know, chipping the barnacles off, but they are a premium. You know, they're a high price tag because look at the end result. This is not where we close. We didn't close at 299. This is madness. We didn't even close at 199. Really? Did we launch these, Ross? <laughs> if your budget allows and you're a pearl lover, get them now. Get them now. I wish I had 80 of these, 100 of these, because they would all sell. 100% natural colors. Remember your five virtues. Size, they're huge, up to 11 millimeters. Ele Edison's are quite similar to your South Sea pearls. So in their size, shape, I mean, Baroque pearls basically is what they are, or fireball if you want to describe them that way, are hugely popular. Then we start talking about colors. These are natural colors, you know, from a harvest of 10,000, and that's a usual fresh water, which Edison isn't. Less than 10 are, are, you know, are naturally metallic. It's probably a higher or a lower number rather than, um, than that for these. Plus you've got your high nacre, which is forming that ripple, which leads to the most important virtue, which is your luster. Mirror-like luster. I wish we had 100 of these, Roscoe. Um, Edison pearls, you know, if you are wondering, what? We didn't have 100 on launch, says Roscoe. Yeah, that's true. But if you're wondering you know, what are Edison pearls, they are relatively new in terms of their development. Um, it was, we're going to take on South Sea pearls, and I have to say, they, I think they succeeded. Um, they are up there with Tahitian, South Sea, Akoya, Edison. They are, in my opinion, the four big names um, in the cultured world. You've just got them for £149. <laughs> that is no reflection of the true value or worth. Um, well done, Linda, uh, Atia. Thomas, Patricia, Tracy, Judith, Maker, Angus. Obviously, you've not all been successful yet. Um, Judith, you've done it. Patricia, you've done it. You have £37.25 on your 0% interest split payment. How amazing is that? Don't miss out. The reality is, we'll look back on occasions. Uh, this, like, you know, this year, the beginning of 24, uh, 2024, when... The pearl world changed. Oh yeah. Overnight, we've never seen it like this before. 
I made um, a necklace with a strand that's similar to this, and I put rubies in it. Oh and I put um, a precious metal clasp on. And I know I was going about being able to make things that you can't afford. But my daughter said to me, how much would that be to buy? And I said, we couldn't afford it. Yeah. And I totally meant it with that necklace, yeah. you know, and I love it and I wear it. And I couldn't afford to buy it. It would be thousands. It's got rubies Absolutely. in it. It's got sizable natural pearls. Yeah. I couldn't, I definitely couldn't. No. No, but that's fantastic though, isn't it yeah. though? That we can make peace. And isn't that why so many of us do make jewellery? Well, yeah, because I, lo I love it. I, I know a lot of jewellery designers who don't wear jewellery. Like they, they mm. make to sell, a lot of metal workers. True. Um, I'm the opposite. You know, I love jewellery. I make something and I'm like, oh, I just want to keep everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like that as well. <laughs> it's true. But I do love gifting as well. So do I. And, and I remember... Um, for for my mother-in-law we bought her amazing amazing pair of pearls i've i've told you this before yeah. and i told you which strand i bought for her as well and i said look i i boxed it she opened it she's like oh my goodness me there and, and they're huge pearls as well all bought from mm. jewelry maker i have to say and i said to her do you want it in white gold do you want it in yellow gold before i get it stranded because i wanted to be able to choose that's I wouldn't be able to afford to buy my, my mother-in-law pearls if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker. No. Um, and I know that 149, by the way, is no reflection of the true value. Now, we've got the classic white pearls, eight to 10 millimeters. There's five available. We're gonna do it in one price crash. Okay. Oh, these are the ones I teased you with earlier. Oops. Um, teased you with these earlier on. It's gonna be the last of your pearl auctions. We're gonna do what? Lowest price. I mean, if you are thinking, I love those colours, but I, you can't beat a classic. You can't beat the classic ones. Look at those. This is one to buy and put away for somebody's 18th or somebody's 50th wedding anniversary. Wedding day. Or, you know, or you don't even know what you're going to do with it because these are timeless. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't elegant. they? Elegant. They're the sort of pearls that I would always have thought that I could never afford to own. Yeah, same. You know, the sort of my, my nana had some pearls and I used to just marvel at, are they real nana? You know, it just... Debs, they're so perfect. They look like synthetic yeah, yeah i agree with that actually they look I, too perfect almost yeah, and i know they're ripples but it's a very de you can get various degrees of ripples oh yeah can't you oh i've got two left laurel well done manchester well done Teresa, well done barbara you're there manchester's theirs as well as is sarah in middlesex also um hello gloria morning gorgeous gals um, Hello. I'm late tuning in, uh, tuning in, sorry, uh, but so glad I got back in time for those pearls, stunning. They really, really, really are. <laughs> Welcome back, Gloria. They're unbelievable. <laughs> They're all extremely limited. Well done. Now, do not go anywhere because coming up after the break, we have the gorgeous, the natural San and Scarn, which actually would look amazing with these pearls, wouldn't it? Um, they'd be incredible. Those four millimeters. Would you like a little sneaky peek? It, it's literally imperial colour. It's totally natural. Um, oh my goodness me. This is coming your way as a big star by launch. We've also got a massive closeout deal on Sun and Scarm Bangle and lovely jewelry makers i'm so excited about deb's masterclass today it's all about the universe the bracelet universe. we've got 200 of these and i'm thinking ahead because the idea the sentiment behind the universe bracelet i love as well so do i absolutely love it and it's such a simple thing to make of course you can do it a different way you don't have to use the cord but everything's there for you yeah unboxed so it's a really yeah, nice lovely presentation box, gift yeah. Um, so that's coming your way, jewellery makers, as well in your masterclass. Do not go anywhere. Join Debs and I for Sand and Scarn after this. Hi, guys. So I'm just back in the country from Hong Kong. A lot of exciting news, which is worrying for those of us trying to source new jadeite as we move through 2024. But for us who have a small stock holding that we acquired a year ago, it is very exciting. Um, we are talking, of course, about the Guatemalan material, in particular the, the Olmec Blue variety. Uh, top crystal, top transparency. And this time I get to bring you a bangle that has been carved. Um, we know a standard bangle, I hate to call them standard, it takes about 
about 10 hours worth of work by the most skilled artisans in the world. But this material, as I said, takes about 24 hours. Huge risk, uh, very small risks to reward, um, a lot of wastage in this, but when you get it right, when you get something that, that goes through that whole journey of 24 hours, you get something that is some of the most valuable jadeite on the planet. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your jewellery maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi, jewellery makers, it's Charlie. I just wanted to let you know that I'm back in the studio on Friday the 8th. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful little bee charms. They're bound to get you buzzing with excitement. Um, they come in three colourways and they have little tiny teardrops that you set yourself. They're very cute. You don't want to miss those. Very on trend. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, so they're really exciting projects actually. So when you start making with them, the more ideas you get. So it's a pack of five, I think it's five, five decorative strips and they come with end caps as well because we know that cuffs are going to be big this year. Um, I really hope you can join us. I'm so excited to be back. We will be with Carol and Tom and the rest of the team. So really hope you can join me and I will see you there. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Oh, I'm excited about, well, the remainder of the show. We've still got lots to bring. We've got the Universe bracelet with our Debs. And we're about to talk about a variety of jade that is immediately overnight in the folds of your luxury high-end jewellery brands, uh, such as Cartier. Uh, this is called San and Scarn. Now, San and Scarn, if we, if we were looking at Burmese jadeite, it is without doubt imperial colour, without doubt. But it is a different location that, like I said, upon its arrival was, uh, um, and I think it was first showcased in the Hong Kong Gem Fair, was immediately included in your Cartier design. So let's talk about that. Let's show that. So what is San and Scarn? What is this amazing green gemstone that now has, is commanding some of the highest price tags? Well, look at Cartier. This is their Cactus de Cartier bracelet. Ooh. Lovely. And as you can imagine, it comes at a Cartier price tag, <laughs> as you can imagine. But focus on the, the green gemstones, those small, what look like three or four millimeter rounds potentially. That's your sand and scarn, and they describe it like so as well. Thank you. 
So, Cactus to Cartier bracelet, 18 karat yellow gold, sun and scarn, set with 146 brilliant cut diamonds, totaling 0.7. So it's not the diamonds. No. It's not a huge carat weight in the diamonds. In fact, it's relatively small comparative to the actual design of the piece of jewellery. But it's the fact they could have chosen, Cartier could have chosen any green gemstone, couldn't they? They could have chosen Imperial. They could have chosen Emerald, Emerald Zavarite. They could have chosen, uh, let me see. Huh? Sphene, absolutely. Any green gemstone, but they chose San and Scarn. And I get it, because it is a really beautiful, delicious, like, colour. But moving forward, um, they have the write-up on it. Jewelry editor shoot with Cactus to Cartier. You can see Discover All Things Radiant from Cartier and their new uh, collection, this exquisitely prickly flower, unlike any other, shines bright in our October issue dedicated to fine jewelry and more. Middle East exclusive yellow gold sun and scarn and diamond necklace um middle east exclusive uh, sun and scarn diamond bracelet and then it says again the same um about the ring itself you can see her wearing them just there absolutely beautiful Aren't they? it's not a huge diamond carrot way no. yeah there's a lot of gold in those um but it's you know the sun and scarn is the gem that they actually choose uh, what is this gemstone? Well, San and Scarn gems are recently discovered um, in Western Pakistan. These gems are known for their striking green color due to the presence of chrome. Um, at Afa, this is Afa jewelry, we cut San and Scarn into slabs for pendants, showcasing a unique contrast between the gemstone's natural appearance and polished metal. The rarity of occurrence makes it uh, a distinct gemstone, meaning it should be handled carefully. And if you actually go on their website to buy your sun and scarn, um, you will find, they haven't got any. Oh. It's all out of stock. Um, no products in this collection. It's been in, it's gone, they can't replace it. This is another one of those gems that actually f is difficult to cut, it flakes. Oh really? So yeah, it's quite granular, so very difficult to actually cut. There is that Cartus, uh, Cactus oh. de Cartier ring, you can see just there, um, and again, you can see the quality. This is an ideal photograph for us to really kind of scrutinize the quality of the San and Scarn. I'm not saying criticize theirs, obviously, no. but appreciate the quality that you also get here at Jewelry Maker. You know, that rich, lush chrome green. Because I don't know if Adam can do his magical thing where you have the two strands alongside one another, but look at the quality that you get here at Jewelry Maker. Yours is better. Can I say, do you agree? That, yeah. It's actually better. Yeah, color wise, there's no comparison really. This is quite opaque. We're bringing you the strand and then we're gonna do something extra special on your San and Scarn bangle. It's a huge closeout deal. By the way, the ring. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, the actual UK money is nineteen and a half thousand pounds. It's Cartier, isn't it? It's bound to be. It's bound to be. But again, that's what five San and Scarn, seventy points of diamonds. Yes. All right, a lot of gold, but you are looking at five stones. Now, jewelry makers, we're going to start with the strand. Oh, we, we have a biggest. <gasps> Look at that, baby. <laughs> it's beautiful, Sun and Do you know what? It might be my favourite variety of jade. Isn't now. it beautiful? You know, like, uh, uh, you know, whether it's Burmese, whether it's Kotam, whether it's Guatemalan, I have to say, Sun and Scar might be my favourite. Now, by the way, in this gemstone, I can't believe we're doing this, Ross. Have you seen them? They're huge. Um, we have it in two, we have it in 10 millimeter and four millimeter, that's it. You know, if you're looking for the Barbara Hutton yeah. opportunity, yeah. this is that Barbara Hutton opportunity. And, and by the way, let's show you the necklace. Here's your chance to make that necklace. 
I have the 10 millimeters. Remember, it's so difficult to get hold of that jewelers had none. We've only ever purchased 15, I wanna buy this. I, you know those round white pearls that we had earlier oh. on that were described as ripple? Can you imagine them together? Yes. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Or knot it and add it to a high-end clasp. If these don't go, I've got to be honest, Ross, I'm not going to be disappointed. I think I'm, I'm going to add one of these to my order. Eight millimetre sand and scan. They're bigger than the likes of Cartier. I know, and the, the colour on them is magnificent. It's unbelievable. And it's yeah. all natural. It's beautiful. It's not dyed in any way, shape or form. A, a new discovery in Western Australia. Incredibly rare. Incredibly beautiful, first and foremost. Mm. You know? It's, it's all well and good, as, you know, talking about the rarity, the price of certain gemstones. This is so beautiful. And you have that amazing, rich, lush green color. Natural. If I was holding Burmese, this would be probably millions. Yeah. It'd be imperial and it would be millions. We're at £1,499. You've still got your five-way split payment. This is the only strand of San and Scarn 10 millimeter rounds that we have, and I've got two left in the business. Oh, I thought there was more of those, these, Ross. I was hoping. £1,499. Is not your price. Good luck. Again, I have to say, I'm not disappointed if these don't sell out because I would very much like to join you on it. Look at the quality. Look at the quality. Um, gorgeous, Dan, can I borrow your phone a second, lovely? Um, just because, look at that. It lights up. It's that wonderful, chromium-rich, um, natural, genuine gemstone. Uber, thank you. Uber, uber rarity. It lights up even without the need of a, 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 a torch itself. Oh my goodness me. And it's one of the only strands that we have um, in the business. Very few sand and scar. It's difficult to get hold of. We've got whole jewelers who write about it, but actually haven't got it. Does that make sense? Actually haven't got it in their um, inventory. We're bringing you a, a limited quantity granted, but for those of you that are successful, it's one of the most striking green gemstones. The final one opportunity, 49 pounds and 80 pence only. Uh, to get hold of this beautiful Barbara Hutton opportunity. I'm not saying it's the same gemstone. That's Burmese jadeite. This is San and Scarn jade. Um, so different location only. But jade is jade. Remember the words of Stanley Yu that they are sort of running through my ears right now. Jade is jade. The final few. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. Moving on to the four mils. These are going to go crazy. You know that. Is there quantity? 70. Look how beautiful this is. Incredibly, we're about to give everybody the chance to own San and Scan affordably. How much is that? 19,000, that ring. Uh, 19 and a half. Oh, that makes all the difference. Makes all the difference. Are these four millimetre? Right? Four millimetres, which I don't know exactly, but it looks to be about the same size if not larger than what Cartier yes. use. Yeah. That's all natural color. And when we're talking about jades, imperial being the most recognized color mm. of jade, that's perfection. It is, isn't it? It's which exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. Those of you that follow Dave Troth on social media, you know, we should we hope that we're going to be bringing imperial jade for the first time and you might well have seen the photographs this is the closest i've ever seen to imperial jade as those pendants uh hello she was at joanne in shropshire i have sand and scan absolutely love it it's a lush green beautiful mm. totally agree it is lush and it's natural we have 70 available opportunities 
your graphics are live jewelry makers whether you keep it uber simple a little bit Elsa Peretti vibes just a lovely simple linear design you know what we had earlier on this morning and I am going back a couple of hours now but we had earlier on this morning your Nanhong agate in in that tea bar can you imagine a Nanhong agate tea bar suspended from your salon scan talk about rarity unbelievable rarity we're going to do a closeout deal on the bangle 70 available opportunities okay shall we roscoe put a 60 second clock on our screen let's do it see you there because we can promise you the most amazing price tag if you've ne if you've watched sun and scan admired sun and scan and never quite had the opportunity to purchase i get it it is a considered stone um this is the auction for you this is the auction for you not nearly enough people on the phone lines do you agree ross not nearly enough people sand and scar and this is a gemstone look the bangle that i'm wearing by the way we approached after our initial launch of sand and scar and we approached went back to the location wanting to source more of everything that we're bringing to you and they were like okay well you can have certain varieties of it for sure however you can't have other varieties because they have literally been bought by, bought by Cartier <sighs> so we know this not just for the cactus collection we know for example that Cartier I don't know if they've done it already are doing a solid bangle in San and Scan. who knows what the price Ooh. that will actually be just to give you a heads up get the wheels in motion £199 is not your price. 60 second clock on your screens. We need to work with you need to work with us to be able to bring that price down. We want to bring you the most amazing deal on your form. Have we done four mil sun and scarm before? Um, no, this is the only one. There we go. I didn't think so. And I think the fact that they are that much smaller showcases the translucency Definitely. even more. The more of you that are there, the lower that we will go. We've only got 70, did you say? Sit or had. 30 seconds, a big price crash. Susan, Jennifer, Helen, Renata, Jenny. You can count my name on that list. There's names I can't see though, because I'm my core screen's a little bit behind. It is totally and utterly natural no enhancement whatsoever and coming your way to launch price tag imagine your capriccio bracelet with sand and scar i was thinking that but i didn't dare say it because mm. there's a piece of jewelry you couldn't afford to buy <laughs> goodness me Definitely imagine if cartier did something like that because yeah. they're all about their bold statements yeah i think the jewelry is incredible tassels as well they love tassels. They're very much about tassels yeah i think that would be something that you'd own and you'd cherish yeah absolutely well i would definitely and, uh, and, and we're not sitting here saying that that's it's going to be an inexpensive piece no but however for imagine it though it's compared, heirloom that's insur yeah, insurance piece. exactly compared to what it would cost for you to buy something yeah like that. absolutely 99 pounds and 99 pence is one of the lowest prices that i can remember of any sand and scan any sand and scan and it is not your price jewelry makers in 60 seconds, we are going lower. 30 carats of beautifully uniform, beautifully translucent. You know, when you think sun and scan should look like your boom, uh, like jadeite. Yeah, does that make sense? A, a, a sun and scan, you want it to have translucency, you want it to have a glow, a presence of color. Um, and in an ideal world, you want that imperial green. It couldn't be any more imperial green if it tried. In 31 seconds, this is a brand new strand, bringing this to you today, not at 99.99. There's very few places around the world that offer you this gemstone, and more so even in the smaller sizes, because it is a gem that flakes during the cutting process, so it's hard to carve, it's hard to polish. Have to have the finest lapidus and cutters in the world to actually embark on this one. We've got our own cutting house. <laughs> there's, 
oh, there's a reduction and there's a reduction. I mean, yeah. that went down considerably, didn't it? 49 99 for Sun and Scarn. It's a variety of jade discovered in Western Pakistan, new. And remember what Stanley Yu said, who's probably one of the most respected individuals in the jade world. Jade is jade, doesn't matter the location. You know, Guatemala, he said the future is Guatemala. The f you know, it doesn't matter where the location is because being honest, and this sounds quite, this is sad really, Kotan's gonna mine up, out in the foreseeable. Burmese jade out is no longer being mined. So we have to look to the future. Where, what is the future of jade? Is it Guatemalan? Is it San and Scan? I, I think so. Mm. Of this quality, this is really the only alternative that I can think of. £49.99, pence. Rhonda, Renata, Geraldine, Susan, Jennifer, Helen. Uh, Jenny, you're there, new customers getting involved. Amazing. We're going to do the most incredible closeout deal on your San and Scan bangle, which you can see me wearing. I'm teasing you with it there. Um, this is the smaller size, we'll talk some more about it, but again, totally and utterly natural. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that off now, you know. I'm literally <laughs> going to have to wear it forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. It's, uh, yeah, it's perfect imperial green colour. Um, we're going to do a closeout deal on that one, jewellery makers, as there's a little bit of news to share with your San and Scarn. Uh, Swansea, Lorna, Susan, congratulations. Keep on dialing through, everybody. We only had 70 of those now. Okay, so... We have brought you bangles. They take about an hour, uh, sorry, 10 hours to carve one bangle. We've brought you from different varieties of gemstones as well. We've had those beautiful, uh, we had Galaxy Agates. We've had your Burmese Spinel, which is really where it all began. Then we had um, your Aquamarines and we've had Malachite. So our amazing suppliers, uh, and they are carvers as well. It's, a Lepidris doesn't do the same as, as carve. Um, and it takes an immense amount of skill. You have to lose a great deal of the gemstone. Um, obviously, the, se the center, you have to lose a lot of that. Um, and we launched the Sand and Scarn Bangle, which was absolutely incredible. Um, it was a smaller size. And a few of them were, okay, we want the bigger sizes of them. That's been the feedback so far. Okay, get it. We'll do our very best. Whenever we bring any bangle, we will always strive to get the bigger size. We always strive to get that as well as if possible. Um, we made this purchase. It is a smaller size. That being said, I would say I'm quite, um, you know, like a medium build and I can get it on. So it's worth trying. Yeah. Um, with bangles, and I've got a couple at home, by the way, that I've, my white nephrite is a small size. A little bit of hand cream. Easy. It really, really works. Now, I can't believe we're doing this because it is San and Scarn, and San and Scarn, like I said, forms in small sizes, it flakes, difficult to carve. There is one other place that we know of that are bringing a solid San and Scarn bangle. That one other place is Cartier. We bought everything that we could prior to Cartier. But we have also just had confirmation that we will be able to bring you the bigger size in the future. Not yet. But in order to bring you that, we need to bring these mm -hmm. first. Now, I we're gonna look at the quality, it's wow. absolutely unbelievable. Oof. To say that you own San, a San and Scar, a natural San and Scarn bangle, absolutely get your certificate on this. Absolutely, because it will say San and Scarn, carved bangle, carrot weight, totally natural. The only thing it won't say is close out deal price. <coughs> the fact that you are working with a gemstone of the calibre that, that, that actually is better grade, in my opinion, to that the ones we've seen at, at, at um, Cartier. Look at the quality. It literally glows. Now, we're going to do a close out deal. This is the smaller size. We, Ross has said, I've had to hugely twist Wayne's arm to, um, to include this in today's show. Say that again. You asked him to do the closeout deal, he said no. And then on the way he changed his mind. Is that because he'd had the confirmation of the, other, of the larger size? It's not in yet, he says, but... 
Look at this quality. Look at that. Look at that beautiful translucency. Amazing. You can see it literally lights up, doesn't it? Are you ready? The graphics are live. There are 40 available within our vault. Natural, beautiful, lush green, bottle green, sand and scarm, but with that translucency, otherwise they wouldn't have that, that almost luminous um, ability when I put the torch to the back of it. We have been authorized jewelry makers with a very special close out deal price with some quite considerable um, convincing. Now, even here at £1,999, even here, that's an unbelievable deal. Look at that colour, that's insane. Can I just, uh, Ross, have you bought sand and scan yet? Have you bought some sand and scan, Debs? I'm just trying to imagine how much this would be if it was on the Cartier website. Who knows, I guess we'll see in the future. Yeah, we will. We'll see, because they are definitely doing a, a, a sand and scan bangle. I mean, it's well, that's what the supplier said. Thousands. Thousands. thousands of well, if thousands. five little individual sand and scans on a ring is nineteen and a half thousand pounds, yes, there's gold. Yes, there's seventy points of diamonds. But actually, what's the rarest? It's not the gold. The world's not running no. out of gold. No. The world's not running out of diamonds. It's the sand and scan that's the rarest. Mm. We have been, with much convincing, we have been given authority to bring you um, a closeout deal on your sand and scan. Now, what's our Going rate for carved, hand carved bangles. You've got to remember all that would be lost in mm. a bangle. Mm. And this is rare, precious material. So what's our usual price tag for a hand carved jade bangle? Yeah, I agree, 699. About right, isn't it? Yeah. The next price crash is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, willing to bring you this beautiful natural type A. Wow, that's an amazing price at £499. But when Dave launched this back in September, he took it even lower. Even lower. Should we show that price tag next? Look at that colour, that's insane, isn't it? It's so beautiful, that bangle. Yeah, it's really lovely. lovely. I mean, the colour of it is just beautiful. I would wear this and never take it off. Yeah, that's the sort of thing, it definitely. Yeah. Because it just could stay there, couldn't it? I yeah. wouldn't care if I couldn't get it off once I got it off. No, <laughs> no, exactly. I was kind of, oh, I did manage to get it off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what a I was show. quite happy for it to stay stuck. <laughs> At 399, Dave brought you this beautiful sand and scar and bangle, lush, rich chrome green. That was in September last year. We've had the communication that we will be bringing you another sand and scar and bangle in a smaller size. And you, from your feedback, you said you wanted it in the larger size. So we are going to do that. In the meantime, I can't believe I'm saying this about sand and scarm, we're going to clear this out so that we can allocate the larger sizes, if that makes sense. Now, the only way that we can do that is by price. This is where it launched and it absolutely flew. If there's enough of you, you don't have to check out as of yet. We will... What? <laughs> really? Crumbs, okay. I'm better off buying during this show, aren't I? I 100% will be joining you on this. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I'll say it out loud. Jewelry makers, if there's enough of you there, this might well be the most affordable bangle, full stop. Full stop. We will half that price. 
This will be the lowest price jade bangle I think we've ever done. Don't quote me. I might be wrong. I don't know what the other shift side have done, but I can't. San and Scarn is a new discovery. You know, for us to be bringing you San and Scarn at less than what's on your screen. Oh, for, for, for what's on your screens is ridiculous. 699 is ridiculous. If there's enough of you there, we will half that price. We launched, closed, sold extremely successfully at this price tag. Look at that. Could almost be something like a, like a shop from, a, um, from an auction house, couldn't it? Yeah, it could. That's what made me think of Cartier when you said yeah. about it. Mm. This is the smaller size, but jewellery makers, like I said, there's not enough people to do it, though, at the moment. There's not enough. We want this to be a sellout. We do, because then we can bring you the larger size of the sand and scarn. Let's put another 60 seconds on your screen. Um, Kerry's joined us on the phone lines. Jennifer, look at that colour. It's absolutely insane. The beautiful, rich, chrome green colour. It's a D-shape, by the way. It's a D-shape bangle. You've got your five-way split pay. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? It's stunning. I'm definitely going to buy one of these. I think that with um, a pearl bracelet next oh, to it. Oh, beautiful. Would be a gorgeous arm party to be having. Remember 2024, 2024 is the year of bangles and bracelets, isn't it? Good, I love bangles and bracelets. Me too, me too. We will half it if there's enough of you there. Still need a few more. One more minute after this, I think, because we still need more people to justify this. You're filtering in, it's natural certified, genuine sand and scarn jade. The same jade that you are seeing in the likes of Cartier. For me, what more confirmation would I need on a gemstone's worth? Would I than Cartier? Well, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, I, I, you know, I feel like even if I'm, I've got no place looking in the window, <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd be nervous going in. Like my mum would have boldly gone in and tried everything on. Yeah, you know, she was like, oh, I don't care. But I just feel like to own something that Cartier are going to bring. Yeah, and you know, a bangle's a bangle. Exactly, you know, it's not they'll like, be carved by the same people. That's what I mean. Carved by exactly the same people. Ross? So I doubt the larger size that we're going to bring will be this price. No. No, 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 no. This is purely a one-off deal. So if you're waiting for the large size, it won't be this price, will it? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. It is, if, if, you, if, if you're worried about size, look, I wouldn't normally go, oh, I'll buy the small for 50 58 millimeters i would normally go for um just 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 i don't know a medium size or which even is 60, 60 59 I think 60. It, yeah i think when i measured and i would class myself as kind of like an in-between um comfortably 60 to 61 yeah but i haven't squished <laughs> and i'm willing to squish for this i would <laughs> squish for <laughs> Would squish, put hand cream on. I do think that you'll be able to get this on. One more minute and we will take it to that. Are we half in it? Oh, wait, I'm joining you on this. That's crazy. For San and Scarn. I don't own San and Scarn. It's absolutely no, stunning. It's ab I've got Nephrite. I've got Nephrite bangles that I've bought from Jewelry Maker ages ago. Hmm. I don't have Cotan. No. San and Scarn. It's in a special. bangle yeah. unbelievable and it's just beautiful it's by, by definition that's what imperial green color is yeah amazing in a solid jade bangle salon scarm bangle 399 is awesome it is awesome please know that when we do bring sand and scarm back at whatever the price tag it will always be competitive it'll always be at the the most affordable price that we can negotiate for you jewelry makers this is a one time a one off deal purely because it's the smaller size we've asked uh, we've spoken to a few of our audience who saying you wanted the larger size we'll do that just going to clear the vault first Wow. I'm not going to see that again in a hurry, are we? No. <laughs> Launched at 399 which is unbelievable, isn't it? 
yeah, launched. Yeah. Today, one hundred and ninety nine pounds. That's unbelievable. And is it on split pay? It's on split pay, five way split pay. That Ooh. shows you that shows you how fantastic this deal is. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thirty nine pounds and eighty pence. They're genuinely, in my head, there has never been a better opportunity to source to source Sun and Scarn than today. Amazing. Swansea's got two. Kerry and Dorset, Amanda, Diana, Hazel, another Swansea collector. Emma in West Yorkshire, new customer, new customer. Warwickshire's there, Jennifer's there, London's there. We had how many did you say? 36 available opportunities, but yeah, we, we, it's like all of a sudden we've gone, wait a minute, that is natural sun and scar. Wait a minute, we're at £199. That quite clearly is not a normal well, price be, tag. No. Yeah, quite clearly. Unbelievable jewellery makers. Again, make sure you're checking out and good luck and well done. Um, we've still got so much to bring you. The next hour is all about the universe bracelet, which I'm very excited about. We've got your fantastic wall of fame as well. Um, 12 remaining chances to get hold of your San and Scarn. Yes, it's the smaller size, but like I said, I wouldn't intentionally necessarily go out and buy a small, but actually I've got it on, no problem. Yeah. No problem. And it's a wide bangle as well. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is wide. So give it a try, get it home. You've got 30 days, no questions asked. Janice, well done. Mary, you can do it as well, my lovely. Mandy in Hampshire, you can do it too. Hand cream is the good old trick. I used to, when I worked at the jewellers and used to get people come in and say, I've got my wedding ring stuck, oh, yeah. or can you help me? Can you cut it off? First, always try hand cream. Hand cream always used to work. Then there was the string technique. The string technique's Which good. kind of grossed me out a little bit. <laughs> Didn't like that one. Because <laughs> you have to squish their finger, basically. Yeah. But hand cream always worked to treat. Um, amazing, the final five, final four. So many of you tune in. I'll be doing, joining you as well on the break. Amazing, I love Sun and Scarn. Um, amazing, do not go anywhere. Your wall of fame is coming up just after the break. You've got the universe bracelet back recommissioned i'm obsessed with this idea and we've got our lovely debs to talk us about the meaning behind this uh, um this design i absolutely love it keep on dialing through on that bangle there is a couple of opportunities there so i'll leave that one with you inspiration in your universe bra uh, bracelet up next and of course your wall of fame <laughs> Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I just wanted to let you know that I'm back in the studio on Friday the 8th. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful little bee charms. They're bound to get you buzzing with excitement. Um, they come in three colorways and they have little tiny teardrops that you set yourself. They're very cute. You don't want to miss those, very on trend. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, so they're really exciting projects actually. So when you start making with them, the more ideas you get, so it's a pack of five, I think it's five, five decorative strips and they come with end caps as well because we know that cuffs are going to be big this year. Um, I really hope you can join us. I'm so excited to be back. We will be with Carol and Tom and the rest of the team. So really hope you can join me and I will see you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week.
Hi guys, so I'm just back in the country from Hong Kong, a lot of exciting news, which is worrying for those of us trying to source new jadeite as we move through 2024. But for us who have a, a small stock holding that we acquired a year ago, it is very exciting. Um, we are talking, of course, about the Guatemalan material, in particular the, the Olmec Blue variety. Uh, top crystal, top transparency. And this time I get to bring you a bangle that has been carved. Um, we know a standard bangle, I hate to call them standard, takes about 10 hours worth of work by the most skilled artisans in the world. But well, this material, as I said, takes about 24 hours. Huge risk, uh, very small risks to reward, um, a lot of wastage in this, but when you get it right, when you get something that, that goes through that whole journey of 24 hours, you get something that is some of the most valuable jadeite on the planet. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. inspiration where is today gone by the way Phew. where have the last two days gone true and, I and you're with us again on monday <laughs> yes <laughs> can't get rid of us now can you i know um well you can't get rid of beautiful. me clearly um this. beautiful Sorry. love this. it michael knight 637 hi all I bought the graduated spacer beads in silver, yellow and rose gold from JM. El Eleanor said they would look great as a necklace. Eleanor? Eleanor I, said. I, I know, I sound, yeah. I thought, yes, they would. And so made one using the three colours and added a few extra two millimetre spacers. I think Eleanor was right. It looks great and so luxurious, especially with the mixed metals. Good luck, fellow waffers from Michael Knight. You're so right, Michael. Or Elle's oh, right. Oh, I love it, Michael. It's so I lovely. love it. Good luck. I thought you were telling me off then. No, you're an inspiration, Eleanor. see? Oh, bless. That's nice. That's nice. I love that piece. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Um, wow. Oh, look, look at this selection. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Joe Green, you're number 936. Um, and Joe says, hi, jewelry maker. I saw this seashell magnetic display case um, on Facebook. Don't you think it would be amazing to display gems in? I would buy one for sure. What do you think? Okay, that's a nice, that's a neat idea. It, that is a very very good idea. So you've got your little display case with your like with your seashells, but instead put gemstones in. That's a nice idea. I've got a table with gemstones in. That's cool. It that's is cool. cool. You're nine three six, Joe. Good luck to you. Oh, I love this. Just let me sell you. It's very you. Sue in Derbyshire, 935. Hi, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a statement necklace I've made for my Etsy shop. Statement, love. Love, love. Yeah, everything amazing. Everything about it. I like the little frills as well. Just beautiful. What plant is it that has those little twirly bits? Oh, yeah. There is a, like yeah. a climber that's got the twirly bits. Is it bits. a fern? Sweet, sweet peas. peas. That's it. I love and sweet honeysuckle. Things. I love honeysuckle. Honeysuckle does that too, doesn't it? Um, that's nine three five Sue, and I love honeysuckle, and I love sweet peas and any flowers that smell because they don't always. No, fuchsias. anymore. Oh, fuchsias and freesias. Freesias. That's the one I was thinking of. Freesias. That's the one I was thinking of. 
Um, oh, beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, and this is from another Joe. This is Joe Hall. Hello, Joe. You're 934. Morning, all. I made this yesterday. Uh, guess what the weather was like. <laughs> um, was it blisteringly hot by any chance? Yeah, all shells and findings from Joy Maker. Um, back to the usual soggy and grey today. Yeah, so you, yeah, you had lovely sunshine. So you're feeling all summery vibes inspired. Yeah, like us, soggy, grey. Yeah. Not long though. Spring's round the Hello. corner. Good luck, lovely. Your nine three four is lovely. Angela Noddle 933. Please see my entry for this week. I used the memory wire and Amazonite kit to make a ring, bracelet, and necklace. I added silver spacer beads, seed beads, and a silver clasp. All components from JM. Thoroughly enjoying my new jewelry making experience with JM. Good luck to all the other entries. What, you're new? Angela, are you new? Because look at that look at the photograph look at the presentation yeah that's gorgeous you are a natural and you are number 933 good luck that's good gorgeous. luck lovely um oh, a firm favorite and this is from vera uh barini it's a lovely name isn't it's it? lovely Oh, uh, Vera Barini, uh, you are 932. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. My WAF entry this week is a beautiful pair of shell earrings, abalone shell they are actually, uh, made using uh, sterling silver. All elements are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all other entrants. Um, and belated birthday wishes to our lovely Alison. Oh, oh that's lovely. lovely. Oops. Lovely Alison Tare. Bless her. Um, amazing. Yeah, love abalone. Well done, Vera. This is so neat, it's making my head hurt. I mean, I just thought of doing that. That is so <laughs> clever. Look at that neatness and beauty. Um, Barry Austin, 931. Hi, this was sent for Alison's Wall of Fame and was sent on the 2nd of March, but hasn't been shown at all today, so wasn't included. Can you please check this? Thank you. Oh, mm. Barry, yes. Okay. We will check. But I Barry, can sort that. That's how beautiful. Beauty, and 931 it says, so I think it's been included in this one, but how absolutely stunning is that? It is amazing, Barry. Well done. Barry, so neat. Well done. I don't know. We'll sort. We'll have a little look for you, Barry, anyway. Um, okay. Right then. Do you know what, Debs? <laughs> Here's the <a> desk. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry. The universe. Oh, <laughs> do you like sound effects? Can you get your head around the universe? Because I can't. I can't get my head around anything sci-fi. I'm space. Ve I'm very. I, I've no not desire fiction. to go into space ever. Would you? No. No. Because not I me. don't like flying when I do it. I don't like it. What I love is the the energy and the whimsical choose the word again and the the dreamlike quality of yeah. the planets and the moon. I'm obsessed with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got a moon tattooed on my arm. I'm, I'm obsessed with the moon. You know, if I drive down and I'm tired and the moon's there and I talk to it on the way down like a complete nutcase because I love the moon. Ah. I just, I love the moon. And the planets and all of their energy is what this bracelet is about. And I didn't know anything that this was a thing. Yeah, no, I, 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 I remember hearing about the universe bracelet. Because it's the idea, I don't know, you might have, I'll let you there's tell yours. No, you tell yours first. Oh, there's really? different ones, yeah. Okay, so, because I, I got a universe bracelet for my husband ah. um, years ago, that was actually. Mm. And obviously I made it, it was from Jewelry Maker, I think it was one of the first ones we actually did, and gifted it to him. And of course, you have to explain it, don't you? And it came similarly laid out like so. And he said, well, literally, you are my universe. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And, and he was like, that's so, oh my gosh, that's so lovely. And so wearable for whoever. Yeah. Um, but what I was seeing with these, because I did some research, because I'd not heard of it, and I'm sitting there with my husband going, which planet's this one then? And he's going, that's definitely, you know, the moon, that's definitely whatever. And the sort of new kind of spiritual version of the universe okay. race. Of course it can be whatever you want it to be. That's the whole point of gemstones. Is that you are the sun, yeah and the whole of the universe revolves around you so that all of the positive energy from the universe and all the planets and the moon you draw it to you mm -hmm. so you know um i think it was carol that talks about and i think um susie too 
manifestation. People yeah. are into manifesting things by using positive thought. Now, you know, whether you believe that or not, positive thought can never be a bad thing. No, of course you not. You know, if you think I can do this, you've probably got more chance of doing it than saying to yourself, I can't, I can't, I can't. My granddad used to say there's no such word as can't. And we say, yes. yes, there is, granddad. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's he true. didn't mean it's it not a bad thing. At to... least try. If you fail, you've tried, you know. Yep. And I feel like there's never a bad thing's going to come from being positive. Mm. And having this, in my opinion, is a reminder to be positive and that, you know, your universe is only your perception of it. And I'm getting a bit you know, kind of hippie here, but you know, if, I, if I'm driving down and all I'm concentrating on, for example, is being tired, then it's just gonna be a far worse experience than if I'm driving down and I'm thinking about how much I love my job and how much I can't wait to see Elle and how yeah. much I'm looking forward to see, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's like, th th I can make that experience better by my perception of it. It doesn't change what I'm doing. And I feel like sometimes we need a reminder of that. We need a reminder to be positive and that really our world is, it can be changed by how we're looking at it. Yeah, I totally, Does that make sense? Our outlook. Outlook. Outlook, yeah. Positive outlook. Whether you believe in spiritual stuff or not, a positive outlook won't harm you. And to me, this reminds you that in the scheme of things, mm. you know, you're the sun or you, and you, everything's around you and you can draw as much positivity to your life as you allow there to be. I love that. And by touching it, you know, and of course we're not always positive all the time. We can't always be positive. But if you need that reminder, like you were saying with Willow in her reading, yeah, you need that little reminder. And also if you're giving that to somebody, somebody, you say, look, here, like, remember this. You count, you matter. Mm. Um, to me, I love that sentiment. I'm all about that. And the, the make itself is really simple. And also you don't have to do it like this. You can do it how you want. Oh, I, I, I'm loving all of this, and it's just got my the, literally the cogs in my brain, Debs, literally just turning over. Because both because of those things that you said and I said were quite different, but both really relevant to everybody. Totally, absolutely. It could be a gift it, with, the, with the message, like I said, and how I gave it to Tom, or it can be about about for your for yourself, mm. or you know. Um, have you noticed recently, I saw, a, I saw a meme the other day and they pop up, I don't go searching for them, but they pop up all the time, don't they, on like yeah, Facebook they do. and things. And it was about sort of telling your, your loved ones, you know, and I sent one, it's so bizarre, Director Adam will remember this, I sent one to two of my best friends and it said just in case, it was along the lines of this, just in case um, you haven't been told lately. Um, you are wonderful, I'm proud of you, you are worthy, you I are strong. And, and, and I sent it to both my friends, one of which I know was having a particularly challenging time. So, you know, I kind of knew that. But the other friend who I didn't know was like, I needed that today. That's, uh, that's happened to me so many times. What? It's just like, I needed that, Elle. Thank and, you for messaging me And that. you're like, where did that come from? It's almost like the universe conspired to kind of inspire you to do that so that it made more difference than you can ever know to somebody yeah and i like and i mean like adam was joking around just now but maybe someone's just really into the planets they're really into astrology like yeah. forget all that i feel like oh bar humbug i'm not into any of that of course you don't have to be maybe someone's just really into the universe and planets and the solar system and looking at the stars it is cool isn't it it's so Let's cool be honest I it mean, is cool it's so cool um so what a great way of teaching the planets Exactly, and the moon, and the and the, you know, and with this, you actually even get, and it's sterling silver, the little ring, you know, well, I think of the rings of Saturn. You get the little halos that you can put on whichever planet you like, or not at all, um, and two st sterling silver star charms as well, which you can do what you like with. You can string them on or have them on the tassel. Yeah. Maybe you want a stretchy, maybe you don't want the cord, um, but you certainly, if you want to make a cord bracelet. I've not added anything. You've got everything you need in this case. It's, it's apart from. Can you scoot pass it round here? This here. Yeah. Um, so because it comes beautifully it's beautiful. presented it's as well. It's so lovely. Like the way oh, they've wow. presented it. Look at that. It looks like like a collectible. It, it does. So it comes within the box itself. Have you got everything there? You get your cord. Yeah. You get the silver and stars. Can you see that? Rings. Ah, uh, these are going to sell out. We've got 200 available. I love it for whatever reason. There's lots Do you know of I reasons. heard once upon a time that right now in another 
galaxy. <laughs> what do you mean, here we go, Adam? <laughs> no, I don't know how true this is, but it does boggle my brain. <laughs> Apparently, like, you know, the Lanakia and, you know, the fact that we are, there, there's millions of solar systems, yes. apparently, isn't there? Millions yes. of them. There is another exact replica doing exactly the same thing as you are, we are right now. And the yeah, I don't know how true that is. And the, but. and the other one is that time's not linear. So there's another you doing something on a different. You know, like, this is Matrix stuff. Taste Terminator, like, you know, are they alive if they went back and it, your brain could explode? <laughs> Adam sounded just like one of my kids then when he went, oh, here we go. Because I'll go, <laughs> oh, you, did you know? And my daughter goes, oh, here we go. She's going to give me another inspirational quote. She might appreciate that later on in life. Maybe. Maybe, maybe or she maybe will. maybe not. I don't know. I, I love it. I love it. I just... Oh, okay. we, are, we can't be arrogant, Adam. We cannot be arrogant enough to think that we are the only ones. <laughs> that we are the only ones. And there's only ever been one of you. We can't be like that, surely. I just think... You know me, I'm always banging on about jewellery with meaning. Um, and you, you know that about me. It's just it's who I am. Not everyone believes that. Um, there's so many wonderful things that can, uh, stories that can be attributed to something like this, which is why it touched a heartstring. And I thought there's so many people that you could give that to or make it for. And our jewellery makers are so talented. They might come up with something completely different to totally do with different. it. Um, which you can do. So I'm interested to see what this is going to go to because I've literally got no clue. Well, uh... I'll just tell you that it's an affordable price tag. Let okay. me just... Okay. Look how yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. Debs, whether it's you are my universe, that message. Yeah, which is lovely. Which is lovely, yeah. And literally everything, it, re it revolves around you. Well, you can see that as the planets revolving around the family. Yeah. So you could give them to the members of your family, couldn't yeah. you? Um, because I think it's really unisex, this bracelet. Definitely. It's, it's kind of... It doesn't even follow a trend. It's something that like anybody could wear. Yeah, absolutely. Or whether it's a case of you are that sun and the universe is for you. Yeah, because you are part of the universe, and so like you know, sometimes when things seem so big and so unreal, when you think of what you're part of, I can see Adam. I can't Daunting. see him. Daunting. I can kind of see him raising his eyebrows already. But yeah. um, when you. No, but th that you're just part of this amazing creation, like nature that inspires everything that I do in, in my creative life. Um, it can make you feel a bit of comfort, I think. You know, when yes. I feel a bit overwhelmed and I'm like, Deb, just sit, f sit down, breathe. A bit like the Morse code jewellery that we've yeah. got coming um, on Monday. Uh, things that you just want to stop and just breathe and it's okay. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Yeah, exactly. And this is that kind of jewellery. Does I that make sense? Yes, or is that totally, a load of rubbish? No, <laughs> totally, totally, totally. Okay. I love that. I absolutely love it. So again, you have, does anyone remember the, the order of the planets? Because I'm terrible no. at remembering it. Do you remember? Because there's a rhyme, isn't there? You just remember it? Okay, go on then. Go on then. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Did you hear that? Say it again slowly. No, I can't do yeah. <laughs> Mercury, Venus, Neptune. Oh, no. no. Earth. <laughs> Two Earth. words. <laughs> First word. <laughs> Just shout it out. Just shout it out. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars. Mars. Just Jupiter. shout about. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Jupiter, Saturn. Uranus, Uranus, Neptune. Neptune, there you go. I'm terrible with the planets. Abs uh, Tom has told me the rhyme so many times I never remember But them. you don't have to put it in order. Like, maybe, you know, <laughs> no, you don't, because you might not want to be that person who, who goes with conformity <laughs> that wants to put the universe. You're making your own bracelet. You can put Earth first if you want. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel about you can mix the moon first. Mix, <laughs> mix in your your, your 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 Plutos with your Neptunes. I'm not to, sure we should. Do they have to be in order? <laughs> do they have to though? I don't know. No, well, that's I a question. Know. Do they? I don't know. <laughs> um, I, it's up to you. It's your job. Like, true, isn't it? true ast astronomers are going. Oh, Deborah, what are shot. you talking about they now? <laughs> we have two hundred available. Okay. We're at forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, but we are not stopping there. It comes with the instructions as well. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It comes with Deb's instructions, the solar, is it called the solar system? The universe or? bracelet. The universe so bracelet. So if you have never done, because really all it is, is that if you do it this way, is a macrame slidey knot. Yeah. For, for, you know, or, you know, you could tie it. You, you don't even ever have had to make jewelry before. Mm. Um, or you might just go, I'm not using the cord, I'm going to put it on elastic, or I'm going to rosary link it, or you yeah. can do what you want with it. But if you want to do sort of the ones that I've seen online, they have kind of macrame knots, and that's what I'm showing you. So if you've never done a slidey knot that it shows you how to do that oh perfect there you go called solomon's bar as well isn't it is it yeah i didn't know that yeah solomon's bar i like the idea of a universe necklace too i do now i you know i got one sample because obviously then there's more for everybody um if i'd have got a couple i'd have definitely done it yeah universe necklace yeah how about this at 34.99 if you were to see that piece of jewelry again the story the mm. conversation mm. that comes alongside it oh this is the universe uh, bracelet or piece of jewelry this is what it's all about um it's not going to be 34.99 sometimes you actually have to pay for the story behind it the meaning behind yeah, it yeah yeah you know it's okay. like you see those um where you can send a a, a, um, a, a, a date or a, um, a time when a child was born yes. and they'll put the constellations on a poster and things like that. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? It is cool and I, it, you know, it's got a meaning behind it and I've seen people sell it, like they'll have a card and it will say, like you are my universe yeah. or it will say, um, you are the sun, everything. You know, a lovely inspiration rational message you know like on the cards that we do mm. and then th you put the bracelet on there so you're actually giving that little experience you're giving them um that bracelet and the you're giving quite literally giving them the story behind it to gift or whatever do you know even something that's not necessarily tangible i got gifted a while or is it this is a question i got gifted a while ago a star that was named after my um, my late father oh, and that's sister. Lovely. And I was like, I can't physically hold. Yeah, totally. Like, bleh. but it's not obviously something I can physically, physically hold. No, but it's the meaning. It's of the it. meaning of it because as well. Because you often think that, don't you? Like I used to say to my children when they were little, oh, that will be Nana looking down from yeah. a star. Because you know how to explain to children is not always easy, but we do tend to use those analogies. Totally, it comforts us. Doesn't totally, it? yeah. Oh, I'm loving the universe bracelet. Right, should we do it? Because we're not stopping there. The entire kit projects with sterling silver, 29 pounds and 99 Ooh. pence only. That's good, isn't it? Beautifully boxed. Again, should we go through, have you got the list of the gemstones there, Roscoe? So we have, obviously have your gold stone. So that's the sky, isn't it? Y yeah, we've got citrine, labradorite, jasper, laz lapis lazuli, azurite, sorry, I can't hear you, agate, tiger's eye, carnelian, amazonite, and lapis lazuli. Ah, oh, beautiful. What a lovely combination of your gemstones. Ah, still not the price. Oh. <laughs> still not the price. You get the cord, you get the sterling silver, sort of the rings of Saturn if you want, or halos. You get two sterling silver stars. Um, you get the selection of your beautiful gemstones. Um, loving these, absolutely loving these. And you don't have to have made anything before. If you want to make, um, say, a stretcher, you could, or if you want to definitely use the cord and you don't want to macrame knot, then you can just knot either side of the beads so they don't yeah. fall off and then tie it on. Yeah. I mean, some people tie, there's a significance in tying bracelets on and leaving them on, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, is that the, cam is it the Kambala? The, yeah, and the wish bracelet that when, yep. it, when it breaks, your the wish, wish comes, comes true. true. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it, it's it's completely up to you. There's so many different things you can do. <sighs> these are beautiful, and just the sentiment. I know they're going to be incredibly popular. I might have to get some of these as well. Think Father's Day. Very good for Father's Day. The ones that I've seen um, elsewhere have not had any sterling silver. They've pretty much been base no. metal. And I do like the idea that the, the your finding is going to last as long as your gemstones, which is. You know. That's true. The one that I've got was base metal, so it's lovely to see it with the pressures. Yeah. 
Good luck, everybody. £24.99 pence only to get hold of this. Already multi-buyers getting involved. It doesn't have to be for your Father's Day. I think this is, like you say, something for um, everybody. I love the meanings behind it. I'm sure that there will be lots of people who are watching right now thinking, well, I get this from it and I get that from it. Yeah, it's you know? a personal thing. It's like, yeah. you know, what, what you get from one gemstone, someone will get something else. Um, I think there's a reason why you're repelled by certain gemstones and why you absolutely love certain gemstones. And that's that's different. It's why you would like one design and not, and not another. It's just all in, it's a very individual thing. I like how it's presented as well. I think that a, yeah. as a, um, a, a project, you could gift that as a project for a crafter, couldn't you? Well, it looks as well astrological, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It looks. Because, yeah, because, and you can see what you've got um, right away when you open the lid. Yeah, it's quite yeah. awe inspiring. It looks like something you could display. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. We have a big quantity. Hmm. Which means we can usually do something pretty special on the price. Really? Now, okay, good. <laughs> who would like an opportunity to purchase the Universe Gemstone Bracelet gift opportunity for the first time in sterling silver? Yes. At under £20. And you've got enough of the, um, what I call the, the, the sky, star beads, a gold stone, to make larger and smaller sizes. Okay. Um, and also to pop on to, uh, if I turn the bracelet round, to pop on, you know, you, you can do the stars actually on the main length of the bracelet. I put mine on the bracelet. But, or you can put the stars on your little tassels there, your little uh, macrame knot tassels, or you've got enough, depending on your bracelet size, to pop two on there as well. And I think I had a couple left over too, but I measured it on my wrist size. Yeah. Um, so you, there is um, room for making larger and smaller is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and also, I think if you wanted to, if you've got goldstone already, you could also add that. Yeah, or couldn't you if you want to make it maybe larger? you've got something else you want to add yeah true you, know, you true. might have something else you want to add there you so. might want to put the blue gold stone with it Ooh, uh, I think that, that could, could be work lovely. too couldn't it yeah. we have a big quantity and I've said it out loud who wants the universe bracelet back by very popular demand but a revisited version firstly boxed and secondly, with your precious metal, £19.99. pence. Oh. I mean, again, look at those lovely components just there. Um, the black tab, by the way, is your uh, um, anti-tarnish, anti so do keep that. You've got the two um, of your star charms. You've got the two halos, effectively, or the rings of Saturn. Yes. Um, we had 200 of these available. I love it. You could gift them to your children, your grandchildren. You could gift them yeah. to your partners, your friends, whichever it might be. You, you know, there's another thing, isn't it? Don't they say like that like the universe has got you? That's what it is. It's like the universe is is actually working with you. It's not working against you. Yeah. You know, so you've got that. We've got you. That you know, all the any positive energy of the planets is aimed towards you. So you yeah. know. Essentially, nature works with you, not against you. Yeah. That, that's kind of what it's saying. It's, yeah, it's I a like comfort that. thing. I mean, my husband's not greatly interested in jewelry. He's probably sick of the sight of it. Um, but when I called him in, because he works in the office next to me, and I said, because he likes planets and things, and I was like, tell me which one of these gemstones you think's the planets. Well, usually it'd be like, oh, I'm on a call, and uh, you know, I'm important. And then he, <laughs> he, he came in, and he was like, that's definitely Saturn. That's the moon. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, well, and then he went through them and he's really interested and that's the, that's the point, yeah. it opens that dialogue. So I'm thinking for a Father's Day present or something, I bet. It'd be great, wouldn't it? I think that could be great, Yeah. It? Or you could even turn it into a key ring if someone's not a jewellery wearer. Yeah, true. Now, you've just had a text from Wayne. Okay. Is he in a good mood today? <laughs> He says, you can take it a bit lower to a certain price. This is Wayne. Because it's the first time in silver. So we shouldn't actually be going any lower. He says, but we had 200 of these. The previous, how much were the previous ones? 19.99, okay. And they didn't have the silver. But we've got a bigger quantity. Okay. Much bigger, actually. Ooh, um, mini clock. Up. We got to see you there. In this minute, if there's enough of you there, we will go lower. Okay. Okay, I want to get some of these. When is Father's Day? June 
15th, is it? I'm oh, so soonish. Father's Day, June 15th. It kind of creeps up on you, Father's Day, doesn't it? I know it's near that date it's because quite nice. um, because it's always around Tom's birthday. So hang on a second. Because you know, if you buy, because obviously when kids are too little, they can't buy for themselves. This would be lovely to say. Should we make this together, and then you can give it to Daddy, yes, because, or Granddad, or whoever? Because sixteenth, they can put, they can string beads on, and yeah. then you can do the knot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there you go. Sunday, the sixteenth of June is Brilliant. Father's Thank Day. Thank you. Yeah, plenty, plenty of time, of time for you to make it as well. Get it home for you to make it. And, I, and it's not just Father's Day. I know it's Mother's Day literally Sunday and you quite possibly wouldn't get it in time, but how lovely is that? Yeah. Or for your, your, your friends, your partners, your children. What? This is not okay. the price that Wayne agreed. <laughs> we are literally just staggering the phone lines. You've got one more price crash. First time ever bringing it to you in your sterling silver. We have to stagger the auctions, yeah. otherwise that quantity will flood the phone lines and, and, and crash the web. And so don't worry that we're going into demo time because the beauty about this make is it's super simple. Um, you know, so you're going to get your project anyway. I'll show you a little bit in a minute, but it's not something that I need to sit here for 15 minutes and show you. That's the beauty of it. So if you get it now, you're going to be able to, you know, whip it up in few minutes really depending like on what that. you're going for and I, I like that i like that then put it in the box and then put it in the drawer and it's ready yeah <laughs> job done ready job done good luck everybody from 200 half the stock surely is gone so yeah and this isn't the price is that right not the price okay. we are going lower we're staggering the auctions because that got, is lower do you know what again there's going to be people watching who just go i like that i'm just going to buy it for myself don't blame me. Have you met me? <laughs> yeah. That's usually me when yeah. I'm talking about jewellery as well. I'm like, oh, I need I that. I like that. I need that. I need that. Oh, I'll give that to Sansa. Oh, that's good. That's amazing. That's really sterling good. silver components. Oh, and I love it. And you can, oh, I need to get some of these for Willow in particular. Tiggy's got this. I think Will Willow would love the story behind this. Yeah, she would. And you know, sitting making it with you. Yeah. Can you imagine? And she'd, she'd be like, this is for this, wouldn't she? Yeah, she would love it. She would love it. It's the fact you could go, look, look, you know, the universe has got you, I've got you, all that. Oh, oh, so many messages you can put alongside it. Anyway, right, I'm going to start wittering on. <laughs> You're not wittering. Um, I'm just I'm just excited about this. Take it away, Deb. Take it away. So what we do, a little song there just to wake me up at the end of the two days. Um, with your cord, I'm just going to give you a few tips. This is all in the instructions. The easiest way that I found with really anything, any cord that I use to do any sort of um, knotting or whatever with, is it makes my life so much easier. And I have tried, you know, I can't find my glue on my nail varnish and I'm like, oh, I won't bother putting it on. It takes me three times as long to string anything. So if you cut the length that you need, and I've got all exact amounts in your um, instructions, is that if you pop on some clear nail varnish and wait for it to dry, and then if it still doesn't feel um, like it's sturdy enough to help you to, to put these on, then put another coat on. Hmm. The other thing you can use is glue, but just make sure that um, it's dry before you start working with it. The other thing that I, I use, and this doesn't apply to things like silk, it doesn't work on silk, but anything that is uh, man-made essentially is your good old thread zapper. So if you turn your thread zapper on and wait and go straight in like don't wait till it, it glows orange and stroke it along the cord it will start to melt it a little bit and then that makes it kind of stiffer for you to to um, thread on now it's not really a problem because if you look I might I'm gonna hold that up to the camera I don't know if you can if you can see the drill hole in there is what I'm trying to show you but you've got a really decent sized drill hole. And look at that little twinkly bead. Um, you've got a really decent sized drill hole in these, so it's not really a problem. Um, as far as your halos, which is really probably the only thing that you might wonder if you've not made jewelry before, how you attach that. Can I just show you this earth bead? Oh, that's perfect. Is it close to cola? I don't is know. It... Is that a close to cola or is that lapis lazuli? Look at the 
earth it just it looks like you're in space and you're looking down at the world i really love that bead i just thought and also you've got you know your labradorite that you've got that labradorescence and then you've got these as well that have yeah. got your rings on that could be saturn and your tiger's eye they're all quite magical so you start off by deciding what your um configuration is going to be and then you can put I ended up by putting sort of my sky at night or sky and starry sky beads either end. But you could put them between each planet. You know, it's completely up to you how you want to do it. You're the jewellery maker. Now, when it comes to sort of haloing a bead, um, what you want to do, you'll see that in this, these little halos, you've got um, a drill hole at the top and um, a drill hole at the bottom. And it just sits really nicely over the top of your bead. So all you need to do with that, just let me get the end is pop your cord through your little halo there and then it wants to come out of the top now this is much easier than doing it with wire because you've obviously got the flexibility here of the cord come here my nails are too long my nails oh there we go and then you pop on your gemstone whichever one you've decided is has got the rings so that that is then going to sit in the middle but we're not gonna <laughs> keep still there we go we're not going to put that in just yet because we need to take your strand and pop it through the other side i'll do my best to stay in frame but i need to see what i'm doing so pop through L little cord okay i might have to just use my pliers so that i'm not out of shot this isn't a natural way of making jewellery when we demo, you know. <laughs> no, well, you're at arm's We're length, at arm's you? length, yeah. So I'll hold that, that's better. And then, so what I'm trying to say is you go through. I'm sorry, I might have to get my head in the way, Adam. I just need to see what I'm doing. Now. There it is. I can't see it the best of times, to be honest. I think I need new glasses. And then that goes, I've dropped it now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Cut. It Cut. Is. <laughs> it's all right, so we'll edit out. Can you cut me? It's so fine. Send, send yes. in a proper designer. It's <laughs> not one that's hard, you know, at the end of the day. No, here we go. We're going for the second pass. Come I've on, got you this. can do this. You Debs. know what it is? A stupid the universe nails. has <laughs> got you. <laughs> don't make me laugh because then I'll wobble. Oh, no, don't go quiet. I can't stand it. Anyway, okay. you go through that You slide that hole. it through. For goodness sake. Yeah, there you, you go. You go through that hole. And usually I'd have it right up to my face, which is why I can't do it. And that's it. So that's simple. And then oh. when you come to um, do the slider knot, it's all, going, it's all gone Pete Tong now because... I can't even remember what it's called. Um, and I find a macrame board is quite useful, but you don't need one. You can use your beading mat or a cushion or mm. whatever. And I've written uh, down how to, I'm gonna make a really big one so that I can put it into my macrame board. But you take your bracelet. So imagine this is the length of my bracelet here. That would be a really long bracelet. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to use it on your macrame board, you might need it to be a bit longer um, just so that you can secure it. Now you're actually going to take, and this might be in the instructions because there isn't a photo, what, what's not as easy to understand, is when I say cross the ends over each other, I mean that because then these two are what you're going to um, knot over the top of. And if you use your macrame board, you can utilise those little creases in the bottom. And it will, it's much easier if you can hold uh, your thread there. Oops. Now, I have also used T-pins. I've also used um, washi tape, tape mm. to, to hold it down. And then you need to just get another length of your thread. And what I always do is just tie a knot on one end so that I know which end to use each time. If you do a square knot and you go left, right, left, right, you'll get a twisty one, you know, the circular one. But we just want a basic square knot. So I'm going to use the side with the knot each time so I don't have to think about it. So all you do is you've got to make sure that you get your cord underneath both of your, um, I call them lazy strands. And then this is a square knot, and I'm going to try and, and do an exaggerated one so you can see what that's like. If you know how to macrame, then that's all it is. So you make a D shape with the cord, and I've gone over the top of the cord there. Hold on, I can't do it slowly. <laughs> can't do it slowly. You go underneath. Here. Now you want to make sure, sorry I needed to say this, that you've got a roughly equal amounts at the top. And then you make a D shape. 
then you take your other cord and it needs to go underneath the two lazy strands. So let me move my hands out of the way. Underneath and up through the loop and then you've got your square knot there. Now what you can do is do, I don't know, let's have a look at the bracelet. If you have a look at this one, you don't actually need many. So if you're gonna do it as part of the design, then you could do quite a few because then when you close it up, you've got that nice little bit of macrame going on there. I just use them for function because you know you want it to slide, then you don't necessarily need to know somebody's bracelet length because these are going to, um, determine how far they go down you know your wrist so if you don't want to have a lot of um, faff on the back of your wrist just make sure that it goes over the widest part of your hand and then you know like I did this just the shortest that I could get away with for getting it over my hand mm. and then you can put the bead and the, and the knot um, but you know what I thought might look nice is the little stars on the end here if you didn't yes. want you know such a statement thing hanging down um, and so that's that's all there is to it and I do, I do go into detail um, in the instructions how to do it but it's super simple except when you're on live telly and you can't do it because you can't see it was good it was grand we knew what you meant you knew what I meant you're you? right though because I, I find like that you would be holding up yeah, to your face yeah you see I'd, you? I'd be going like this so that I could see I probably need stronger glasses to be fair um, but I hope you could see what I was trying to say I made it look harder than it was what does that say just uh hello to you karen sorry can't see from there hi karen uh oh here just the sterling silver halo components elsewhere are over 10 pounds for two without the stars and the gemstones bargain thank you jewelry maker and wayne yeah Aww. that was a good bargain huh it was wasn't it i love to see what you do with them will you send them into the wall of fame when you when you do your, your makes and every time that we bring you which we've done to my knowledge definitely twice I think we've done it twice, the universe bracelet, or a version of I've never seen it before. Once with base metal, which is when I bought uh. it. Um, but yeah, look, of course we want precious metal. Hello to you, Derbyshire. Morning, everyone. Can you tell me what size the gemstones are, please? Loving the show, and that's from Mary. They They're are sixes, would you have said? Or eight. eight. Oh, they look like sixes. They're eight, eight millimetre. Yeah. So they're love. They're a lovely size. I mean, they're you know, it's a very wearable bracelet, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Loving that. There you go, Mary. So there you go. You've got eight millimeters and more than enough to make your um, full universe. Don't forget, you get the halos. You get the sterling silver star charms, and also you get um, the cord, all amazingly, beautifully presented as well. So giftable. I think that it would be also very nice on a stretchy. Yeah. Um, you know, for stackings. But you've got that different dynamic when you use cord because you've got that kind of cool vibe. Yeah, do get that. So, you know, depending on what you think the person might like or what you like yourself. I think at this price, I'd get one for me and then one for... Yeah, else. absolutely. <laughs> one for me. Um, now, earlier today, if you want to add to your universe bracelet, we did brought oh, some yeah. amazing sterling silver deals. Um, we took the these were the clots weren't they yeah the clots you actually get four clots and you got two crimp covers um in 925 sterling silver did something ridiculous with the price on these five pounds yeah. and 99 pence only and what we were discussing debs wasn't it but look in effect this is your crimp this is your crimp cover it would go well this with is this. your jump ring it is so you could um, tie a knot at the end of your beads. Yeah. Put this collot on, and then like put a lobster clasp on or something. You know, yeah. cord's not your thing. Um, depending on what design style. If cord is your thing, you've got everything you need. Um, if you want to make it in a different way, then you can certainly. I would stick with sterling silver because you've got sterling silver in your yeah. halos and your stars. Yeah. Yeah. So you could do that too. Five pounds and ninety nine pence only, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your basket. Oh, eight hundred six zero four six double five awesome oh what a lovely show it's been now Debs, i know the answer but when you're back never because i messed up the demo don't be so ridiculous no, i'm joking monday yes monday and we're talking morse code which is really ironic that i did a presentation on morse code the other day i know and that I've, i'm coming up with some ideas and you gave me some ideas and happy mother's day by the way to mums and ah people who are missing mums and super everybody. women 
because we're doing a make along at Willow School tomorrow. Yeah, good luck with well, that. Thank you, amazing. which I'm very excited about. Also slightly nervous because there's 200 kids. Oh, excellent. All making bracelets for their super women. So, oh, I love yeah. it. Because uh, you don't have to be sort of biological, do you? Of course to you be, don't. Uh, to be that mummy figure. Happy Mother's Day to absolutely everybody. Yeah, definitely. I'll see you Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Lots of love. Enjoy the rest and being spoiled. Thank you.